Oh, wow, wow, wow. Hello. Hello, everyone. Drunk Fox Woman stream would be funny. No. No, it wouldn't. Good morning. <laughs> good, good morning. Do not, do not drunk the Fox Woman. Good morning. You, there's a, there's a giant wand in my screen. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. What's the meter for? I gotta test all How of my about widgets. I put a tiny top hat on your penis. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta test my widget. See how my widget works. Oh my god. Look at it fill up. Oh my god. That's smooth as fuck. Oh my god. That's smooth as fuck. Toxic slut. It's butt time. Hanya! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on, I have a tab. What is happening? Oh, I have to sex. Twitch chat is old again. Well, yeah. learn lavish, lyrical, loyal, licit, logical, lusty, luscious, lustrous, lasting, laudable, legendary, legendary, lucid, lucrative, luxurious, lady like, laudatory, literate, liberating, likable fox on the Lord's Day. Oh! On the Lord's Day! Hey! Hey, Toast Engineer, thank you for the $25 dollar Dude, I got him a real pet! Thank you! This is a public service announcement. Kiyosh and Chat are super mega duper omega cute and lovely less than three. Just don't make the sub one vibrate! I'm testing, I'm testing out all of my widgets that go with my new overlays that will be here soon, TM. What's with the wand? Yeah. It's my, it's my whimjit! It's, it's huge though! <laughs> it's actually fucking enormous! So I gotta see how to resize it. Make it, make it smaller? Cause I think it'll, it'll be like, it'll be like this, this size on, on the actual overlay. But I don't know. There's gotta Good be morning, some way to Fox resize it better. Spoon man stream. Right? <laughs> right? Oh, the the numbers go up with the bar. Oh, oh that's man I that's like, cool. Like dead. That's cool. Okay. Nom, All right. Nom, I don't know nom, how we managed nom, to already. <laughs> we what? we what? already made the wand glow. <laughs> Chat doesn't know it's attached to her magic wand. There's no, there's no integration, Skewky. Don't be a weirdo. You can't make me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Was putting on my gym shoes to do cardio to stream and forgot to put on my gym shorts. <laughs> Nearly walked out in my boxers. The damn damage is contagious. Oh my god. Why does she have a sounding rod on stream? Oh, the like the like little dots in a circle around it start going really fast. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Bet whoever's name is Zach is freaking out at that streamline. Ah, it's the guy in the video game. <coughs> I'm showing us the wand on stream. You sure you aren't a Fuda? What? Why would a magical fairy wand have anything to do with a penis, you weirdo? How, do, how does that person know how one looks? What do you mean? Goal, re goal, goal already reached? How about I put a tiny top hat on your penis? Oh my god. Oh, the number can keep going up, too. Hot damn! Hot damn, dude! It's because the wand goes inside the pit. Nim, what is wrong with you? Nim, what is wrong with you? Isn't that the glass dingle dongle? You're a glass dingle dongle. Getting the Kirsha Plesha early has boosted your serotonin levels. I'm really happy that a whole bunch of you have already gotten your merch shipments. I didn't think they were supposed to be out until April, so hearing a whole bunch of you actually have them already delivered is kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. Oh god, yes, the gamer subs. Dunk the cube in milk. Don't do that, actually. You can't wait for the patch. <laughs> Nim's been working for Kirsha too long. What do you mean? There's no such thing as too long. No such thing. So yeah, we need... I don't know if bigger numbers are possible. Like, is I'm assuming that's still readable for you guys. Because it's, it's going to be, like, really small. Like, do I have... 
Do I have an image of like what my overlay is supposed to look like so I can give it to Nim? So he can be like, oh, okay, I see. Ah, yes, like here. Like here, hold on. I have to slide this and then open this and then I can print screen that. All right, we're fucking cooking with olive like, oil right now, long? chat. All right, so if I hand Nim. this off. Nim. Nim. <laughs> hand this off to Mr. Manager Mans. Nim's not cool enough to get his name with ellipses because it's only three letters. But like, do you see how tiny that's supposed to be, Nim? Like, I don't, I don't know if uh, it would be readable. That tiny. Yeah, big, big on numbers. I don't know if we can have like really much bigger numbers on it. It's too small. Hmm. We're Jamie Oliver. Do I wear boxers or briefs? Neither, cause I'm a whammon. I wear I wear like panties. Chatbot, yeah, they're they're making they're making the chat uh smoother. My 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 overlay artist came in yesterday and she was like, oh yeah, I see what I see what you mean. Your chat is too fast for the typical animation that we do on chat boxes. <laughs> Welcome to Toxic Slice. <clears throat> Size queening the nim, true. True and real. Good job, chat. Yeah, good good job, limit testing chat. You guys are the best. Mmm, <laughs> cheeseburger. Have the number circle the wand. Oh, that could be cute. The uh, the little Glorious sparkles Sunday I think stream. are supposed to circle. You no know, part of me was worried that you and Pippa were becoming a bit normal. I wasn't really. Then all the haters reemerged in the wake of your Fillion collab and Pippa doing her novel AI stream. Man, the people Twitter get bent lol. The Twitter freaks that are angry at Pippa for the novel AI are quite literally just clout chasing idiots. Oh, like. Considering the fact that she's made an entire, well, several entire generations of VTubers through AI, who then went on to, like, actually get people into VTubing and get their own assets from real artists, like, come on, dude. She's, she's unironically done more for small VTubers and artists than most people who use AI, probably. Is it almost two years ago? Has it been two years since we did that shit? Ha! Damn! Ha <laughs> ha! Damn! Also still commissions a lot of art? Yeah. Like, I I think that people just get irrationally angry and want to seethe for the ass pets on Twitter. AI should be a tool. I have given AI references to artists that I have paid money to get art from. Not a single artist has, like, been upset that I gave them AI as a reference to then pay them for art because I'm paying them for art. <laughs> they make great references. Yeah. yeah. Women can wear briefs. I mean, we can, but they're not as comfortable. Never forget Pippa's crimes against Mina Vanilla. <laughs> Help, I'm dying. The mold is coming for me. Why would you not use a tool that makes your life ten times easier? Crazy fuckers! Most of the flavor VTubers commission 2D and 3D models, so Pippa, in a way, is giving jobs to artists? Yeah, that's what I just said. Like, she didn't just create VTubers from the AI. People actually took up those personas, started streaming, and commissioned artists for their assets. Or made them themselves. So it's just like, I don't- I really don't understand this either. Someone lied and said that Pippa said the N-word. You sent them a clip of her telling the Harines they deserved their time out for saying a racial slur. And then said, can you show me proof? They got really quiet really fast. You're joining Flavor without even using the AI stuff. So that's all pure commissions. Pippa inspired you to do that much? Yeah. Ah, I was like, people are going to lie about it because they just want to They just wanna have something to complain about. It's nothing new. It's nothing new. Sawa was Flavor, wasn't she? She wasn't made from Flavor. She made her own design, but she did join Flavor for a little while as like a as like a little you know a little gag thing. Fast food didn't kill sit down restaurants. Manufacturing didn't kill handcrafting. AI won't kill art. Artists are just panicking. Yeah, and like I I understand the perspective of artists where like there are people who are using AI art to make money. 
And I, I don't think that that's a good idea. I don't think you should be selling AI art to make a profit, considering how AI art is created. But that is just, like, my personal opinion, man. For someone who's gotten the cube, did you order a small cube? I have a large cube, and then I ordered a small cube for myself, but my mine has not shipped yet. They also said Pippa was transphobic because of playing Hogwarts Legacy. Of course, man! I'm not gonna let that one go, are they? You offered to pay an artist that you'd paid for work before to draw something based on an AI image, and the artist flat out refused you. Some artists really brainworm over it. That's weird. That's really weird. Like, if you're using AI art as a reference and it's never going to see the light of day, I, I don't understand why artists would get uppity about that. Like, no one's gonna know that they used an AI reference. No one's gonna know that you had the AI reference. Like, it's literally in DMs. AI won't kill anything unless you give it a gun! What made... What about stuff that has AI art in, but isn't AI art itself? Like, self-made games using AI art for visuals? Uh, it depends. If you if the game is for free, I don't think it matters if there's AI stuff in the game. If you're selling the game, then I don't think you should have AI assets in it. I think if you if you are asking people to pay any amount of money for your game, it shouldn't have AI assets. Drawing fingers is hard for humans too. True and real. <clears throat> You've had people email you telling you that they'll never buy from you again because you, you use AI art? Don't you just use it in like thumbnails and shit? Why does that matter? <laughs> think it's fine if the AI was trained on open source models? I, I don't think it's fine. I, I don't think it's fine to use the AI assets if you're making money off of it. Your artist friend or two laughed their asses off at how badly the AI used to be at the time. There were lines going nowhere, shades and angles that only Cthulhu could love, and then they ended up admitting it was adorable. I mean, yeah. When you look at AI art, you can be like, oh, that's really cute! And then the closer you look at it, like, you know, the more the more things you start seeing where you're like, wait a minute. <coughs> it's not good artists that are complaining, it's dog shit tier, current day slop artists that are easily replaceable and have no real talent. I wouldn't say that either. Like, there, there are definitely artists who have, like, decent art that are complaining. Mostly probably because, like, either be they're genuinely worried or they want the one? ass pets on Twitter. But it's like, if you if you have art that people are buying, they're not going to stop buying your art for AI. Well, the anti-AI artists you've seen are just bad, whose work can easily be replicated by the AI. A minimum of 50% of the value of any art piece is the personality of the designer shining through. I agree. And it's like, that's why... That's why I am very picky about the artists that I work with. Like, if I have a vision, I try to find an artist whose artwork style matches what I see in my head. Right? Because I want to get it as close as I possibly can to what I'm seeing. Because most of the art that I commission is for merch purposes. <clears throat> and so I wouldn't want to have, like, a vision in my head and then go to an artist that I would have to ask them to greatly alter their style. That would just be rude. <laughs> Help! The only artists who are panicking are shit artists who dye their hair. <coughs> God damn, I'm dying today. You're actually excited for the future of AI? Same. I would like. I would like to see where it goes. When I when I see things like like companies like Mike who use their art or use AI art for promotional stuff instead of using an in-house artist or hiring a contract artist. I feel really weird about that. And I think I think it's unfortunate because yeah, companies want to save money, but I also don't think they should be doing that. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. No dying on stream. I know it's against TOS. I'll get banned if I die on stream. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day, since it glorifies defaming European folk religion, also mass importation of Irish into America was a mistake. Are you okay? Are you are you drunk already? What is happening? Zarge, thank you for the two dollars. You're actually excited? I I would like to see where AI goes. I'm I'm interested. Lance, thank you for the four ninety nine. Wait a minute, Pippa's not racist and transphobic. No, welcome welcome to the real world. Arclight Sniper Shine, thank you for the five dollars. Hey, funny fox lady, what did I miss? Uh, we were testing some widgets. We were widget testing. Unbending, thank you for the 40 tornadoes. Did I see Pippa getting hate because of AI art? Yeah, that's what we've been talking about. 
Uh, people being a little little dummies on social media who'd have thunked it. Radstorm, they give the five dollar doodles. Can't stay because you have to feed the residents at your nursing home. Take my money anyway. It's all right. The 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 grandpas enjoy watching me. I hope you. <laughs> I hope you have a good day at work, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Art will survive, but the fact that almost all AI systems use stolen art is kind of disgusting. That's that's why I think it's fine to use AI art for personal purposes. Like if you want to figure out a design for your VTuber, or if you want to get an idea of like an outfit or uh, a room design or like an outside background. I think it's fine to use AI art to figure out and to help you plan out a design or to use as a reference to give to an artist that you're paying money. But I don't think it is a good idea to try using AI art to make money off of. I don't, I don't think that that is a good idea because of the way that AI art is made. Your internet is still exceptionally shoddy. Get fucked. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> saying saying stolen does uh, shows you don't know how it works. I don't like the Jeez, thought Sally, process of if it gets cars. online, it's free use for everyone. Because like there are designs that I have paid money for that are obviously going to make their way onto the internet. And if those were to be put on, you know, other pieces of merchandise through other people, I would absolutely go after those people for taking something that doesn't belong to them. And I feel like just because artists have art online doesn't mean that you can feed it to an AI generator and then make money off of it. Wouldn't pay for art from someone that learned by tracing, would you? I mean, everybody, everybody traces at one point when they're learning art, right? And our artists will even tell you this, like when you start out, if you start with tracing, it can help you learn proportions at the beginning. <clears throat> did I hear the AI robot called Figure One that's being developed to enter the workforce? I did not. I did not. Emperor Griadin, please help you. Matt Walsh's Neo Boomer takes on video games. You're living rent free in your head and you can't stop molding over it. I, I, just, I don't know, man. It's just like... That kind of stuff makes me feel pretty bad. I mean, it makes me feel pretty bad. I don't want to... I don't want to become, like, a slave to the algorithm. Like, a lot of people that I have watched. And it's like, I don't... I don't want to say... I don't want to say that Matt Walsh is a grifter, because I believe that he genuinely believes the things that he says, right? But... He, want, he wants to jump on a trend to talk about it because it is involving DEI and that's something that he talks about frequently. But it comes off as disingenuous because it's in a medium that he is constantly derided. And he doesn't, probably doesn't care to talk to anyone who would have any idea to be able to inform him about these things. All right. Found me on Philly and show the other day. You don't know much about AI art, but you want to learn mid-journey. You also don't know the backstory about Pieppa or know what a cube is. Kersha Cube is my channel currency. It's also a cute fluffy pet. And people got all plushies. I had a plushie run with a ooh ooh market. Matt Walsh X Kersha. In before DEI AI fusion. Jesus Christ. I don't I don't see I mean maybe it could happen in the future, but I don't I don't see uh, Matt Walsh talking to me, you know? And I I don't like that, like, whenever it's brought up to talk to somebody who doesn't know anything about, like, games or anime, people are just like, you shouldn't talk to them about it because, like, we don't want them here. And it's like, when you go to someone who doesn't know anything about anime or VTubing or video games, you don't explain what they are in the hopes that they will then like that thing. I don't, I don't want people who dislike games to start gaming, right? I just want them to understand what it is or why it's important as a cultural medium. They can continue being like, well, I won't play them and I don't think I want my children to play them, but I understand why it is a important thing in culture, right? Like, I, I, I feel weird whenever I want to talk to somebody who doesn't like these things and an overwhelming majority of people are like, no, you need to gatekeep harder. You don't talk to people who hate these things. And it's like, it's not to get them to like it. It's their right to dislike thing. It's to get them to understand it is the difference. 
When you first started the digital art, you would trace pose references, but make them your own characters, mainly because you couldn't visualize that sort of thing very well. Yeah, that's what I did when I was younger as well. Gaming is the culmination of nearly every art form. That's kind of how I feel. That's how I feel it is. Nylog, thank you for the $20. For AI training, it would fall under fair use as the <laughs> help. AI isn't able to replicate image copied, only the design, which is a different legal process. There are now public domain AI models that have no copy written art instead. I mean, I'm sure there are AI models that have like just cannibalized other AI models and become something completely else. But personally, I feel like it's a bit gray ethically. If you take a whole bunch of artists and plug them into an AI generation model and it spits something out that is like an amalgamation of a bunch of different artists work, right? I would feel that it is unethical to then make money off of that generation. And there's, there's a reason that that case recently made it so that you can't copyright AI art. Korsha plus water plus ice tray plus freezer equals Kirsha cube. <gasps> oh my god, what if I could do Kirsha cube silicone ice cube trays? Holy shit, you're a genius. You're a genius. You have 50-50 love-hate relationship with Genshin Impact. Writing is so bad and it goes on forever. I don't I don't like it. I don't like Genshin Impact. Who do I think uh, would soonest talk to me? Matt Walsh, Sargon, or the Beanie Man? Unironically, I think it would be the Beanie Man. Right? Because, like, if, if I were able to get, like, a massive audience, Beanie Man would probably agree to talk because of the exposure. Right? Like, I don't I don't think he would talk to me because he's interested in learning about VTubers, but because I have a massive you audience. Take your meds. The yes, other two, hey, I don't think you would. You can't make me! Matt Bling Walsh it. isn't called a grifter lightly. It's cause it's his job to tank social movements. <laughs> he pushed himself as a big figure on the education issue when porn in schools happened. Then he made a statement about how 15 year olds are the prime age for sex. Hey yo, what the fuck? I did not know that. Do you have a clip for that? Do you- Do you have a clip of him saying that? Cause if so, hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, hey yo, what? <laughs> I- I was not aware of this. Wait, what? Who said that? Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna need a source. I'm gonna- I'm turning into a rooster. I'm asking you. I'm asking you for a source. Give you some dollar news one afternoon and you could have a 3D model for the cubes to that merch. If you can't, hit me up and we can negotiate. Hey yo. Hey yo. This man's a 3D modeler for merchandising? That's pretty interesting. I'm not gonna remember your names. You're gonna have to send me like a Twitch whisper or something. Basically, as soon as something happens in stream, I have to I have to info dump it so I can continue talking. You'd like to see Sargon get VTuber pilled? I ain't ya. He does not he does not seem to uh you know want to do that, so that's that's fine. That's his prerogative. He said it on Tim Pool show? I didn't even know that Tim Pool and Matt Walsh talked. <laughs> the dawn of the Rhodesian Korsha merch. Oh my god. <laughs> And sad cabbage, thank you for the 10 euro. The interesting part is that large corporations already use AI for code generation. No one seems to care about it. I think that's because a lot of people don't look at code the same way they look at drawn art, right? Like, I, I am aware that you can copyright code, but I don't think that a lot of people really think about that. And I'm not sure how many people care about that either. They're both art. I agree with you. I agree that they're both art, but nobody nobody seems to put the same amount of thought into the code one, including myself. <laughs> I will including me. There's context, but the prime statement to take out of context. He literally said 15 to 16 year olds, the prime fertility age. I mean, that I, I don't know exactly how true that is, but if you're starting your period at like nine, uh, I mean, you're you're going to you're going to start like in your late twenties, early thirties, uh, dropping, as it were. I'm not good at math, so I don't know which one would be prime in that in that scenario. Also, programmers are doom posting about AI programmers. Hmm. Hmm. He's only a small step above Sarkeesian. I mean, he he was like big in GamerGate one for for fucking sure. But I think I think a, a large problem with a lot of a lot of old guard YouTubers is 
If you if you fix problems, you, you start losing content. Those code monkeys, real programmers will find a job either way. I like that song. I like that song. Remember when Sargon tried to slander Jim as a groomer when Jim outed himself for being unelectable? Unelectable? Sargon already doesn't like me for being a VTuber and he'll make sure that I look like an e-thought to his audience. Oh man. I don't think he cares that much, honestly. Like, I don't, I don't think he cares that much at all. <laughs> I think that's a little bit of a leap. Can't wait to have, uh, to debug somebody's AI-coded hodgepodge. Imagine. You've seen some of the AI coding? It's not that great, so good programmers don't have to worry. But AI programming is probably far better than, like, DEI hire programmers, right? <laughs> you don't understand all the AI crap and then, like, AI can create the next Mona Lisa? You need a human for real art? I'm sure at some point AI will be able to make something that crazily intricate, but I don't know how long that would take. Artists typically look down on programmers, so it explains their hatred for AI. It's ironic considering what digital art uses. I don't think so. Have I seen Google's AI? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. Don't forget, today's AI is the worst it will ever be, and it's getting better very quickly. Nya! Nya nya! AI is good for people that already know some programming. You can generate some code and fix it. I don't, I don't know how to fucking use AI generative shit. As uh, I don't know how to use that. That's not my forte, eh? <laughs> AI-generated code is horrible. DEI and AI programming are about the same. They used it in the awful GTA remaster and recently in the Battlefront. They're incredibly bad. Oh, shit. Money laundering with fine art will never allow AI to spoil the laundering scheme. I can't- I can't wait. I can't wait to have artwork in my house. I- Speaking of which, before I- before I dive into my thank yous here, because Binary Mind put in a fuck ton of work in like a little spreadsheet for me. Because my brain is bad. Take, for better or for worse, if you post your art on the internet, it's going to end up in places you don't want it to be. If they're making money off of it, go after them. I get that, but I feel like the complaining about AI scraping art is pointless. Yeah, no, I agree with you. That That's basically my stance, M Mr. Bites Mans. Thank you for the five dollar doodles. Well, thank you, thank you. That's, that's pretty much how I feel. Like, if, if people are using it just as regular generation and they're using it for personal purposes, I think that's fine. Personally, where I would draw the line is where people try making money off of AI art. Right? Like, if, you, if you're trying to sell it on merchandise, if you're adding it to a video game, I don't think you should be doing that. That's just, like, my opinion, man. And I think, I think, that, I think that's a pretty, pretty middle-of-the-road kind of way to go about it. Where people can have fun with AI, they can use AI as a tool, and artists still get paid. Your friend did have some art stolen and sold on merchandise? I mean, it happens with or without AI art, right? Like, artists are gonna get their art stolen without AI art generating off of it in the first place. It, it's been happening for ages, it's going to continue to happen, and it sucks. It, it sucks horribly. Like, the amount of artists I've seen on my timeline who've had their art stolen and put on t-shirts on, like, T-Fury or T-Turtle or one of those other, like, t-shirt sites, it's, it's a lot. This guy could probably make the Kier Cube ice tray? Is that the guy that said something in chat? I don't know. I don't know, but it's in Twitch chat, so it's, I'm gonna lose it, I'm not gonna remember. Deep dream or deep sleep generative AI is amazing, horrifying, and beautiful. So many faces! You don't see why artists should have any more or less insulation from AI taking their jobs than is given to ev everyone else? I mean, I don't- I don't think it's like... that much insulation, right? But the- it's- it's like the way that... the way that the AI is made off of artwork, you have to feed it other artists' work in order for it to... create something. It can't- it can't just create from nothing. And then there's the AI-generated stuff that comes off of you feeding it other AI-generated stuff. If AI art can't be copyrighted and they make merch of it, that means counterfeits of AI merch are legal. Well, yeah, counterfeits of AI merch. But I don't know why you would want to do that instead of just making your own. It looks at other artists' work just like humans do? Hmm. I mean, maybe? I feel like- I feel like that's a little bit different, at least in my opinion. Human beings don't create from nothing either, we learn things as we grow. I feel- I feel like Sorry it's a little bit different. Your pussy. I feel like it's a little different. Does not retain copies of the works in the model? I don't- I don't think it does retain copies. 
to tank them and make them use people's art. <laughs> The ruthless capitalist in you says the truly unique and gifted artist will be able to distinguish themselves in a way a skilled carpenter can, despite IKEA existing and being cheaper? I mean, yeah, probably. It's different for AI for now. I was like, I don't know. I just, I feel weird about people making money off of AI art. And that's, that's just kind of like where my stance is. I would rather spend that money on an artist. And it's just like, I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird to me. <clears throat> And I, I like I like using AI art as references. You get the point of view as your wife has a similar view on AI? Yeah. And it's like maybe I'm not saying I'm resoundly correct here, but that's just like my feelings on it. No matter how thoroughly you code for say mid-journey, you'll never find a copyrighted work in there. You don't retain a perfect copy of the Mona Lisa in your mind, but you can still plagiarize it. You can agree with supporting artists, you just mostly like to correct the misunderstanding on how AI works. Legally, there's not much more that can be done, in your opinion. AI art is already an act of nature, so it can't be copywritten. Hmm. If the work has more than just generated content, it's still protected. AI is just a buzzword at this point. Hit market <laughs> saturation. Saturation, by the way. Get ready for the next buzzword. Um, um, for creatine. Thank you for the $10. Speaking as a programmer yourself, I'd be better off writing the code yourself anyway. Why waste time debugging AI gen code when it's much easier to debug, test, and integrate something you wrote? As someone who doesn't know how to code, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I have, like, if you gave me, like, actual programmer code and AI code, I would not be able to tell the difference, I imagine. You just because I don't know what I'm looking at, you know? So I will just basically have to take your word for it. Sideways, thank you for the $10. You thought about doing the Etsy passive income thing with partial AI work, but ultimately didn't. No passion for it, and it still takes work to build up. You may try it someday with something else. I mean... I think, I think you could use the AI art as, like, references and then acquire the ability as an artist yourself, right? A pickle to cucumber! Then give the $2. Like Pippa said, Pandora's box has been opened. Yeah, and I mean, maybe once the AI-generated stuff is literally indistinguishable from, like, actual artists, maybe, maybe then we'll hit some sort of a, like, apex that we'll need to be thinking about exactly what's happening. And... Like a lot of artists like to say, art is a luxury. Like, if you can't afford to commission artwork, uh, you know, that's on you. I, I see a lot of artists saying that. And I agree with them. But also, since art is a luxury, it's not a necessary job. Which, which feels really rude to say. But it's not wrong. It's, is, is, uh, blah, blah, blah. is the same not true for coding? I feel like coding is pretty necessary at this point in time. But, I mean, maybe at one point AI coding will be better. I don't know, because I don't know how to code. I have eyes, so I can tell what good art looks like. <laughs> Learn to weld, nerd! And Kusha hates artists confirmed. What the hell? Nyana tweeted that she wouldn't be her without Pippa's AI stream. And she's like to commission an artist for her model, Wholesome. Yeah. That's what I was saying earlier, when people were attacking Pippa for all the, the AI, like, sponsorship thing. And if anyone should have an AI sponsorship, it would be Pippa, considering how much work she did in novel AI, creating actual VTubers from the AI that went on to be piloted by human beings who also went on to commission artists. Made of deceit! Thank you for the five dollar doodles. Hell no! Nah. Now you want an AI cover of you singing the cheeseburger song from VeggieTales! A, I feel like the, the AI voice gen stuff is really fucking impressive. Like, it's fun to listen to, and it's like, God damn, that actually sounds like this person. But it's also scary, because it's like... That means that these AI models can make it seem like someone is saying something that they didn't actually say. So while it's fascinating, it's also a tinge, a tinge terrifying. Artist cancel Kusha at 5432. I mean, if an artist wants to cancel me, fine. I just won't pay them money. <laughs> if you if you want to get uppity about my opinion over AI art where I think artists should still get paid, first of all, little weird. Second of all, I just won't commission you, question mark. Is it bad to be attracted to a cartoon fox <laughs> that you don't even know that well? Pro Proxy, thank you for the five-month resub. Sweet Liberty, unusual cat. And before Sakana makes a fake graduation letter for Kirsha on April Fools. That would be funny. <laughs> that would be funny. 
there have already been crimes using a voice of a family member to their parents to send them money when it wasn't their child. I've seen I've seen those those messages going around on Twitter as well. That's uh as real as really spooky. You welcome the new AI over flips the breaker. I win this round. Oh my god. Loeb Loeb will come for us all. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He hates Jarmans. What? What? Oh, well, you guys are you guys are having like a completely different conversation. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> he did one for Pampa? Yeah, he did. And that was funny. <laughs> Imagine some Twitter freaks are trying to cancel Pippa again because the AI thing. Yeah, I mean, just just ignore them. Boy, fucking their, their opinions literally don't matter. They don't know who Pippa is or what she is about in any way, shape or form. They're they're just clip consumers and they enjoy taking her out of context so that they can feel powerful. Lobe became smart enough to not show itself anymore. Did it now? Is it is it hard to generate Lobe? V tweeters aren't sentient. V V tweeters need to get drop kicked into a ravine. The hate rolls off Pippa game. like moldy Wee! soda. True. Wee! Ow. Everyone upset about a I can stay mad. The spicy cat is out of the bag, and no amount of screeching is going to get it back in there. Yeah, I'm I not gonna you. get in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd Whispers, thank you for the ten dollar doodles. I wanted to, I wanted to bring this up because I was confused and I figured, who better to ask than my chat? <laughs> you got, you guys can help my intelligence. Bing's AI kept giving you errors when trying to make lobe. Uh oh. Oh, spooky. <laughs> Pippa even had a dream she got fired again. The troll that Fishman did traumatized her. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, Flamingo Man, thank you for the nine months of prune. Congratulations on this, the day of your birth. Your sister sat through 2.5 hours of Dune for your Jeez, birthday. Sally, She's a wonderful person. You have two comms? Do -do -do! Adam, Adam, thank you for the 39 month resub, you absolute crazy man. That is a long fucking time. I don't know how many years that is, but that's a lot of years, dude. I, just feel, I feel like that's over three. I feel I feel like that's over three years. Wow. What do you mean? Wow. Slime girl is pretty good. Great stream. Three years, three months. Hell yeah. I, I'm good at math. <laughs> and Pippa hating clout chasers. Check their bio. 90% chance you'll find a V-tweeter pre-debut in pronouns. I always love explaining how pre-debut is like pronouns in bio to people who aren't into VTubers. <laughs> She did the maths right this time. I'm fucking nuts. So you guys, you guys gotta help me understand this, okay? Please, please help my brain. Cause like this sound, this sounds like, like it wouldn't be helpful, but I guess it is. I, I don't know. Uh, so we get the 6% commission on buying or selling a home is gone after Realtors Association agrees to a seismic settlement. The 6% commission, this looks like it's too small for you guys on screen. There we go. Let's get it bigger. The 6% commission, a standard in home purchase transactions, is no more. In a sweeping move expected to dramatically reduce the cost of buying and selling a home, the National Association of Realtors announced Friday a settlement with groups of home sellers agreeing to end landmark antitrust lawsuits by paying $418 million in damages and eliminating rules on commissions. The NAR, which represents more than 1 million realtors, also agreed to put in place a set of new rules. One prohibits agents' compensation from being included on listings placed on local centralized listing portals known as multiple listing services, which critics say led brokers to push more expensive properties on customers. I don't know what this means. I don't, I don't know what this means at all. <laughs> if only this happened in Mexico a few months ago. Well, in the U.S., uh, realtor commission is 6% before this ruling. Realtor commission was usually around 6%, whereas in places like Mexico or Israel or France, it was only between 1% and 3%. Wait, wait, wait. So they can't list how much of the price is their commission now? That's what it sounds like to me, right? It, so it sounds like they can't list their commission fee, or they don't have to, and it also sounds like since the commission fee isn't 6% standard anymore, they can just charge more than that as well. 
Which makes me feel like this doesn't sound good, right? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> it does, it can be anything. Yeah, like this doesn't, this doesn't sound good, even though the article makes it sound good. But I was like, maybe I just don't understand enough about the home real estate market. So maybe I'm being brain damaged. There's a, there's a trap. There's no wording shown that states they can't charge whatever. Yeah. Wouldn't hiding the comm rate make them be able to make higher comms? Yes. Yes, this is this is why I'm confused as to why it's like labeled as a good thing, right? Um, another ends requirements that brokers subscribe to multiple listing services, many of which are owned by NAR subsidiaries, where homes are given a wide viewing in a local market. And this also sounds weird, right? Like it ends requirements that brokers subscribe to multiple listing services. So like houses that go up on like Zillow and Realtor and Redfin, they would they might only have to put it up on one of those websites instead of three, thus limiting its exposure. So this also doesn't sound good to me unless I'm misinterpreting this, right? Emperor Creaty, thank you for the five dollars. AI gen code looks very boilerplate and horrendously repetitive, i.e. endless. If else conditions, kind of like the average Yandere Dev Java class. Hmm. That sounds bad. It all sounds bad to me, but I figured, you know, last time we were talking about houses last week, last time we were talking about houses last week, we had realtors and stuff in the chat. So I figured you, you guys can help me understand. Like I'm a real pet. Uh, oh yeah, this Admiral is Nagi is a realtor. A lawsuit. A buyer wasn't made aware that commissions are split between buying and selling agent. So they thought they were being scammed out of money because the transaction pays both agents commissions. It's so stupid. A buyer wasn't made aware that commissions are split between buying and selling agents. So they thought they were being scammed out of money because the transaction pays both agents commissions. I also don't understand how the commissions work. And that, that bring that we'll get to that in the article as well, because like it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense the way that they're framing it. Thank you. Thank you for five dollars, Almighty Lolly. Uh, Nagi, you said you only subscribe to MLS. The rest just piggyback. So then, if you're only subscribing to one thing and it gets multi-listed anyways, I don't, I don't understand like this sentence at all. <laughs> in in that case, I don't know. I don't understand anything that it's saying. Real estate agents are the worst. I'm saying agents, not Asians. <laughs> Oh god, commissions are percentages from the transaction? Well, yeah, I know it's a percentage of the transaction, but the real estate agent can, like, tells you what the percentage that they want is. The Boston debuff in action. Why did she say the same word twice? I'm not saying, I'm not saying Asian agents! You can tell the difference between the words! Real estate Asian, real estate agent! You guess they don't force you to sub to MLS anymore? It's pretty expensive? I mean, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You can see how it's a conflict of interest for the buyer. The more the buyer pays, the more the agent gets paid. What's well, like... The... The buyer also doesn't or didn't have to pay a fee previously. I, I'll get to that in the article because, like, again, it doesn't make sense to me. Another new rule will require buyers brokers to enter into written agreements with their buyers. Which... Didn't you do this before? What does this mean? Like if if I'm a home buyer and I go get a real estate agent, wouldn't we enter into a contract? What does this mean? I say you good house. Oh my god. It's pretty funny you're only learning this from me. That is pretty funny. <laughs> as as a real estate agent yourself. Pretty sure you you already did that. <laughs> Hoistein! Thank you for the five dollars! This is a settlement that is the death of their guild type restrictions and standards. It was six percent of the final price to the agent before, so duh. Well yeah, but now they can just make it higher than six percent, right? So like I I just I I guess I don't get it. <laughs> Means you get locked into your broker instead of being able to just walk away whenever you like. That also sounds bad, if true. Like what? Why would you hire them if they're higher? Well, now that they can actively have competitive rates, if if you if people are able to do like 10%, why would you undercut so far to go down to 2% and just, instead of just undercutting at 8%, which is still higher than the previous 6%, right? Like, am I crazy? 
I just... I, I could be dumb, but like, that's just what I'm thinking, you know? There's a breakdown of this by a real estate YouTuber. Meet Kevin, TLDR, first time buyers and buyers agents are fucked over. That's what it feels like. The agreement effectively will destroy the current home buying and selling business model in which sellers pay both their broker and a buyer's broker, which critics say have been driving houses, housing prices artificially higher, which this doesn't make sense to me. If you, if you as a home seller have to pay a brokerage fee for your real estate agent for both yourself and the person buying your house, why wouldn't the person buying just want to go through like your broker, right? B probably because the broker working on the side of the, uh, the seller is going to want to milk the buyer for as much money as humanly possible. So then the buyer has to get their own real estate agent to kind of like Pokemon duel the seller's agent. But the buyer wouldn't need an agent if the seller's agent wasn't going to be milking them. I don't know, this whole thing. <laughs> This whole thing seems like fucking crazy to me. A pickle to kill Camber. Thank you for the $5. It's time to become the Findom real estate magical girl. You already have the wand. Sign the contract and embrace your destiny. I'm not smart enough for that, dude. This is a very cutthroat industry. And you're thinking exactly what you are. If anything, I'm being more generous. Hit help. House prices are going to go down now because now everyone is going to be too afraid of buying a house in the U.S. Well, that would be nice in a way. It's part of why some people are stuck in California. Your friend's mom in college owned a $2 million house, but to sell and fees, they would owe money. That doesn't make any sense. How would they owe money on a $2 million sell if fees can only be like a percentage of the house cost? Houses have only inflated as you had Redfin and random businesses buying up real estate along with foreign interest, buying getaway homes. I think like the craziest thing is seeing all of the foreclosures and all of the houses that are basically destroyed, but still being sold for like, like that one I showed you guys for $650,000. It's just like, if I have to basically bulldoze a house and build one anew, why the fuck am I paying that much money? If you sell a house, you have to buy a new one to continue to live in a house? Well, yeah, obviously. What are, what are, what is, what are you trying to say? Real estate speculators get the millstone tied around their neck. Holy state, they give it the $10. They could offer lower. The restriction to 6% was there as before there were those that would offer no percentage of final sale for their services. The issue is this change of the in incentive to sell fast. It's more complicated than that. Seller agents look for people to buy a property. Buyer agents look for property for a client. There's differences in how they work. They can do dual agent, but it's double the work. Seller agents look for people to buy a property. Buyer agents look for property for a client. There's differences in how they work. Well, well, yeah, but like, I've also been told that you can use the same agent. It's just not a good idea because they're going to take advantage of whoever the buyer is. The restriction to 6% was there as before there were those that would offer no percentage of final sale for their services. Isn't that a good thing? Isn't that a, isn't that a good, like, if they're, why would they offer to work for free though, I guess would be the question. People need to make a certain amount to be able to afford their new house. They would have to jack up the price higher so that 6% cut would still leave them enough. Now they can go lower so the people setting the price don't have to go so high. But what's, what's stopping the agents from making it giga high now? What percentage is it to put a fox in the house? I don't know. New Hampshire real estate agent here might be different in other states, but pre-licensing classes would emphasize the 6% is not a standard. It may be common, but there's no standard commission. That's interesting. Remember, California counts that 2 million sell as you making $2 million in a year. They're going to tax you like three separate times in addition to the massive fees. Oh, that's true. That's true and unfortunately real. No, Nocte Angelus, thank you for the member. Thank you for the member. It's not, it's not a take advantage of deal. It's that it's harder on the agent. I don't understand how it would be harder. Cause if I'm, if, if there's someone selling a house and they have an agent and I don't want to get my own agent for some reason, I could just contact that, that agent and be like, you're selling this house. I'm interested in this house. 
what do we do? If your percentage is super high, they go somewhere else? Right, right, they do go somewhere else, but I'm saying, like, what is stopping them from trying to keep it under 6% now? If you have, like, no cap, I just, like, I don't know, man. It's only good for the buyer, they're not working for free, they get a fixed payment per the agreement, so they'll sell for less to make a quick sale. Yeah, I mean, you could do flat fee instead of percentage. I I've, I've seen that as well, and it's mentioned in the article. If no commission, you have to pay them regardless of whether they find you a house? Oh, that's- that's spooky. Makes you glad you got your house when you did. It was hell getting a VA loan in 2019. You can only imagine how bad it is now. Um, well, I can't even- I can't even get a hold of someone. Like, last week, I did the pre-qualification on stream with everyone. And my bank- my bank person keeps, like, emailing me. And they're like, hey, are you able to talk today? And I'm like, no, I don't have any time today. I told you previously I only have time on Wednesday after this time of the day. And they're like, okay, I'll call you then. And then they don't. And I'm like, okay, well, you didn't call me. So now I only have time on Thursday after this time of the day. And then they don't even email me back. And they're like, oh, okay, do you have time this weekend? And I'm like, no, I don't have time this weekend. The next time I'm available is on Monday after this time of the day. And I just, I don't expect them to call me then either. So I don't know what to do. I'm kind of... I'm, I'm kind of in this state like, I don't know what to do or who to call or who to talk to about like home loan shit. It just, it just feels like liter literally everyone does not care. And I feel, I also feel like no matter who I talk to, I'm going to end up getting taken advantage of. Go in person? I don't, <clears throat> I don't know how to do that. Sounds like a lot of things these days, no one calling when they say they will, right? Funny would be to know the buyer of the house. It's one of your viewers. World is small. I did. I did finally end up calling the old man and leaving him, you know, the emotional plea voicemail and being like, oh, please have you or your agent call me back at my phone number. But I, I don't know if that'll happen. So we'll see. <laughs> Most branches will have a loan officer. Real estate commissions don't play any role in market pricing. 6% of 100,000 to six grand. It's absolutely minuscule in the grand scheme of things. Well, I mean, I don't think six grand is minuscule, right? Like, if if I'm already having to pay $100,000 for a house, which I'm probably getting, like, a 25-square-foot shack at that point, but if I'm, if I'm paying that much money, six grand... I don't want to pay another six grand on top of that, dude. <laughs> From what you heard, you read if they are not required or allowed to post the commission, and then we'll just have the list price be the seller's value plus the commission. Seems very sketchy. I was like, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's, that's real weird. I'll continue the article, though. Uh, by some estimates, real estate commissions are expected to fall 25 to 50 percent, according to TD Cohen Insights. This will open up opportunities for alternative models of selling real estate that already exist but don't have much market share, including flat fee and discount brokerages. And this might just be me not understanding math, but I don't understand how them removing the 6 percent commission rate as standard and i know someone in chat said it wasn't standard but i'm going by what this article says i don't understand how them removing that will make real estate commissions fall like i i don't understand that you guess but how many homes do they sell in an average month is the next question you'd have i mean i guess makes the seller bump the price up a little to compensate for it but you can't imagine it's the real problem can see commissions coming down for like 10 million dollar homes but potentially going up for cheaper housing that's that's what it feels like like this is this is probably going to help people who are selling homes for millions of dollars but anyone selling or buying homes in like a more affordable bracket range are gonna get fucked is like is like what it feels like meds. Meds, hey you can't make me i think we are looking at this wrong now instead of selling a $100,000 house so they get a 6% commission, $6,000, now they are incentivized to sell a $10,000 house with a 100% commission. So the house is technically cheaper. I don't understand. What do you mean a $10,000 house with a 100% commission? I don't... What do you mean by this? If you sell four houses at 3%, you will make more than if you sell one house at 6%. Well, yeah. <laughs> the numbies! The housing market has a lot of problems. Realtors are a pretty small one. I mean, probably. 
It's gonna make it cheaper for the Chinese to buy more houses and land in the US near military bases. Wonderful! Why would the prices of houses go down? In theory, the prices of houses would go down because the home sellers aren't going to need to factor in as much of a agent percentage. But that's where I was saying, like, what is incentivizing the agents to be charging less of a percent? I was like, I don't, I, I don't understand it. Why is there a time tag attached to your post? Are you posting from the past? He is. <laughs> thank, thank, Rave Master J, thank you for the five dollars. Adds the confusion. <laughs> Inflation is a major problem. Our money is worth 20% less in just four years. Chat, I saw an advertisement for a Taco Bell crunch wrap. Beefy, beefy crunch wrap. The 6% isn't to one party. It's split between both agents. So you'd basically be arguing they should work for free or cheaper. But why would they work for free? I don't understand. Almighty lolly, they gave you the $5? And I thought it was 6% per agent. And then the home the home sellers were just like, I don't want to have to pay for the buyer's agent. It should be illegal for non-citizens to own property in the US. I can agree with that. <laughs> I can agree with that. Listing your commission encouraged realtors to match other realtors, so it ended up being less competitive. Listing your commission encouraged other realtors to match other realtors. So it ended up being less competitive. But if you see someone having like a 6% commission, you could undercut them by having a 5% commission. Wouldn't, wouldn't showing the commissions make more sense? Where's the schizo talk? Is this actual knowledge? Not cur This is actual knowledge. We're learning? We're learning? 6% for both? 3 for each? I didn't know that was how that way. I thought it was 6% for each one. Like individually. Real estate agents should pay you six per Yeah, please, pay me. <laughs> Taco the Taco Bell ad! In twenty in twenty thirteen, the crunch wrap was eighty-nine cents. Today, that same crunch wrap is like five dollars and sixty cents. Our our money is very quickly inflating, man. The realtor that handled your house purchase got 2.5k commission. I mean, some of them do flat instead of percentage as well. That's a 12% commission, which nobody would do. Stop noticing! I'm Ethan Bowberry. 20% weaker, dollars more like 200% weaker. <laughs> Joke's on you, that's my fetish. What the fuck? 89 cent tacos are dead. We used to be a real country. A proper country! It used to make sense! Remember, remember when cheeseburgers on the dollar menu were actually a dollar? You can get like an 89 cent cheeseburger. Can't do that shit anymore. Go to McDonald's, get 10 cheeseburger. That's ten dollars. You can do for each of your friends. Taco Bell is a three dollar value menu. That's not a value. Also, that's a really chubby bow emote. I like that. <laughs> Talk to Nick Rochefort on his scuffed realty streams for advice. I mean, maybe I need to. I'm gonna go reach out to that guy and be like, teach a brain damaged fox woman how to buy a house and not get taken advantage of. <laughs> Used to be able to go to McDonald's and get three burgs for less than five bucks. Now that's over ten. Apparently, Wemdy's is gonna be having some sort of like video game meal thing soon. You're gonna be honest, this feels like a non resolution to get people off their backs for the antitrust suit. I mean, maybe? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You don't mean to interrupt. You saw a clip of me talking about the new gamers flavor AFK using code Kirsha at purchase and how magnesium increases your sperm count. What did you mean by that? Do you want big cums? Do you want faster cums? Not faster as in like you'll come faster, but like your sperm individually will be able to swim faster. Buy AFK at Gamersubs with code Kirsha for 10% off. The big, the big and fast cums is just a side effect. It's supposed to be a sleep aid. But I told you the extra good effect that it will have for you. Get good sleep. Have big cums. Gamer sups with code Kirsha. <laughs> when are we getting the cup? I just asked the artist for an update on uh, the imagery. So S soon, TM? Question mark. The whole process typically takes about three months before it comes out for sale. Hi, Steam. They give the five dollars. This is worse for the local government as they get property taxes based on local sale prices. For everyone else, it's a mixed bag, so you'd have to find examples. My wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that the property tax that I pay on my house is based not on some like 
land size number, but it's based on how much I bought the house for. So like I could be paying 10 times the property tax for the same property as the previous person who lived in the house. That sounds kind of crazy. That doesn't, that sounds crazy. Yes, taxes paid from house valuation. My urge to put on a powdered wig and decapitate politicians is ever rising. Market price, yes! <laughs> Remember the beer cup from American Pie? No? Torin90, they give the $10. Posted conspiracy theory in the stream suggestions gives more credence that we live in a cyberpunk dystopia, but lame and gay. They definitely did put a woman in it and made her lame and gay. Alternative is that the government decides what your house is worth, like in New York. Yeah, but New York has some of the cheapest real estate in the country right now. You can you can get a literal fucking mansion on multiple acres of land for like two hundred thousand dollars. I made real estates want to faint in my chat. Real estate agents, not just real estates. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's in a shithole called New York. I know it's because everyone's leaving. Ah! <laughs> Have you seen the taxes in New York? Still lower than the taxes in New Jersey somehow. <sighs> yes, but you but then you live in New York. Yeah, unfortunately. You want a mostly underground house? I don't think I want an underground house, but I would like a basement and I would like to have the ability to build a bunker. The property tax is way higher than the actual property value, though. True, but I mean, I feel like that's the case in most states at this point. <laughs> but, but you have more article. Shale, shares, shares of real estate firms Zillow and Compass both fell by more than 13% Friday as investors feared that lower commission rates for agents could lead to less business for real estate platforms. But why? But what are there are there like houses that don't get listed on these real estate websites because the real estate website commission on top of the agent commission would just be like not worth it. So like would would an agent be able to find me a house that is just not even like available to look at online? Ideally this is a non-solution and no one actually tries anything. Because yes, okay, you guys are all saying it. yes, that makes me it's terrified. Just arguing to not pay somebody when they did their job. You'd cripple the market if they fucked with it, which sinks property values. Ah! My, my fucking stream elements has been absolutely retarded lately, and I hate it. Every time I go to look at my stream elements, it'll be like, hey, update your information, and I'm like, I just did that! I just did that! And then if I hit remind me later, it, it will just like log me out. <laughs> She's going insane! I'm not, ideally, this is a non-solution and no one actually tries anything because there was never an issue. It's just arguing to not pay somebody when they did their job. You cripple the market if they fucked with it, which sinks property values. Well, don't we want that? Don't we want to sink property value? Because they're like giga inflated? Like people wanting $400,000 for like a $79,000 house? What, don't we, don't we want to sink the fuck out of property values? <gasps> Only if you don't own property. Homeowners don't want that? Yeah, but the homeowners can get fucked. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be- the boomers are the ones who put us in this situation, so I don't really care. <laughs> Sink the fucking market. God, no, John, thank you for the $10. When you were buying last year, your agent explicitly said a decent amount of her business comes in these days because she has listings for houses not on the open market. So what I should be doing is reaching out to a real estate agent in the area that I want to buy and hope that they can find me a house before it goes actually on the market? That sounds... that sounds like it's okay, I guess. Case Schiller ratio of median income to medium home prices is at a historic bubble. We gotta pop that bubble. We gotta pop the bubble. Too bad if you overpaid on a high interest mortgage, get fucked! <laughs> A sink of the home value, short the property taxes. Get rid of all the taxes. Man, can you imagine how interesting it'll be if like an actual civil war slash revolution type thing happened? Can you imagine 
not paying taxes and not getting in trouble for it because the entire country's on fucking fire? More, more, every day, every day. It just sounds like a better place to be. Tim Pool, stop blue balling me. Kick off the civil war already. <laughs> 2008 called, hope you stash some cash to buy low, right? You got lucky, bought in 2019, right before Rona fucked everything up. Dude, looking at the graph prices for homes and seeing them at a reasonable price in 2018 and then literally fucking skyrocketing like 500% the next year. What the fuck? What the fuck? You're more worried about the many people that would have no income whatsoever if the internet went down for a month or so? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be pretty fucking spooky as well, to be fair. You'd more than likely end up having to pay more taxes and people would show up with weapons to force you to pay in a civil war situation. Yeah, but then you just kill them. Because you're in a civil war situation. You're gonna, you're gonna come to my house while my city's on fire and demand I pay you money? No, how about you get in the fucking ground? Right? Like... <laughs> my, my rifle disagrees! Imagine trying to extort someone in a civil war situation? What do you mean? <laughs> it was self-defense. They wanted me to pay taxes. <laughs> In-game. We're not in a civil war. This is an entirely hypothetical situation, chat. Probably wouldn't be one person showing up, like four or five people. Good, I hope you have friends. <laughs> Literally an enemy combatant. Exactly. <laughs> Kirsch is my favorite bandit queen. <laughs> Are we talking about the problem of BlackRock and overseas landowners buying all the houses as asset problem now? No, but I will say, I did not realize how angry I would get trying to find specifically like old style houses. The amount of like firms or lawyers or other assorted people who buy up Victorian homes and then fucking gut them and turn them into offices or low income housing Makes me want to behead real estate agents in Minecraft. <laughs> Ungraped by the stylus. Hey, you want taxes? I want to turn you into fertilizer. It's like, I'll pay you the taxes, but you ain't leaving here with them alive. <laughs> Danny D, thank you for the $4.99. Tax evasion is an obligation. Imagine IRS Death Squad special offer. Either give up 50% of your assets for the war effort or they will kill you and take 100%. Should you offer resistance, you'll be UAV'd and the assets are seized. I'm the Quine Bobs. <laughs> Loads grape shot. <laughs> they do that. It makes you happy that people like that channel Second Empire Strikes Back exists. I have no idea what that is. And yeah, there was there was a beautiful a beautiful Victorian home in near my hometown that sold like uh, back in September or October, so I didn't even know it existed at that point. But I found out like when it sold, uh, the people who bought it were a nonprofit organization that's going to turn it into homes, or like turn it into apartments for low income mental health people who are also homeless. Elect the Paul brothers, not those Paul brothers. In a 10k filing last month, Zillow warned that if agent commissions are meaningfully impacted, it could reduce the marketing budgets of real estate partners or reduce the number of real estate partners participating in the industry, which could adversely affect our financial condition and results of the operations. The we I don't I don't I don't I don't know what this is saying. <laughs> Cuz like I feel like there are a lot of real estate agents, right? Like almost too many. King Heavy Meta, they give the five dollars. Level four plate armor will not help anyone collecting taxes at my you house. Should take your meds. Meds, hey! You can't make me! If property values sink, people can't pay debts. People can't pay debts. Properties are foreclosed on. Mass foreclosures means economic disaster. Everyone feels the pain when the real estate market is hit. I mean, again, why should I feel sympathy for the boomers who inflated the market like a gajillion percent? Why, why should I feel bad? <laughs> they can't get enough financing for selling of those homes. I think, uh, think of all the boomers that borrowed against the equity in their homes and then the home value drops. <laughs> Went through it once, who cares? <laughs> 
Rental companies are buying all the houses in your neighborhood and the renters are destroying the properties. Company then refuses to fix damage. And the fence between your house and a rental has several broken boards and they refuse to fix it. What the heck? Because it hits me too? How does it hit me? I pay less for a house in that case. We shouldn't feel bad for them ruining the market. We should feel bad because we are in the ruined market. Yeah, but that's why we want the bubble to pop so that the housing prices fall and that you can buy a cheaper house. Right? Like, wouldn't isn't that the isn't that the the thing that you would want? This is my Hassan moment. What do you mean? Less for a house, but money, new toilet paper. Would it be now toilet paper if the housing bubble bursts? That's what led to the 2008 crash. <laughs> Fuck it, we squatting. That's that's what I feel like at this point. Squatters seem to have more rights than the homeowners themselves. Like, just fuck it. Why buy a house just squatting one? I should look up what caused the Great Depression. Why would someone sell if the property value is nothing? Well, I mean, didn't you just say that they would get foreclosed on if they can't pay their debt? So if they don't sell at a loss, they're going to get foreclosed on if they can't pay their debts for the house, right? Housing prices may fall, but mortgages will be more difficult to obtain. Not arresting anybody in 2008 was a real crime. I was not old enough to pay attention to the, wh exactly what happened in 2008. Mortgages mean that houses can be any price as long as you can pay for 30 years. A 30 year mortgage. Like I, I know some people were like aghast at that when I was talking about it last week, but like, fuck man. Don't rent, just buy full price. <laughs> In the UK, government agencies keep buying up houses to offset their budgets because they refuse to make cuts and live by their means. That means that they won't have the money to liquidate to pay their debt. How does that, how does them not being able to pay their debt and then the bank foreclosing and selling their house for cheaper affect me though? Other than in a good way. Think of all the homeowners that would rather set fire to their Victorian houses than be sacrificed to the depression. Not seeing the full picture, banks and building firms are a part of it too. I mean, probably. You're old enough to be a part of the conversation, but I am too dumb! Well, yeah, that's why I wanted to talk about this with chat, because I also have no idea what I'm talking about. Mass foreclosures, one after the other, makes the stock market very unhappy. Hmm. Doesn't affect me. People who are about to be in trouble love to tell other people that they're in trouble instead. The banks won't lend. The house prices would be cheaper and you wouldn't be able to get a mortgage to buy in. How Money Works is a good video about housing prices crashing, not helping out. Thank you for the five dollars. Would it... If people, if people who own property are the ones worried about the housing market crashing, I just, I don't, wouldn't they, like that, like that other person in chat said, wouldn't they try to convince you that it's also bad for you, even though you would be able to get house at lower price? Housing crash happened because of bad loans, right? If, is it, is it the interest fees that need to come down? Market keeping its bubble is bad, but the alternatives is bank imploding and no more economy. The more you think about it, the more you think the system is fucked. I mean, it's not like the system is unfucked. We read we read that article last year uh, where Biden was making it so if you have high credit, you're going to have to pay more uh, on your mortgage to make up for the people who have low credit and can't pay as much on their mortgages. The banks don't worry about prices dropping because the government will bail them out. Only the owners will lose. King Happy Matter, thank you for the five dollars. Zoomer financial TikToks heavily promote turning the old houses into multifamily apartments, and the brain dead Zoomer or boomers eat it up. Uh, yeah, but I mean, even before Zoomer TikTok people saying to do that, that's what boomers were doing in the first place. That's why there's so many old Victorian and colonial homes in New England that are unlivable as a single family home. They've all been transformed into multifamily, multi apartment houses. Interest rates will spike in response. There's no way houses will get cheaper. Housing crash happened because of lenders giving cash to people who couldn't actually afford the houses, which inflated pricing, until people couldn't afford the mortgages. Well, shouldn't they just stop lending to people who can't afford it? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that make more sense? You're gonna get tricked into buying at the top from the people who bought at the bottom. That's, that's what I'm thinking. 
you don't you don't really get it people with a house don't need to worry about the house price unless they want to move to another house but other house will also be cheaper so that should cancel out so only people who would lose would be people with more money than one property or are you stupid to me it sounds like if the bubble pops and properties drop in value the only people who would be losing are homeowners who paid exorbitantly for their properties like they bought at a unreasonable time and then like almighty lolly said they wouldn't be able to pay off the debts that they are in to afford their property and so they would either get foreclosed on or they would have to sell at a great loss But it's just like, if they have to sell at a loss because they're in debt that they couldn't pay because they bought something that they thought would be an investment, but it turned out to be an ankle brace, and then that property becomes affordable for me, why, why would I care? <laughs> you wonder if there's some kind of professional economist I could ask about this? Is he available right now? If he, if he is available, I could, I could get him in here and be like, please, please explain, my brain's small. You bought your house in 2015 the market is so out of control that the value has raised 66% since then. It's time to move for a better school district for your kid, but because all houses everywhere rose in price and the interest rates have gone up from 2.5 to 7, you can afford to move even though you would get so much for yourself. It raising from 2.5 to 7 in like 7 years is crazy, dude. Your plan B for housing is buying an old semi truck and turning a box trailer help into a big house on wheels. Why would you even need more than one house? Because when when boomers, right? When boomers, people in like their their 50s and over were being able to buy really cheap real estate, a good way to make money was to buy a house for cheap, make minimal repairs or turn it into a multifamily residence, rent out all of the apartments that you just made from your house, and then buy another property, pay off the original property with the rent that you made from the people renting it. And then keep doing that. Keep buying houses, keep making them multifamily, keep renting them out, keep collecting the rent, pay off the properties, buy more. Sell your homes for the fox. Good. Fox must live in the wild. Fox must be free. Fox must live with the other foxes. Be free. But, but, dogs, I need home! I need to pee on it! Thank you for the $5. Fed ops to turn single family homes into apartments and bring in millions of illegals, give tax money to the house, uh, the invaders. Illegals become dem voters and replace citizens. Gum then uses eminent domain to absorb property owned apartments for BlackRock bankers to provide housing for new citizens. Hmm. No help. What the fuck? You got your house from your uncle. He took 50k off and the loan is at 2.3 APR regardless of what the market does. I literally don't care. <laughs> Millennials are almost in their 50s. Boomers are in their 60s to 70s. I can guarantee you millennials are not in their 50s. <laughs> That's what we do here in SA with the houses. The government gives the poor. They rent out every room and go live in a shack. What the fuck? Real infinite money glitch is to create a bank. The reason the banks keep doing it is because once they get the contract signed, they sell the debt to smaller companies with the idea of the bank making their own money now. The smaller companies make their money over time. But as those loans don't get paid off, the smaller companies die, but the banks keep writing the checks without issues. What the heck? Thank you for the hundred biddies, but I don't understand. You live in a multi-family house, was built that way. The HOA is actually reasonable, and they hard deny people turning the condos into rentals. It's a nice area as a result. Hmm. You call it another form of ursery. There's even stronger nowadays. Materials for repairs are barely more expensive, but the home value is many times more expensive. So instead of spending 20k and making 60k, it's more like spending 25k and making 90 to 120k. I'm gonna say, isn't that a good thing? King Happy Meta, they give the $20. Your house and property are paid for. You have no plans to move unless it's with a woman you marry and have children with. Even then, the new place you would want to have paid for as well, along with the property. Huh, but that's like, that's not you like renting out the current place you live in and, and buying another one and then continuing the infinite money glitch as it were. It's easier to remodel than build new, legally speaking, done it for years. New building is more expensive and harder to follow regulation on old buildings are cheaper to fix. Yeah, there's a, there was a pretty big house that is for sale somewhere in New Hampshire, I think it was. Uh, and like, it, it looked like it was really affordable for the size of house. I say affordable, but it was like six, $680,000 or something. 
And then when you opened up the listing, it was like a shell of a house that was also missing a roof and missing part of the second or third floor. And then inside, it was it was like really nicely set up in the kitchen and the living room, like the staircase was nice, etc. But the person building the house, I guess, filed for bankruptcy, so they couldn't finish building it. So you you are paying an exorbitant almost a million dollars. This was bidding, by the way. The bidding started at six hundred and eighty thousand dollars. So who knows how high it'll go? But you would you would bid on this property, and then you would still have to finish into building it. Frog vomit butthole. Hit, help. But like, I'm curious if he's done it. Reminding me what my dad wanted to do after losing his job in 2008. Would have loved the chance to learn how to fix up some houses to rent out, but instead we bought horses, so no money or time to fix up houses. But do you like the horses? Are the horses fun? Tijack, they give you the $20 doodles. People who want to own houses are getting fucked because of speculators? Maybe? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I really don't know. Horses are money pits! Loss of property value isn't just houses get cheaper. Entire areas can become stigmatized and they're deemed section eight, flood in with crime, push out investors. It's never a good thing for an area. But what if an entire area gets depressed and people buy up the houses and then gentrify it and then all of the housing value goes up again? Horses are less than worthless. Oh my God. This guy, this guy hates horses. Have I heard about Glock horses? No, I don't. I don't know. Oh, that's racist. What the fuck? <laughs> shares, shale, shares of real estate brokerage Redfin also fell nearly 5%. Meanwhile, home builder stocks rose on the news. Lenar shares gained 2.4. Pult Group shares added 1.1. And Toll Brothers shares added 1.8. I don't understand stock markets, so this means nothing to me. For the average priced American home for sale, $417,000. That is a crazy high average price. That is insane. That isn't, how does anyone think that that is like normal? This should be way lower. That's a big if that relies on someone actually doing it. A lot of places are left to rot. I should learn st stock market and finance is a joke. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sellers are paying more than $25,000 in brokerage fees, and these costs are passed on to the buyer, boosting the price of homes in America. That fee could fall between $6,000 and $12,000, according to TD Cohen Insights analysis. But why? I don't, I don't understand why they think it would fall instead of just going higher. I just, I just, uh, I get, I, it doesn't make any sense to me, especially since real estate agents are like car salesmen, like they are imbued with the devil and snake oil. What incentive is there for them to get paid less? Like, I don't... <laughs> A real realtor's job is literally cool house. Now give me 30K, pretty much. To be fair, average is most affected by the extremes. Well, yeah, but it's still a crazy high price. And like the 417 average? Uh, that is way lower than the average in the area I'm trying to move to. I'm gonna- I'm gonna end up getting, like, literally a cardboard box. <laughs> the house you grew up in was built in 1950. It's still standing in great condition. Can't say the same, but most modern homes, right? <laughs> right? Anya. What an outrageous price you paid. I can't read it because it's 96k for a 1400 square foot home in 2009. Yeah, there there are like 800 square foot homes for like $500,000 now. I, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Why not try a plot of land, build our own Victorian Lego house? Because it's not an authentic one if you build it in 2024. Having flashbacks of the 680k crack den. <laughs> While the settlement comes at a significant cost, we believe the benefits it will provide to our industry are worth the cost, said Kevin Sears, president of the NAR, in a statement. If you're telling me that people in your industry are going to get paid less, how is that a benefit? I, I, like, I feel <gasps> like I'm missing something, or like I'm not smart balloon. enough to Take understand something. I want to read that one. No, horses are a full-time job. My dad never got a job again after we bought them. And we overspent all the time. My sister's show horse had a saddle worth more than my first car, $6,000. Horse was retired after an injury four years in. He was $37,000.
Jesus Christ. How do you even recover your losses on all of these ponies, dude? That sounds like not a good investment. Thank you. Thank you for the $10. Tijack, thank you. Once again, COVID was every bad actor's chance. Oh, man. That's a lot of glue. Less cost involved with buying homes just means more sales volume, which is more money in the long term. Oh, okay. Okay. It, I, I guess. I guess that would make sense if there's more people able to buy homes at a lower percent. But I, I, don't, I feel like houses are still selling pretty fast. Like anytime I find a house and I'm like, okay, I'll sit on this one and see if maybe I like it. And it just like, it sells the next day. So like, there's still a fuck ton of people buying houses super quickly. In November, a federal jury in Missouri found the NAR and two brokerages liable for $1.8 billion in damages for conspiring to keep agent commissions artificially high because it was an antitrust case. The NAR was potentially on the hook for triple those damages, $5.4 billion. So if they were conspiring to keep agent commissions artificially high, I don't understand how, like, removing the regulations would depress them, I, I guess. Like, I... I I don't understand. A lot of Texans are moving up there. That's why it hasn't crashed yet. People are still buying. Making films for Vosh could be profitable. What the fuck? Aladdin isn't a person. What are you talking about? Your house has been on the market for 10 months now. Been trying to sell it since last year. I feel like, considering how fast I'm seeing things sell... If your house has been on the market for more than a couple of months, you either live in a bad area, are asking too much for your house, or or my, my third option was going to be <laughs> that your house has too many repairs to sell at the price that you set it at, but that would go into number two, so it's basically the same thing. Welcome to Toxic Sluts. Media has to lie until the market is allowed to crash. Orders from the big man. Sir Wentz, thank you for the eight months of prune. Thank you. Guess the idea is a realtor sees someone's comms at 3 to 4% and goes, oh, I can set mine at that with no issue too. Wouldn't it make more sense to see it at 3 or 4% and be like, I should undercut them? Like that, like from, maybe, maybe I'm daft, right? But like, that's what I would do. Like when I would play market in video games, I would see the like percentage that people were selling at and then I would undercut them. Why would you sell at the same price when you can undercut? Asking too much is most common. They're blaming interest rates on the NAR instead of admitting it's due to economic damage. You gain nothing from undercutting, though? Wouldn't people go to you if you have a lower commission rate? Like, if you're only asking for 3% instead of 4%, why wouldn't people go to you? The market ain't that simple. Not if no one else is gonna undercut. But how do you know? When it's not a video game, you have to live off that 3%. I mean, yeah, but in theory, again, if you're undercutting, wouldn't more people go to you? So you would be making more in the long run? Like, if that 4% guy is gonna get, like, 5 people to use him, but then enough people see that you're charging 3% instead of 4%, and you get, like, 10 people. I don't know, you know? If no one else undercuts, you would be king! Count seven, they give you the $5. Why buy a house from the go when the government can just take it from you for any reason that they can justify as communal development, including economic? Well, where are you going to live? Rent is just like throwing your money in a fire. That's how Walmart was king for decades. I don't trust Walmart anymore because Walmart's if basically become Amazon. And you put the fox in your house. I'm going to pee gonna in it. It's going to do fox things. Unironically, you make it back by breeding them. Too bad most people that got into horses don't realize this. Our horses were castrated. Mom now understands why Grandpa, a cattle rancher, told her no when she was a little girl wanting ponies. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Tijack, thank you for the $10. So, you're supposed to make your money back by breeding them, but you castrated all your horses so you can't make your money back? That... That seems very unfortunate. When did you trust Walmart? I mean, I never shopped at Walmart, but like, at, at, well, I wouldn't say never, but like I, I bought a couple of plates from Walmart before, right? But when I would look at Walmart's website, it would show me things that were sold at Walmart by Walmart and by official people who sold at Walmart, right? Now, when you go to Walmart's website, it's like an Amazon dashboard where you just see all these Chinese resellers 
And I'm like, I don't, I don't want to buy from China, man. I don't, I don't want to have to second. This is why I didn't use Amazon very much. Is because when you buy because something from Amazon, stretches. you never know if it's Look real or if it's real Chinese pack. garbage. Cause commission rate supply to both agents. If you advertise a 4% rate, you're telling people that you pay the other agent 2%. Someone who doesn't work in your office. It's a bad deal. That doesn't make any sense to me. Be because, like... The real estate agent that I would hire as someone buying has nothing to do with the real estate agent that a seller has. So like they each have their own fee percentage. They don't come as like a package. They probably don't even know each other. I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. Before a raid reset, you can just list your potions at five times regular price and sell everything anyway. It was interesting that it would be to talk about undercutting in MMOs that sadly isn't the best comparison to real life economics with a massive economics lecture. I mean, probably not. Probably not, but like, that's the only comparison I can make. No, they do. Like, like they do know each other. I mean, may the deal percentage applies to both regardless. But like, what if the seller hired a real estate agent and their real estate agent was like 4% and then I hire a real estate agent and my real estate agent is like 3%. Uh, so wouldn't wouldn't the total be like se seven in that case? Like I don't. The fee comes from the selling agent, and they share it with the buying agent. What? You don't become successful in real estate or stock market by being money smart. You become successful by being able to convince people that you are money smart. Thank you for the hundred biddies. I confused. That's why it's regulated to six to prevent exactly that. But they've removed the regulation, so now it's no longer preventing that? Not wanting to buy China cost you a job? Apparently saying that is an HR nightmare! What the fuck? Yes. Well, so... So I... I was... I'm, I'm right? Question mark? <laughs> Real estate is a huge charisma game. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it! Oh, Daft Punk, thank you for the gift sub to Jargo. Thank you. I miss when Kirsha talked about sounding instead of making me depressed about the financial state of the Western world. You hate people who do this? The government needs to regulate so we're protected. Wait, why are the prices so high? It's not regulated to six. The person is wrong. It was always just a normal, agreed-upon rate, not forced by law. Well, then why are we reading this article that says that the regulation no longer exists? What do you mean? If this was a massive fuck-up? Okay. So I was- I was right about this being a massive fuck-up, but I wasn't quite sure exactly why. <laughs> oh god, who's Zach? Don't worry about it. The NAR had pledged to appeal the case, but other brokerage settled, and eventually so did the NAR on Friday. NAR has worked hard for years to resolve the litigation in a manner that benefits our members and American consumers, said Nakia Wright, interim CEO of NAR, in a statement. It has always been our goal to preserve consumer choice and protect our members to the greatest extent possible. This settlement achieves both of those goals. The NAR had required home sellers to include the compensation for agents when placing a listing on multiple listing services. Although the NAR has long said commissions are negotiable and that the structure helped making housing more affordable for buyers, critics have long argued that the fees were expected and the home sellers felt they would lose buyers if they didn't offer them. Christ, she can read YouTube chat now. Scary. What do you mean? I always could. Right there, it just said that they're negotiable. Yeah, it said that they were negotiable, but that housing sellers felt like they actually weren't. Oh. You're a man, so you're just going to build your own shack? If you want a particular house, you're going to have to find a bad shape one and restore it or build new. Get someone on who can explain? Uh, Proctor said that I do know an economist guy, and I asked Proctor if the economist guy was available, but then Proctor never said anything, or if he did, I didn't see it, because chat scroll. In most cases, the seller pays the full closing cost, which includes paying for the buyer's agent fee. She can read sometimes. Sometimes I'm illiterate. Me, 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 me. I don't want to mod it yet either. I'm going to put it's kept to six because it's easy. 
the percentages are agreed upon in the contract for the deal, there's no company policy for percentages, because that can lead to undercutting and conflicts in a deal. Thank you for five dollars! So, it's kept to six because it's easy. So wh why why wasn't this negotiated previously? And, and and again, like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand anything. Oh God, <laughs> prostate does that. He randomly vanishes. What a dick! What a, this is poorly worded and incorrect. Super chats are abbreviated with no context, so it's confusing. It's not really a complicated issue. Just inside baseball. Where's where's my where's my fucking this this guy? There we go. There we go. Let me let me link this man here. Hello, I would like some home buyers advice. <laughs> Everything is disclosed during the process. Isn't that like when companies set prices and it's illegal? I, I don't know, man. I just know that everything about real estate is predatory. Never trust anything real estate agents say. <laughs> Them clickety clacks. I got the clicky clackers. I gotta redo my nails soon because they're getting they're getting kind of long. Okay, they're getting they're getting a bit long, dude. <laughs> Um, let's see, where, where did I, where did I leave off? The, the NAR had required home sellers to include, I already read that, we're down here. Home sellers who brought lawsuits against the NAR have argued that in a competitive market, the cost of a buyer's agent's commission should be paid by the buyer who received the service, not by the seller. And this is how I thought it worked initially. That doesn't make any sense that the home buyer would pay the seller's cost. Like, I, d I don't want to pay it, right? But it makes sense that I would, right? The sellers who brought the lawsuit against the NAR and the brokerage said that buyers should be able to negotiate the fee with their agent and that the sellers should not be on the hook for paying it. Which, which again, makes sense, right? Right? But what if the house doesn't have a seller, this fucking guy? Zillow changing Mar-a-Lago worth for the court case against Trump? That too! You're glad you bought your house in 2018, holy shit! Buyer received the service, last time you checked, Zillow was full of houses slice. for sale, not people who wanted to buy houses. Yeah? Yeah, that's why- that's why I'm also confused in the fact that why do I even need an agent as a buyer if I can just go on Zillow, be like, I like this house, let me buy this house, and then only the seller has a commission for their agent that listed the house, right? Why do I even need one? It doesn't make sense to me. People, well, last week, people said that I needed an agent because then the agent would try and get me a lower price on the house. But like, I don't think they would since the price of the house is intrinsically tied to how much they get paid as well. I, I don't, I don't know, man. The seller pays the cost because they are the ones receiving money from the deal. Buyers are already paying money for the property. So doesn't this just fuck over people trying to buy even more? Time to do as the pioneers of old, find a nice piece of property, shoot the people living there, build a house. The only money available is the seller's money that they get for the house commissions that are split from the pool. So, yes, explicitly. Okay, so if I'm, if I'm paying money to the buyer, now I am going to have to pay more money to make up for the fee that the buyer will no longer pay from the money that I paid them in the first place. If I'm understanding this right? It just raises the price you pay for the property? Then how the fuck does the beginning of this article say that it's going to lower housing costs? I don't understand! I don't understand! Real estate agent also takes care of the paperwork involving the house? But couldn't you just take care of the paperwork yourself? It's lying! You do know journos are not to be understood because the article is lying. I think I'm understanding now. I'm- I'm getting closer to understanding. 
they do title searches and such to make sure it doesn't have a lien or other judgment against it. Can't I just do that myself as well? Can't I just go to like the fucking uh, city hall and be like, hey, yo, give me, give me the title search. The idea is that they can negotiate, negotiate a lower price in theory. If they don't negotiate me a lower price, they're fucking worthless though. Based on the seven tons of paperwork you had to sign when you got your house, you don't know if you want to do the paperwork yourself. <laughs> Lien pronounced like lean, but Lien makes it sound like its own word. You could take care of the paperwork, it's legal stuff, so good luck with that. Well then wouldn't it be better to just hire a real estate lawyer than a real estate agent? Because a real estate lawyer would both be cheaper and able to understand the paperwork. Especially if you don't need someone to find you a house because you know which one you want to buy. Have to write out a contract and have it notarized? Lawyer sounds better? Yeah, right? Yeah, real estate lawyer best. Be patient. She has a woman. I did, I did say I don't know what's going on. So like I'm learning with you, chat. You're helping. The sellers who brought the lawsuit against the NAR and the brokerage said that buyers should be able to negotiate the fee with their agent and that the seller should not be on the hook for paying it. <clears throat> after after learning, or after, after coming to the understanding that since I'm already paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to the seller, it only makes sense that the seller would pay the fee since they're the ones with all the money. So now, so now I don't really understand why they're saying this. eliminate collusion between buyer and seller agents? I don't know. Board DevOps, thank you for the five dollar doodles. What would con what would collusion between buyer and seller agents even look like? <laughs> they know how to fill out the paperwork. They know nothing about the market. We all lost the word lawyer. <laughs> this settlement, which is subject to a judge's approval, opens the door to a more competitive housing market. But like how? But, but like how? Realtors could now compete on commissions, allowing for prospective buyers to shop around on rates before they commit to buying a home. Yeah, but if buyers are now going to be on the hook and have to pay more money because of a fee than they would have before, so they're paying for the home and then also paying for a fee on top of that, it's not a buyer's market that's fucking over the buyers, right? It's going to lower the listed price of the house by embedding a fee after paying to the buyer. So, wait, what do you mean by paying to the buyer? There's too many Lawyers numbers for me to understand your paragraph. Rates. Agents operate off commissions. Lawyers aren't cheaper by any definition. Well, apparently with like some lawyers, you can you can get like a flat rate fee for filling out the paperwork for your homeownership, which would in theory be cheaper, wouldn't it, than an hourly rate? And also possibly cheaper than an agent? Almighty Lolly, thank you for the five dollars! It's the mentality of treating housing as an asset rather than as a home outside of any financial incentives. That's a state agent market. Flat fee clients, am I right? <laughs> I mean, that's what that's what I did when I got my contract written for copyright. It was a it was a flat fee. A real estate agent costs maximum two percent in Norway. Yeah, it's cheaper everywhere else in the world than it is in the U.S. It'll be cheaper if you can get a flat rate on an expensive place, but they just won't do that. Hmm. I hope they mean it's 6% in total for that commission. 6% for just the buyer agent fees would be absurd. Apparently it's split. Like, I thought it was 6% for one agent, but apparently it's 6% for both. So they get 3% each. Which doesn't really make sense to me. Flat <laughs> fee erotic. Brokers could begin to advertise their fees, allowing customers to choose lower cost agents. The NAR in its announcement did not set a suggested fee. This marks the biggest change to the housing market in a century, said Norm Miller, Professor Emeritus of Real Estate at University of San Diego. I've been waiting 50 years for this. Now, you see, this also makes me unhappy. If you, if you have like Professor Asshole of Real Estate saying, finally, I've been waiting years for this. This is, this is like finding some sort of like arc demon who's really excited for something happening, right? Like there's no way that you can convince me Professor Asshole of Real Estate being excited for this happening is a, mean, means it's a good thing. This just makes me more terrified. 
No, no, I'm John. Thank you for the five dollars. The buyer's agent fee is added to the purchase price, but the buyer can now haggle with their agent for percent instead of being chained to a seller's percent. But if you didn't have to pay any percent before, you're still getting fucked over. I don't understand. Finally, you can become even worse. <laughs> this is literally my woman brain demanding stability and being afraid of the unknown. I mean, probably. But also, who trusts real estate agents? Really, this is the biggest change and then it's all fucked? How about changing zoning laws? You know, some real change or something? <laughs> His seal finally broke! It's musical chairs, but for the fees. See, the house costs 10k less because the 10k fees are not in the cost of the house. Uh, yeah, that's that's really what it sounds like. Your real estate agent was very cool. <laughs> you don't think there was a 0% unless you made a personal deal with the seller? Commissions are determined at the beginning of the seller agency agreement. I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening, man. You were paying a percent before, but it was determined entirely by the seller. So the seller asks 6%, three to each. Now the seller has 3% and you add your agent percent to that. But the buyer didn't have to pay any of the fees before. Is it illegal to make personal deals? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Although it's unclear what the future of the housing market will look like, Miller said he expected home buying to pick up somewhat as costs fall dramatically for home buyers. But how would they fall dramatically if we now have to pay fees? Uh, what? The fee used to be baked into the listing price, now the fee does not get added. It's like how you have to remember sales tax comes after the sticker price. Then it's not actually falling! If a if a hundred and fifty thousand dollar house is a hundred and fifty thousand dollars because of the brokerage fees, and then it gets listed for a hundred and thirty thousand dollars because you have to pay twenty thousand dollars in fees, you're still paying the hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So like, I don't, I don't understand what they're what they're talking about. So it's basically fooling stupid people that they can buy more house. That's what it sounds like. The costs aren't dropping; they're just getting moved. The, co the costs aren't dropping, they're getting moved, and also the buyer's having to pay more than they would before because the seller was responsible for paying all of the fees through the money that they got from the buyer previously. We've reached critical understanding. You're not insane, that is what it sounds like to you too? Okay. It's falling in the listing, which is all economists need to lie to you that prices are falling. The rich people who own the home need to sell the homes at the top to the dumb people so that when the market crashes, the rich people can buy the houses back at the bottom. There are all kinds of models we might see in the future and no one knows what they are, he said, suggesting some brokers may charge, say, a $3,000 fee for selling a home, while others will offer a competitive commission. The agreement will bring sweeping reforms for millions of Americans, said Benjamin D. Brown, managing partner of Cohen, Milstead Sellers and Toll, and co-chair of its antitrust practice, who helped craft the settlement. Can I, can I just say that it, it's weird that everyone who is celebrating this is from some sort of real estate company? Like, that should, that should literally, even if you are like me and you don't understand anything about mathematics or how the market works, the fact that all the people who try to make a living off of this market are celebrating it should be a red flag for you. That's a huge fucking red flag! It's not actually cheaper, just looks cheaper. At best, it'll make the taxable value a little cheaper and you'll pay maybe $50 less in taxes each year. But this only applies in counties that base taxable value off sale value, which are only the corrupt ones. Count seven, thank you for the $5. It's the same reason things are priced like $3.99 instead of $4. Stupid people don't realize they're effectively the same thing. Yeah. It's fucking crimson. Why would the housing price drop from $150k after taking the fee out? So that, that's what they're saying. They're saying that housing is going to drop in price. So right now, if you buy a house for $150,000, the percentage fees that the brokers are getting are baked into that price. So the house itself isn't worth 150,000, it's worth 130,000, but you have the 20,000 brokerage. These are just made up fucking numbers by the way, so I can do easy math. You have the, the $20,000 in fees are just baked into that price. All right? So, it's 150,000, but the fees are already in there so that the seller can pay them to the brokerage afterwards. Now, that house is going to be listed for $130,000, but after you buy that house, you will have to pay 
the brokerage fee yourself. So instead of paying the person selling the house and then giving that $20,000 to the brokerage people, you as the buyer will have to pay, what's half of 2010? You'll have to pay $10,000 on top of your $130,000 house in, in order to go make up that cost. I'm correct and understand. How wow, 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 wow. The literal who shield 404 not found? What do you mean? Let the speculators drown. It's the reason why gas prices are what they are, like 2.999 a gallon rather than just three. Yeah. Home sales are the lowest in 40 years, so real estate industry people are coping for any increase in... Are you high? Are you... Are you high? Home... What? Are you saying home sales? Like, the actual... Home sale number? Okay. Okay, I was like... I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I see I see what he meant. He's saying home like the actual number of houses exchanging hands is 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 low while housing prices are crazy fucking high. <laughs> because of competition it might be 15k instead of 20k. Yeah, but how much competition would there actually be? Uh, that's that's what I'm wondering. It took you a minute. Yeah, it took it took my brain a second there. They're grabbing you by the ankles, holding you upside down, and shaking you for all your pennies, and demanding you thank them for the privilege. Yeah, that is that is essentially what this sounds like. Hi, Peppa exploded Twitter once again by collabing yesterday with Novel AI. Yeah, we talked about that at the beginning of stream. Well, yeah, we talked about that. For years, anti-competitive rules in the real estate industry have financially harmed millions of Americans. Individual sellers often feel powerless to negotiate a better deal for themselves given the risk that offering lower commissions could cause brokers to steer buyers to other properties, said Robert Braun, a partner in Cohen Milstein's antitrust practice. So now the buyer has to negotiate the commission percentage and risk like just not having someone want to work with them? Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand. Only the big companies like this, because they can be predatory on people who don't know any better. Small time and local will be absolutely fucked over. Your entire office is panicking. Oh, wait, Almighty Lolly, do you actually work in real estate as well? I didn't- I just thought, you like, you knew about it. I didn't know you worked in it. No, I'm John! Thank you for the $10. The fee for the buyer's agent is added to the price after. That's how the fee can be baked into closing mortgage. This is just helping de-obfuscate the bullshit. Bought a house and sold old one last year. It sucks. I feel like this is obfuscating it more, actually. New idea. Kirsha and Fillion go house hunting and try to figure out who's the best negotiator. I feel like anyone could negotiate better than me. Which is, which is why I want to, like, instead of a real estate agent, I should just hire, like, a 40 to 50-something-year-old Asian woman and have her negotiate for me. Because, like, that, that's the way you get the best prices, dude. I, 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 know, I know the strats. That's what Sheets said. Sheets is like, when you, when you need to negotiate price on anything, you want to you get an Asian woman. Maybe specifically a Chinese woman to do it for you. They are ruthless. <laughs> Asian auntie. Oh man. It's making it hard for the buyer because they now have to come with come up with cash for down payment and cash for commission. <laughs> That's what Sheets said. Sheets uh Sheets the, the gotcha streamer friend I have. So you do want a real estate Asian I want a real estate Asian, not a real estate agent. Take Tim's mom house hunting. <laughs> Can this increase the upfront payment because the fee isn't part of the buying price anymore? I'm assuming it would. For far too long, home sellers have faced a system recognized by many as blatantly unfair. This class action and settlement provides justice for our clients and will require important changes that help future home sellers. As I understand it that you guys explained to me, I pay the money to the home seller and then the home seller takes help the brokerage fees out of what I paid them. So how exactly is that unfair? I'm a little, I'm a little confused. You love when they use the word justice. <laughs> but I am close, spicy cat. Close to what? Help sellers, not buyers. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just like, how, how was this? I'm saying, how was this unfair? All right. It says home sellers have faced a system recognized by many as blatantly unfair. How is this unfair if the home seller is the one being given the hundreds of thousands of dollars? I just... 
that doesn't seem unfair to me that they have to take the money out of the hundreds of thousands of dollars that I gave them to then pay the brokerage fee. CNN saying justice is another word they use to oppress the little guy. That's just a BS line. Although most realtors are included in the settlement, Brokerage Home Services of America continues to fight the case in court. <laughs> The NAR said that it had fought to get Home Services of America agents covered by the settlement, but said it was pleased to have more than one million of its members on board with the agreement. You're not, you're not selling me that this is a good thing if the real estate agents are the ones celebrating. I, I, just, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. Remember when a friend told you that when his grandpa was selling his farm, he sabotaged the pricing to get it lower from the property evaluators? And it was the son taking over the farm. Oh, that's kind of smart. That's kind of smart. The buyer's still paying. It just enters the seller's hands. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't It doesn't make sense to call it unfair. Big lineman, they give the 500 biddies. It's perfectly understandable to feel nervous, confused, and helpless when it comes to buying a home. Remember, you can always shop around, never feel like you shouldn't ask questions, and you can always back out. Buying a house is one of the most stressful things you've done, but you're glad that you did it. Yeah, I am I am like a little jellyfish, so I need to ask questions of other people to then try and pretend I have a backbone to the real estate devil. The seller agency agents are celebrating. Ultimately, continuing to litigate would have hurt members and their small businesses. While there could be no perfect outcome, this agreement is the best outcome we could achieve in the circumstances. Miller said that the settlement could lead to a mass exodus of brokers from the industry, potentially half of the two million or so agents in America. But why? <laughs> the king, name of the hundred biddies, make sure to get an independent inspection before you close. Yeah, true. Could. Yeah, it's like that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Your uncle wanted to give you a gift of equity, but the federal government told you to get fucked? Apparently you can't liquidate equity in a property and give it to a family member during the sale. That's really fucking weird. That's some prediction, my dude. Did they give this Miller's full name in the article earlier? Probably, but... Ah, uh, yeah, Cohen... Cohen... No, that's Cohen Milstein. Did they change Milstein to Miller? I don't know. It was, it was somewhere in the article. Lower fees mean mediocre agents are less likely to leave the field, but top brokers will get more business. Lower fees mean mediocre agents are likely to leave the field, but top brokers will get more business. The good ones will absolutely do better. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> likely continues to hedge. Yeah, I don't know about that. America's fees are significantly higher than in foreign countries, Miller noted. In Israel, Singapore, and the UK, brokers charge between 1 and 2% for the same thing that agents do in the United States. The NAR has been fighting off U.S. antitrust officials and litigation for years regarding alleged anti-competitive practices. But November's verdict marked the association's biggest setback yet and ultimately led to the downfall of the rules that have long protected its compensation model. The association also faces scrutiny from the U.S. Department of Justice, and it's unclear whether the settlement with sellers will impact the government's scrutiny of the brokerage industry. Cartel got fuck. The trade group has also undergone severe leadership turmoil over the past year. In January, the former president of the NAR, Tracy Casper, stepped down after she said she received a threat to disclose a past personal, non-financial matter unless she compromised her position at the NAR. Sears replaced Casper earlier this year. Casper had just taken over the role in August 2023 after Kenny Parcel, the former president, resigned amid sexual harassment allegations that were first published by the New York Times. NAR employees repeatedly said Parcel improperly touched them and sent lewd photos and texts. In the Times article, Parcel denies the accusations. Can I just say how ironic it is that the people who are like in charge of the entire real estate cabal here are even more corrupt than the regular real estate agents on the ground? Like that, that's hilarious to me. That They're all just that shitty people. <laughs> of course, it's New York. Jeez, it's ran like our Congress. I just like... 
In November 2023, the chief executive of NAR, Bob Goldberg, also stepped down and was replaced by Wright. Goldberg stepped down two days after the 1.8 billion judgment against the NAR. Good lord. Good lord. They threatened to spread her nudes. It's true, they're basically just federal regulators working under the guise of a voluntary private organization. I just like, I might, I might not be smart enough to understand everything going on in this article, but I feel like after discussing it with you in chat as well, this isn't a good thing, and it's going to fuck over people buying especially. I think it's true for every profession. People that make it to the top are sociopaths. This is, this is, so this outrageously and routinely corrupt organization loves this new change. Yeah, right? Like, you're trying to convince me as a consumer that this is a good thing. And I'm sure that all of these people also own a fuck ton of real estate since they work in it. So if they're saying it's going to be better for sellers, they mean it's going to be better for them. Did I hear about the wheelchair-bound cripple that got stung attempting to coerce a 14-year-old? Yes, I did. I did. I was like, how are you How are you going to try and molest a 14-year-old when your penis probably doesn't even work? Like, what's happening here? Check if Anna Bainey has a real estate license. This, uh, this article is by David Goldman and Anna Bainey. How did two people write this article? I guess I guess we open her in a new tab. She's a writer for CNN covering investments and in real estate, focusing on investments in traditional alternative real estate and cryptocurrency markets. Uh, prior to joining CNN, Bainey launched financial coverage at Mike and broke housing news during the financial crisis as the real estate reporter for USA Today. During nearly a decade with the New York Times, her coverage ranged from features on real estate, youth, culture, and travel to reporting from Ground Zero on September 11th, 2001. In her time at CNN, Bainey also reported on consumer finance, including the unprecedented Equifax data breach and financial technology. With an emphasis on tools used, to cre used and created by millennials, she has led the coverage of young people's changing approach to work and retirement, including the FIRE, which is Financial Independence Retire Early, movement. I've never heard of that. Bainey is a graduate of Emory University and Columbia School of Journalism, where she was a fellow at the Columbia Journalism Review. Well, it doesn't sound... Doesn't sound like she has a real estate license, but she specializes in real estate, I guess. Worked at Mike Jesus. Three letter asset. My fellow reviewer. Who's uh who's David Goldman? Who this guy? Full bio. David Goldman is the executive editor of CNN Business, overseeing coverage of markets, company, strategy, and business. Previously, he served as managing editor of CNN Business, overseeing the coverage of breaking news and the economy and consumer brands. Goldman began his journalism career in 2007 at CNN, starting as a reporter covering the financial crisis and bailouts. In 2009, Goldman started covering technology and was named CNN's technology editor in 2013. He oversaw the creation of MoneyStream, CNN's personalized finance news app, and Goldman has won three Best in Business awards from the Society for Advancing Business Editing and Writing for reporting about technology and the telecommunication industries. Ghost, thank you for the hundred biddies. I was like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if these two people are necessarily woke. They didn't even mention anything about diversity, equity, and inclusion. <laughs> Any? Oh man, you can't stop, Kirsha. Help! Oh my god. Build up wealth and move when needed. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust him. Well, neither of them mentioned having real estate licenses, so. His, his picture looks like it's AI generated. I will say that. <laughs> you heard that Wikipedia was removing? Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't read that. <laughs> I think someone from CNN isn't woke. I mean, maybe if you keep your head down and you just say nothing, you could be an average human being. Man could smoke a cigar. Oh, my God. A lady specializes in real estate journalism, but doesn't seem to have a license. Reminds you of game journos. I was like, for all we know, she could and she just doesn't list it. I don't know, but it would be weird to not list it if she had one. Fear, the fear and greed index. Greed is driving the U.S. market. 
I didn't- we have a fear and greed index? When the fuck did that happen? Has that- have we always had one of those? More milkies. More milkies. CNN didn't remind you of game journals long ago? I typically don't read CNN, but I was interested in this article since I am currently in the market trying to find a home. It's been there for ages. Oh, jeez. I don't want to, I don't like, I don't want to buy a house right now because pretty much everywhere is a crazy inflated price. Uh, but it's like, I, I don't want to keep renting and just throwing money into a fire either. Had nothing to do with woke or not. It's classic consolidation. Prop up big corpo, stomp down on the small time. Yeah, that's, that's what it feels like to me. Nothing to do with like woke or ESG. It's true, it's a bad time. Yeah, but if now is a bad time, when will the good time come? Will there be another good time or will it just continue to be bad? Right? Like, it's it's such an unknown entity at this point. You got uh, an offer accepted for a place yourself not long ago. Very pleased. Been a long time of research and scouring property. Excited and a little terrified. Yeah, you know, like, part of, part of me is just like, maybe, maybe I should just buy something that I don't necessarily like and is cheap and just do the same thing, right? Like, apply apply fixes to the property, increase its value, and then eventually buy the house that I really want and sell the one that I first bought. But like, man, fuck. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to play like fucking Legos with this shit. They wrote this article instead of selling the houses. The lawsuit was supposed to be about how NAR required the seller to agree to pay five to 6% fee just to get their home listed. But the settlement didn't change that. It only split the fee onto the buyer. Yeah, it just uh, doesn't seem like a good thing. Like they're trying to sell it as. They used to call those starter homes. It wouldn't be ideal when you're also trying to stream. It would not. You're still young, get on the property ladder and build equity. <laughs> the plan also hopes that there isn't a market crash, making your purchase worthless and trading up becomes difficult to impossible. Yeah, also that. Streaming Winnebago. I don't want to live in a Winnebago. I want a beautiful Victorian home. Bought your house five years ago, and the only reason you're able to buy it was because it's old and needed a ton of work. I like I like I said last week. I basically accepted that any house I buy, I'm going to gut the entire kitchen, because most homes that I've seen don't have updated kitchens, and I'm going to want to either have new cabinetry or restore the cabinetry to what it was prior to being gutted. Because the the amount of like Victorian homes that look nice on the outside, and then you look on the inside, and it's all like bullshit modern black and white square garbage. I don't want that. Why did you ruin the house, you idiot? Get a Victorian Winnebago. <laughs> the only two useful things the government can do are cap the fee or make a publicly available seller's listing service. You think the second would be better? Does it mean that the houses you bought previously were owned by single men? What do you mean? I've never bought a house before. Kirsha needs room for all her ketchup. I, I genuinely didn't think I would ever be able to afford a house. Ever. But, like, I don't know. You guys... You guys watch me and support me for some reason, so... <laughs> Thank you! Can't believe she wants to gut the kitchen in a classic Victorian home. I want to gut the modern kitchen and restore it to its former glory. And chat's fucking nuts. A lot of people paint over nice wood cabinets and ruin them. They tend to look good when restored. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Beautiful old Spanish mansion that was gutted and replaced with white subway tile. Oh, God. It's gonna make me cry, dude. It's gonna make me cry. You got your diesel truck for your fifth wheel uh, camper. Never need a cigarette more in your life. Oh no. <laughs> need to have an urban exploration with Cappy watch along. He goes through a lot of really old Victorian and Gilded Era homes. But I can't buy those. I'll just get sad. Gift more subs. Will you be able to track down a haunted house to live in? I hope so. <laughs> I hope I'll be able to get one like that. It's like, it's like a bonus, you know? That's a culture crime. It is. It should be. Kirsha's life won't be complete until she sets her dress on fire while tending to a cast iron pot in the fireplace. See, he gets me. He knows what I want. <laughs> Victorian house tour to Women Tears Pipeline. I was like, Victorian houses that are huge are very affordable in New York, uh, but everyone's leaving New York for a reason and I don't want to move there even if the housing is very fucking affordable. Just get a haunted house. Charge the ghost rent. Only thing of value yeah, boomers have guy. less is their home. They outnumber everyone if you else. Get your ideal himbo, introduce him to us, okay? Obviously, he'll have to he'll have to do trial by fire with chat. You guys have to approve of my himbo. <laughs> Massive doggo, thank you for the six ninety. Thank you. 
The only thing of value boomers have left is their homes. They outnumber everyone else and have nothing but time. They can outvote everyone else to get the best deal when selling their nest egg and ruin the world just one more time. Thanks, I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. Did you know you can buy a missile silo? The missile is no longer there. Look this up. No, thank you. The reason is some guy got shot in the head trying to assault people on the subway the other day? I don't think that's the sole reason why people are leaving New York, but it doesn't help, surely. Mid-30s Republicans, you know, complain about the housing market every day, but immediately shift into talking about how they wish they owned a bunch of investment properties. Why are they like this? I don't want to own a bunch of investment properties. I don't want to become part of the problem, but those people are probably thinking, if you can't beat them, join them, and if this is the way to make money, I might as well do it. Can buy a missile silo with one small trick? No! No! Has Kier bit Shondo? No. What do you mean? If you buy a missile silo and the missile's not included, did you really buy a missile silo? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Speaking of missile silos, let me let me take a, a little looksy pixy here. We're gonna go to this day. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. I have a big, beautiful event tab that Binary Mind has been hard at work on. I've been very hard at work on. You bought a hole in the ground. So this should, this should help. This should help. Bing, bing! Yeah! <laughs> this should help me be able to not overlap thanking you guys for when for when you do supas and i get behind honest to god you can also purchase government grade fallout shelters what the hell you wish you didn't have to buy a home under duress same <laughs> same dude if you're looking for a haunted house you going for sale twenty five thousand dollars in canada no thank you i don't want to live in canada land do we need the text bigger i mean if you guys can read it it's fine i can read it everything's fine here everything's fine for me Everything's fine for me! A fucking leaf! A woman that knows Excel? No, of course not. Binary Mind did this. <laughs> Bi Binary Mind put this together for me since my brain cells are very small and my memory does not exist. Too small for your old eyes. Canada, ew! Move to Canada, get put in jail for hate speech because you don't want a dude in the bathroom with you? You can make it a little bigger? I mean, yeah, if you want to make it bigger for chat, have at it. Ha, the poor soul. <laughs> JF's house is haunted now in Canada. Probably. Better than the old-fashioned silos are the newer de <laughs> Help. decommissioned missile alert facilities or MAFs. Used to maintain parts of those while you were in the Air Force. I've never heard of those. Been to Canada. Don't go. Super sticker! That's a cute, that's a cute thing. Help me, I'm stuck. Maybe one day you can marry for a green card. There we go. Thank you, Binary Mind. The maths are amazing. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Just got here. You missed our daily sounding story that makes us question humanity as a whole for what goes into a whole. Not an FBI. Thank you for the five. Ah, you didn't miss anything. And I actually, n you, you know, hold on. I guess I should look it up since I didn't yesterday. Mm. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, it seems like sounding with spoons is a very common thing. We read that Huffington Post article about the man who needed to get the fork in his penis removed. But when I when I looked for spoon sounding, because somebody mentioned it yesterday when I was streaming with the spoon man, uh, it seems like inserting a spoon into your penis is very common. Um, because I, I only get like X videos, luxury TV, Pornhub, X hamster, X videos, more X hamster, I porn TV. So it's it seems it seems like a lot of men insert spoons, but there's no news articles about them going to the hospital for it. 
Which way is the spoon inserted? Probably the handle end, if I had to guess. <laughs> Do not the spoon! So... I guess men don't get sent to the hospital for spoon sounding, but they just do it and post videos of it on the internet. <laughs> Any spork sounding? <laughs> Are the spoons the tool of choice for pro sounders? I don't know, man. We'll just have to narrate a spoon sounding video for us. No, thank you! You lived in Florida. Local Air Force Base had a Lockheed Martin Skunk Works and lost something like 455 million in Hurricane Michael. Many tornadoes making many, many tornadoes and flinging fighter jets like they're a Lego's fun. No longer in Florida. Congratulations, many, many tornadoes. Eric Jimenez, thank you for the 199. How many times do I go to porn sites? I mean, only when I click on something to find out exactly how it works, like with the, with the uh, wasp sounding. I was like, how do you sound with a wasp? I, I don't understand, so I need the visual. Non-FBI, thank you for the two. Ah! You asked about the spoon yesterday? You're welcome. <laughs> it ripped the fucking bunker out of the ground. To be fair, we accept that they were going to insert a utensil one way or the other. A spoon, at least, sounds like it has less way to go horribly wrong. <laughs> Spoons follow the flared base rule. Safer insertion, okay? Jesus. Follow-up question. How do you sleep after seeing the wasp sounding? Very soundly. It doesn't bother me. Moon men, play piano with your hand. Motherfucking bung, bung on toki! Thank you again for the four-month member and being the only way I remembered that I had Nim. thank Nim. yous to make up for Nim. on March 3rd. Yeah. Uh, so I, re I remembered this man's name and that's the only way I remembered I needed to do thank yous. So holy fuck, thanks for being my bookmark, man. You're the best. She doesn't have the penis for the wasp to crawl up. Must be nice. True. True. Aggressive butter. Jim said he collabs with people who ask. So Kier, shoot for the moon. You may hit a star. How the fuck would I even ask him? How how would I even ask? Hey, yo, hat man. I'm a very anxiety ridden fox woman who would love to speak with you. <laughs> Hey, Jim, is how you start. You've not killed your soul hard enough if you still feel pain when it witnesses wasp sounding. Ask him on post? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Send a message to the cancer ward. Adam, thank you for the $20. Bought your house a year ago. It was worth half as much in 2019. And you're terrified a market crash is coming. But at least it'll still have... Or you'll still have a house if that happens. You'll end up paying 112% interest by the time it's paid off. I feel like interest is just like i don't like interest man i kind of i like i understand why it exists sort of as insurance for the banks that are lending you tons of money but also if you lend me money i want to pay back that exact amount of money and not a penny more kill jade and wear her skin no i need jade i want i want to ask her where they get merch fulfillment from Professor Keen, they give the five dollars. We have your Victorian homes in the south. We have less problems down here. Yeah, but then I'd have to live in the south, and I don't want that. Kirsha has no interest in interest. True, true and real. Count seven, fabuloso, it just means fabulous in Spanish. So you have good videos in there too, man. I want to watch more dumb people doing dumb shit with chemicals in their homes. Ursary used to be illegal. Can we go back to that time? What happens to- what happens to it being illegal? How did it become legal and can we reverse that? Can we once again- can we make arsery illegal again in the process of making America great again? If there wasn't interest, no one would lend any money. Like, why give money for no reason? Well, I mean, what if they just kill you if you don't pay it back, right? Like, what if- what if you literally trade your life for your- for your loan? If you don't pay it back, they get to assassinate you. <laughs> we can't say why it was made legal. Oh, okay. I can probably guess then. It was illegal under OG Mosaic Law. Why would they want to do that? Pokes the glass... Steagle bear? What is a Steagle? That's the plot of Repo, the genetic opera. What? Where's my $5, John? Time to die! 
the life would need to have value? Well, I mean, you're removing value and carbon if you kill someone who can't pay back a loan. And if you kill someone who can't pay back a loan, all of us who have higher credit scores will also no longer have to pay for those people who can't pay back their loans. I don't see a downside if someone gets murdered for not paying their debts. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Thank you for the $2. Ursary was a crime in the Middle Ages. What the heck? Jim is back on Twitter. I have seen him posting on his Moshi Moshi. I don't know if he has DMs open or if he even checks them. <laughs> Suppose you could become a Zydrate peddler? I don't know what that is. There would be no loan to begin with unless the lender gets some benefit. Well, I mean, it used to be illegal, so surely there was some reason that they would give loans without interest previously, right? Not really, because the murdered person's debt won't ever be paid. Yeah, but you still take them out. And that's what matters. <laughs> Collect the debt through organ harvesting. Oh, true. If you kill the person, you can then sell their organs. That would be able to make it up. Kirsch's interest is the only thing protecting you from inflation due to the investments in your Roth IRA and CD certificate of deposit. I don't understand what you just said. It's an opera turned into a movie? How have you, as a 2000s goth emo kid, not seen it? It's a certified hood classic for your people? I don't know, I've never watched opera. Never watched that. They would just invent debts and loans to kill people? Would it be defense if you kill someone who's trying to kill you for a loan that you didn't take out? Hmm weren't allowed to have interest, so you'd accidentally, on purpose, return the money late and receive a late fee. Accidentally, on purpose, return the money late and receive a late... Well, wouldn't you not... Wouldn't you want to avoid the late fee? Wouldn't... Wouldn't you want to avoid that? I put my liver as interest! What's opera? A shitty browser. Church gave little loans, but people also gave the church 10% of their income, so the interest was functionally given before the loan. Hmm. Add it to movie night. Enlighten this woman. I'm, I'm for creatine. Some of the Fabuloso bottles look kind of like colored ketchup, and that shit was nasty. That's true! That shit was fucking nasty! I would not eat the colored ketchup. It's gross. Z Zero, thank you for the two-month member. You've seen enough. Time to repeal the 13th. Hmm how they got around to not charging interest if you returned on time they'd never loan to you again wait if you returned on time they wouldn't loan if you if you were a good guy they wouldn't loan to you again that seems really silly that seems really silly jim knows about sweet baby in gamergate too but he doesn't know about bridge you can do it care i believe in you but does he care about bridge some Warframes Fortuna dystopian shit. Because <laughs> they want more interest payments. I hate them! If you pay back on time, they don't make their money through interest. I hate them. I hate them! Blame Charlemagne? Bring him back from the dead so I can kill him again! It's the actual point of lending to them. No profit for the lender. And it's not like you can put them in debt slavery in most places. <laughs> Help! You always pay before any interest can hit you on your credit card? Yeah, same. I don't- I don't want to pay fucking interest, dude. In Indiana Bowling! I swear by the power I do not have, I will turn you into spa-getty. I feel like spa-getty would be a nice name for an actual spa run by, like, American Italians. <laughs> If they can't charge interest, then they'd want you to pay a late fee, so they wanted it to be late. That's stupid. Charlemagne responsible for the death of, like, 20% of the world's ginger population at the time. What the hell? James Foss, thank you for the $2 redoodles. Officially starting the Kirsha Cumflation Shed, please. What's wrong with you? There's no Cumflation Sheds, you fucking weirdo. Smile guy, thank you for the five dollar doodles. Warm or cold, one thing is clear, ketchup sucks. I will find you. And I will fill you with so much ketchup that you explode. You will not be able to escape the ketchup. Every hole will be inserted with ketchup and you will be filled until explosion. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, buddy. The Italian-American spa offering hot marinara baths and warm tomato massages. 
I cannot wait until I go back to that new lady for a massage. Holy shit. Oh my god, it was so good. Oh my god. Look, Logzin! Thank you for the 2500 clipu! Still remember a video of a person filling a styrofoam box with gasoline in 2020. Hey, yo! I remember the plastic bags. That's the only one I remember, though. I see you moving stuff, binary mind. More milkies. More milkies. The elderly didn't eat you! Welcome back! I'm glad you're not at a cannibal nursing home. Thank you for the five dollars. Oh, you missed us using our collective brains to understand real estate. Mer Merrick Vespa, thank you for the ten dollar doodles. Post debut, thank you. Ah, oh, I don't know what you're thanking me for, but you're welcome, question mark. No name, thank you for the ten dollar doodles. There's no cumflation shed, but there is a ketchupflation shed, I suppose. The ke you never want to be brought to the ketchupflation shed, though. That is, that is a punishment. You will not survive. Kirsha, you say no to the cumflation, but you accept ketchupflation? If it's to kill you, yeah, sure. I take I take a page out of the the Chinese Empress's books. I may not have a himbo to impart my torture knowledge onto, but that just means I get to do it myself. Bigger font, cut off the welcome to the honorable chatter is all. Ah, okay. Better massage than the last massage lady. Since my new massage lady is trying to like make her own place, I don't know when she's gonna have her own office, and I also don't know like when she like how much she's going to cost because. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be way higher of a price than I'm currently paying since she'll be owning her own office. So the new, the new lady that I went to, oh God, uh, it was so good. It was so good. Ketchup is nasty. It's diabetes sauce. Yeah, we'll see which one of us gets cancer, fuckhead. <laughs> I'm for creepy. And then give the $5. You want the people at Schwer Babu to be forced to resort to burger flippers at Mickey D's. Only to have their jobs taken by automation. Let's be real. The people who work at Sweet Baby probably are only qualified to actually be burger flippers. They're just lucked out that they're pushing DEI currently. Cheating on your old massage lady. Was it an actual massage? Yeah, I don't get fucking... I don't get fucking happy endings, you weirdos. And for creatine, they give the five dollars. Every time some variant of inflation pops up, you get super paranoid about somehow summoning the dreaded blue bear of Dobson somehow. One day I will have Wonder Bread art. I think they would ignore the beeper and not flip the burgers. You wouldn't trust those psychos anywhere near your food? I mean, I wouldn't either, but I also don't eat that much fast food, so... The sweet baby will never serve beef. I think those people at Sweet Baby are not qualified. You haven't been massaged in years? My, uh, my, my massages are for pain management, so I go twice a month. They are necessary for life. Re Revenantial taxes. Thank you for the two dollars, three doodles. Thank you. A pickled cucumber. Thank you for the two dollars. And my, I'm not gonna sit on your face. A pickled cucumber. No, no, you are not my throne. Amber creatine. Thank you for the five dollars, three doodles. From the streets did she emerge, and to the streets she shall return. I say unto you, be not wary for when she must return, from whence she came. Amen. Thank, thank you back problems. Yeah, I had an accident when I was 19. I, uh, smashed my tailbone, fractured it while I was rollerblading. Unlucky, dude. When you live with them for a bit, your brother's wife would walk on your back. It was pretty good. Oh. I would love that, dude. Can't believe Kirsha's a grandma spine. I, I am. <laughs> doctors, doctors didn't take my pain seriously after my, my, like, one year period was over, and I was like, hey, guys. Uh, you said, like, I would have some residual pain, but, like, this this is real bad. Even after I, like, had the I thought I was paralyzed scare, I was still told, like, oh, you know, you'll be fine. Just don't worry about it. Uh, I've, I've never been given, like, actual painkillers or anything. And the last time, the last time I saw a doctor and I was complaining about pain still and they refused to give me any sort of pain management and my, my, like, x-rays didn't show anything wrong. My CAT scan didn't show anything wrong. They even gave me an ultrasound, just in case. Didn't, didn't show anything, like, wrong there either. Uh, my doctor was just like, well, have you ever considered that you're just hallucinating your pain? And maybe you should check yourself into a mental asylum. Maybe, maybe a stay there will be, uh, will be good for you. And I, I felt so insulted that, like, I cried. <laughs> 
Because, <laughs> like, I, I, I was at my wit's end for, like, not knowing what to do. Did he actually say that? No, it was a woman. And that's probably why she said that. Uh, so... One, one unfortunate side effect of being a woman is that doctors typically don't take you seriously when you talk about having pain. I feel like that's, that's one of the only things I can genuinely say I am at a disadvantage for, not having a penis. <laughs> Just imagine the pain away. And then uh, when I started going to my massage therapist, um, after about a year, she suggested I might try to see a chiropractor. Uh, because she noticed that after working on me, uh, I have, like, nerve damage in my shoulder. Because, like, sometimes I cannot even, like, feel what she's doing. And I guess the way that some of my... The way that some of my, like, nerves feel while she's pushing into them are just, like, not right. <laughs> Did I ever consider the doctor was right looking at myself now talking to imaginary people I called chat? Jesus Christ. Your wife is still looking for a new massage place since you moved. She got pains in her back and is too afraid to really go at her spine muscles because she's tiny woman. Unlucky. I, I would not be able to survive without a massage therapist. Doctor being a woman herself should take you more seriously. Unironically, women are the worst doctors. They, they, they will be like the worst at diagnosing you or giving you something that you actually need. Uh, like, as an example, the, the person I saw for my gynecological exam this year, unfortunately, was a woman. Not only was it more painful than usual, she didn't put in my prescription and she didn't give me a recommendation for an office like she told me she would. Wh women... Women are inept in the field of medicine and I don't trust a single one of them. Like, if you, if you are looking to get out of work, though, look for a woman because they don't want to do any work. I, I was able to like go to female doctors and just be like, oh, my tum my tummy hurt and I have, I have headache. And they're just like, here's, here's a doctor's note for a week off of work. So if you're, if you're literally trying to get out of work, see a woman. But if you actually want to get help, don't see a woman doctor. <laughs> Tommy Hort! <laughs> but having the same gizmo means she knows not to poke and prod wrong? No, it means they're rougher because they think you can take it. What profession are they better at? I don't know, like, I guess uh, home home nurse kind of thing where they don't have to do any actual doctoring. <laughs> so someone does Kirsha have a magical girl wand on her stream? We were, we were testing out my widget! We're testing out my widget! That sounds sexist. Yeah, but it's true. <laughs> if you hit your tailbone in just the right or wrong way, it can very easily fuck your spine and the central nervous system, especially if it was when I was 19. Yes, oh, it's really unlucky. When you're in a misogyny competition and my opponent is a woman, unironically. <laughs> Did I find my hands? No, I don't know where my collar is. Your neighbor went to a female doctor saying he had pain in his stomach. She gave him pain meds. Didn't check him. He died of cancer. Jesus Christ. He should have gotten a second opinion, to be fair. Eric Jimenez, thank you for the 199. Ask your primary doctor to test for nerve damage. I don't have one anymore, so I would need to find one. Did the Love Sends integration work? It's not a Love Sends integration, you weirdo! <laughs> it's not sexist if you're right. Thank you for the 100 biddies, Orismador. It's probably still sexist in Canada. <laughs> You drilled a hole in your finger and fell asleep waiting two hours for the doctor. Male. Didn't see the vein hanging out. Had to point it out. I'm not saying all men are good doctors. I'm just saying the chances of your doctor being good are exponentially higher if they're a man instead of a woman. <laughs> As God, dude. Only Jesus can give that man a second opinion. You had to do surgery and three male surgeons were dumbasses and were sending you elsewhere. Then one woman surgeon after them got the job done really well, in your opinion. Yeah, but again, I'm not saying they're all that way, just generally as a trend. Your doctor was so lazy, he gave you a list of things to buy to treat your asthma. What the fuck? What the fuck? Be interesting to see Kirsha and Shyly collapse since they both make entertaining noises. We could, we could have a 10 minute segment of just autism to autism communication. Only sounds, no words. You won't go into why, but a female gyno nearly destroyed your marriage and made you a deeply unhappy man. Oh God, I'm sorry. 
Not be getting a nerve test from your GP, they'll recommend you to a neurology, which is a specialist, and neurosurgery nerve tests are even more specific. Ooh. Educating yourself is no longer a thing. Medicate and fix yourself is the new meta. I mean, I guess... I guess if they just say, medicate and fix yourself, that makes sense, because you're not going to notice the competency crisis as much if all of the doctors are telling you to just fucking do it yourself. <laughs> Manya. The physical therapist you went to before you needed to have surgery on it told you that your therapy wouldn't fix it. A rare time a female doctor was right. Required exploratory surgery to fix your knee. I think physical therapists are scam artists. Like, I'm sure some of the ones that work at, like, big hospitals actually know what they're doing and can help people, like, walk again. But overall, physical therapists are scam artists who just sit there and watch you do yoga and don't actually provide anything. Broke your wrist and collarbone, school nurse shook your hand violently and said, You see, you're not hurt, that bitch! What you've noticed is that any man that is an obgin, ob obgin, I don't know how to pronounce the shorthand of that, either loves women or hates women. I must have been lucky, because all of the male gynecologists I've been to have all been very lovely, especially the Korean ones. It's almost as if lowering the standards to allow diversity hires for government grants somehow lowered the quality. Imagine! And that ob gyne ob gyne That sounds silly. OBGYN. That makes more sense. A feline named VJJ. What the fuck? Thank you for the five dollars. Doctor for pain stuff. Just set up your own secure pill disposal drop-off bin and the meds come to you. Unironically, I'd probably buy Oxy off of some guy off the street again. That was that was a pretty alright time. Not so fun fact, Kurt Cobain had scoliosis. He played left-handed, which fucked his back up worse, but irony strikes! If he were playing right-handed, it would have slowly corrected his spine! What the f- how does that work? Help me, OBGY! <laughs> Russian female doctors are good, never had a problem. I've never seen a Russian female specifically, so I can't speak to that one. Again? Yeah. After, after years of my doctors not helping me with pain management, I ended up just buying Oxy off of some guy off the street. And it was, it was, uh, it was pretty alright. I would take, like, half a pill whenever my pain got to the point where I couldn't even move very well. So, you know. I was, I was very careful with self-medicating, and it was, it wasn't anything I got addicted to, luckily. Babushkas is good! You lean forward to play the guitar, I guess? I mean, I guess. For any cops in chat, she did this Statue of Limitation years ago! Yeah. It was, it was a very yeah. long time ago, yeah. cops or not. Yeah. You love the American medical system? Yeah, that's extremely dangerous. Yeah, but like, what else was I supposed to do at that point? I was very desperate for some sort of pain mitigation. Don't advertise illegally buying prescription medication on stream. No, it's fine. It was years ago. Statue of limitation. The amount of fence laced shit is insane. <laughs> America, pay more than any other first world nation. Get shittier care. True. True and real. One way the class of 09 was literally just Kirsch's life growing up. Not if you get a wacky hippie yoga therapist, you get pretzeled so hard while recovering. Kier taking fentanyl, but she's immune. That'd be funny. That'd be funny. Babushka knows how to fix children. She knows how to fix adults. True. Your doctor prescribed you tramadol after you stopped breathing once. You ended up using that later. Uh, you went four months without sleeping due to pain. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, how do you go four months without sleeping? I mean, I'm sure you passed out occasionally, right? <laughs> Thank God I did it before the Fent craze. That's true. That's true and real. You got Oxy for your wisdom teeth extraction. You didn't like it, so you gave it to your friend with like three spine injuries. Oh my God. I've been seeing a physical therapist for a while. She helped you with your lower SI pain for the last couple of months, and it's basically 100% better. Now the new, the new massage lady I was seeing, uh, told me that I should possibly get checked for, oh god, what's that shit called? What's that shit called that, like, nobody ever thinks you have it, and then you go, like, 30 years in extreme pain, and then they're like, oh, you have the thing! Autism! No, it's a, it's a pain thing. Not, s fibromyalgia, thank you! <clears throat> I think, I think it's fibromyalgia, where it's just like, the, you have pain all the time. You have pain all the time. Y'all are taking meds. I'm free-balling life. I'm slowly dying. <laughs> it's true. Is it true that you'll play League every day in April so Sakana will drag me into phase? No. Who the fuck did you hear that from? They're an idiot. Fibromyalgia aware. Fibro sucks. <laughs> 
It's weird, you need pain in 12 spots and other stuff as well. What the hell? Your mom's had that for 13 years? You have a grandma disease! The only person in real life I know with fibromyalgia is actually a dude younger than me. Fibro something, isn't that what Kiara has and stopped her from becoming a stewardess? I mean, maybe? I don't know. Now your oxy would be cut with enough fentanyl to kill an elephant? Yeah, I don't- I don't know if it would be safe anymore, honestly. A friend of yours has fibro, it's constant pain that moves and usually feels like needles. Your ex had that, it was rough. No doctor actually acknowledged the condition, just bombed her with painkillers. Can I have that problem? Can I just get bombed? Like, I don't- I don't care if they diagnose me, I just want the pain to go away. <laughs> The fishman isn't gonna hire Kirsha Brand Risk Verstahl. Man's in shambles. Oh my god. Being younger than you is like 90% of the world population. Hey, I'm not like 3 million years old. Your mom's been dealing with it for a decade. It sucks. Yeah. Did you just hear Kirsha say, I'm not in the company! <laughs> Sergeant Buck, thank you for the $5. What did they mean by this? Good fucking question! Richard Grober, thank you for the $5. Don't buy, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy. Hey, macaroni! Are the lyrics? I don't want the macaroni in a pot to cuck me either. I don't want. I don't want to come home one day waiting, waiting for my my cock pot mac and cheese to cook for eight hours, and then I go into the kitchen, gonna stir it and smell the nice spices and catch my himbo with his dick in the pot. I don't like that. Your mom will get an epidural injection sometimes. It helps for a few months. Ain't no way am I gonna get an epidural injection. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. I've seen those needles. The onset, eh? Do I like leather products? Yeah, it depends on what it is, but yeah. God hates taxes. Thank you for the member. And also true. Not an FBI. Thank you for the two. Ah, was that a Twin Peaks reference? I'll never know because I've never seen Twin Peaks. Mama Oko. What's my favorite food and is easy to send in the mail? I think I answered this one, but I don't remember what it is. I, I don't know, man. I like red velvet cake. I like chicken tendies. I'm, I'm a very simple woman. Thank you. Thank you for the five dollars. God hates taxes. Thank you for another two dollar doodles. Name is based on a joke from a Babel podcast. I think I remember saying that as well. Evictus, thank you for the member. Thank you. Lugzin, thank you for the thousand clipu. Have I played the scanner somber? Never! Ah! Hell, even heard of it. Thank you. Revenantial taxes. Thank you for the two dollar doodles. And now you know why they were laughing. Not anymore. I've completely forgotten. <laughs> Red velvet for sweet. Chicken tendies for savory. <laughs> Help. And you don't want to know? You can make red velvet cake even better. By having like a layer of red velvet cake, a layer of cheesecake, a layer of red velvet cake, and then that whole thing dressed in like buttercream. Z Zayo, thank you for the ten dollar doodles. A lot of fibromyalgia is actually undiagnosed Lyme disease. Sauce yourself. You have three types of limes and babasia. Most of yours is central nervous system, but one of your family had it in his joints. That sounds horrifying. I've only had a couple of ticks bite me in my life, but I don't know if they've given me Lyme disease and I don't know how I'd be able to tell without a diagnosis even. Well, the Professor Keen, they give the five dollar doodles. Not Fishman hiring the Fox Girl, but Flork of Cows in his new company. She fits better there. Am I allergic to red meat? No, I love red meat. Prague Maestro, thank you for the two Canadians. Please don't inject cortisol. My ma couldn't function. Oh no. That sounds terrible. Cheesecake and red velvet cake. You know what you need from the AI bros next? We need housewife Kirsha with that in her arms. Hot damn. Don't go planting those thoughts in my head. God. You had about 12 key lime trees at one point. They grow super easy in Florida. You'll love them. Fibro is a very broad diagnosis. It could be a lot of things. Then you're good. A side effect of Lyme disease is being allergic to red meat? That's kind of crazy. Why no vaccine for limes? I don't know. Lyme is one of those iffy things where a lot of nonsense got thrown around at the time. People unironically went anti-vax on it, which is why we never got an effective treatment. That's also really weird. Andrew B, thank you for the two dollars. I hope you had a good night on March 3rd. And and tonight. Great Gray Raynard, thank you for the ten dollar doodles. The autism makes this game. I'm assuming March 3rd was a Sunday, as we are occasionally making deadly premonition references. Thank you, Grey Raynard. 
No, thank you, thank you. We gotta move on over here. How do I, how do I miss things like this? Where it's like I get some and then I just like miss one of these. Some people think it's like a bio weapon or something. The Lyme disease scare actually made me really nervous to go outside. Like after after I got my first couple of ticks, I never wanted to go out in the woods again. Like I got terrified. It's your hag eyes. I mean, maybe, dude. You had a cortisol injection in your right thumb because you have arthritis from your job. Those things suck. And the red meat allergy is alpha gall syndrome, not Lyme. Alpha gall? Am I being am I being like D's nuts right now? What's happening? <laughs> I mean, but also fuck ticks. And my first my first tick was in my side. And then I got one in my armpit. And then when I was down in North Carolina, I got like three on my head. And I was like, what the fuck? I hated it. <laughs> That's what it's called. It's caused by a tick bite. Oh, okay. Nocte Angelus! Thank you for the five dollar doodles. You got nerve ablation from your spinal issues from the Marine Corps. Sucks that day, and then you are able to move around and function. I, I wish I was able to move around and function without any pain. Alpha gall is the DNA protein in red meat that you become allergic to. No D's nuts here. Oh, okay. You joked with your parents that Lyme disease was uh, planted by vegans, and you didn't think people actually thought that. <laughs> Those ticks were after your last brain cells, unfortunately. My, my mom's neo-Nazi boyfriend had to take them out of my head with, uh, tweezers. <laughs> this is why you stay out of the Carolinas and Appalachia. You had a huge tick on your thigh and panicked because you thought it was on your balls. Yo, we got a spreadsheet now? Hell yeah! I know! I'm actually gonna be able to remember thank yous instead of getting lost and sad. Alpha Gal is a woman who is a girl boss. What the fuck? You hate ticks, it's always so stressful when your dog gets one on him. Oh, you know what I should do before moving on to the next day? I should pop out my Twitch and see if there are Twitch thank yous. Cause this thank you list is only YouTube. I don't want I don't want Twitch people getting cucked. No, no cucking. No cucking of Twitch people, but I gotta scroll a lot. I don't know how many days ago the third was, but it's a lot of scrolling. Mom's neo-Nazi boyfriend. Uh TLDR, my mom. When we lived in Massachusetts, she brought home a neo-Nazi from North Carolina who had just been let out of prison for drug charges. Uh, and he lived with us for a while. And then when my mom fled uh, Massachusetts and moved to St. Croix for a while, eventually she decided she wanted to be in North Carolina. So she moved there. My brother's with her this entire time, by the way. Um, and so she lived in North Carolina with the neo-Nazi for a while and they, they fought each other very often. <laughs> TL TLDR the end. He had the windmill of friendship tattoo. <gasps> the squonk is such a cute cryptid. What the heck is a squonk? Zayo, thank you for the five dollar. You can have limes and never know because it's parasitic. You have a whole spiel about it and you should get the word out about it sometime. So if you have Lyme disease, you just have like a bunch of little wormies crawling around your belly. That sounds horrific. That sounds horrific. Ah, uh, no, let me see here. Let me see where I remember some of these. Um, um, uh, um uh, I remember that. I remember that. Um, okay, I don't remember this. I don't remember that. Okay, so these these must be new. Okay, hold on. Let me get rid of this for a second. And by new, I mean they're old, but I haven't thanked you for them, chat. Like a, like a bad, bad woman. Okay. Um, we don't want that. Okay, so I guess it'll be here. And then I just do that. And then I do that. And we're good. <gasps> Ty Jack, thank you for the nine month member. Thank you. I hope there was not too much afterbirth and I have to get stitches. Thank you for being born. Trying to hide it last time taught me you'll make it worse. You're welcome. <laughs> Not all parasites are gut worms, you utter coconut. I was like, when, it, when an animal gets worms, I always get scared that the animal will give me the worms. I don't want to be full of worms. 
I don't want to be like that meme of the, the distended belly full of worms, fox woman. Once you got a mosquito bite and the bite swelled up to the size of an actual egg, you took Benadryl, but it gave you flu-like symptoms? It was a really bad allergic reaction? I, uh... When I went to the new massage lady, she said I had an ant bite on my ankle. I was like, how the fuck did I get an ant bite on my ankle? I don't even see ants in my house! A YouTube channel, The Y Files, covered Nazi ticks, the horrors of Plum Island? I know where Plum Island is, but why are the ticks Nazis? And here's just one million worms in a fox lady costume. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Eye worms are creepier? Ew, don't say that. Ew, don't say that. Perhaps the ants want the dex ketchup. They can't get to the dex ketchup! If you were a worm, would chat still watch you? They'd probably sound with me, let's be real. That I secretly sneak into Pippa's place and get bitten by the home defense ants. <laughs> You woke up with a spooder bite once? You're just glad it was a brown recluse? Or wasn't a brown recluse or a black widow bite? They're both around here. I don't know how to tell if I have a spooder bite. I'm gonna be real with you. Plum Island takes were weaponized to be used on the populace. What? Why did the government weaponize ticks against the residents of Plum Island? Those ticks only bite a specific group of people. What? Why can't you get superpowers from a spider? I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Century and Max, thank you for the three dollary doodles. Have I ever felt so strongly about someone that I can't sleep? Or while you're at work, you think about them and your chest feels like a forest fire and it's hard to concentrate? It's a new feeling and it's distracting the shit out of you. Yes. Yes, I have felt like that. And then, and then you feel like you just hit the biggest bong rip of your life when they text you? Oh my god. It's, it's the greatest high, chat. Why did the U.S. government do something evil to its own people? Not Plum Island. The ticks were used to control people. What? That's even weirder! Are the ticks Nazi ticks because the Nazis were experimenting on them? Or they were Nazis because they wanted to use raid on all the roaches? What is happening? When you were living in Japan, you stepped on one of the big centipedes and got bit in the ankle? Fucker sent you to the ER. Centipedes are disgusting. And I've seen a handful of house centipedes in my life. And whenever I see one, my initial reaction is just, I want to burn the entire house down. How the hell would you even know how a bong rip feels? What a weird question. Though, I mean, I haven't technically had bong rips. I've only smoked from a pipe. I have a cute pipe that for some reason you guys thought was a dildo. Because you're degenerates with a porn-addled brain. Reminds you of another certain VTuber in Spiders. <laughs> I'm getting high when someone texts you. Sound nice. Yeah, exactly. I was like, horror, why are you ellipsizing? Yes, we are the DJ. You are! You see a weed pipe and you think dildo. Why would I just keep that next to my keyboard? Also, I guess I don't have a reason to keep it next to my keyboard because I haven't smoked in years. But still! Ha! Help! On that note, does anyone remember sea snakes? No, I don't know what that is. Hello, fresh, you piece of shit! Um, um, badu come! Um, badu come! Oh my god! Um, badu fucking nut! Um, um, badu bus! Um, bossing! Um, badu blue! Um, badu blow! Um, badu nut! Ayy! Macarena. Oh, I get it. <laughs> you remember that one? I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> what a chatter! Holy shit! I'm I'm bad, you be. <laughs> Robert Sandvigi, they give you five dollar doodles. SBI is the one time you agree with the left. We should make this one exception for a post-birth abortion. We can only hope! I'm in the mate acumen. Thank you for the 18-month resub. Thank you! Lugs in our curl. Thank you for the subby bubby. Cold acid. Thank you for the gift sub to Freddy Prez. And Fiat Goblino. Thank you for the six-month resub. You're not a psyop. You're a goblin. I just don't believe you. Eat a carrot. Thank you for the subby bubby. And no, unless you're in a stew, I will not. I will not. The only way to learn your lesson that drugs are bad is that we report you for possessing drug paraphernalia. What the fuck is wrong with you? Sweet baby, you're born to get aborted. Uh -huh. Do we? Do you think someone could make a game out of that? 
<laughs> You've never felt real love. <laughs> oh no! You hate feeling love because it won't last. Well, that's not true. You just gotta, you just gotta make sure the person you're falling in love with isn't a piece of shit, which is, you know, much easier said than done. Finished trimming your harvest today. Got a smidge over two pounds from four plants in about four months. Looking at around six thousand four hundred payday. Be a second harvest ever. Can you? Can you just, like, harvest some of that over here, baby? Like, come on, dude. <laughs> Aborting the sweet baby. It's a game like Postal and Games Media will freak out. Yeah. You can you can have all of the little fe fetuses with the dangling umbilical cords just say different DEI talking points. Simple, easy. Sim simple, easy. Gotta break their legs. What the fuck? Cold acid, thank you for the $5. You would the Korsha, but you don't have a ketchup fetish. Do not... Do not ketchup flate the Korsha. Feared the Goblino. Thank you for the gift sub to Tough Lower. Thank you. Massive Doggo. Thank you for the 100 biddies. Protein and T minus 20 minutes. Wow, we're late. I'm at like protein time right fucking now. Goddamn. Rats JM. Thank you for the three months of prune. Bingo, 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 bingo. Thank you for the $2. Too real. You have to have a sit down lecture with your mother and explain you need to flush toilet bowl clearer, especially if it's bleach based. I don't think she even cared what a mustard gas or free calorie was. A mijo, I no care. I clean, yes. <laughs> I don't know what a free calorie is either. Actually, I know I know what a mustard gas is. <laughs> you learned today that some kid went to juvenile detention three to four years ago, and he was too rowdy, so they were giving him estrogen treatments for two weeks, and they got found out because he was growing tits. That seems like it should be illegal, if I'm honest with you. One joke, man. They give the 300 biddies. There are free things called safety data sheets for chemical products that show the safety hazards, first aid, protection measures, etc. for the chemical that you'd be using. Yeah, but who fucking reads? Am I right? Am I right, chat? Night of nights! Thank you for the dollar. Apologies in advance! You made a donation yesterday talking about the coffin of Andy and Lele. You haven't kept up with the streams? To see if I replied to it, link here. Yeah! I think I remember reading this one because I remember opening the, the Andy and Lele thing. Eris today, Kale. The videos are really starting to give you answers to some questions you had about standardized test scores. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Do not boil the fabuloso. Thank you for the five dollars. Toast engineer, thank you for the five. Whole mixing colored liquids in a sink toilet thing is fetish content. I remember reading this one as well. So maybe I've read some of these. I remember Lolly's comment. Um, I remember that. I remember that. So maybe I've done most of these Twitch ones. <laughs> Ikaron, hey, thank you for the five. And this is how I gassed you, mother. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, if if God, thank you for the gifts up to Jesus. Of course, Jesus has a Twitch account. What the heck? The ninth circle, thank you for the five dollars. They're putting chemicals in the air that are making your house smell gay. But why does your house smell like anal night after Taco Tuesday? Can we boil the pine salt? Don't do that. Don't do that. I know. I know I remember these ones. I remember these ones. A massive dog, I think of the hundred biddies. This explains the decreasing IQ of inner city citizens. They're all boiling the fabuloso and contaminating the whole city. He pronounces it Hazus! Hazus. Frosty Foxy, thank you for the seven month resub, my guy. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I know. I know. I remember, I remember these. My brain. My brain, it remembers! I like it when my brain remembers chat. I like it. I like it like that. <laughs> oh god, I'm re- I'm reliving the fabuloso. Cindergosa, you bitch. I gotta call you that again, even though I remember thanking you previously, because console Terra isn't real. It can't hurt me if it isn't real! <laughs> Mania. <laughs> Trigger point, thank you for the ten dollars. Are you a true fan if you don't have to file bankruptcy over a gotcha like DSP? God damn. Ekron, hey, thank you for another hundred dollars. A uh, hundred dollars fueling my gotcha addiction. Thank you. You're a stroke. <laughs> no stroke, no stroke. Boil me like the fabuloso baby. God, what the fuck? What the fuck? So remember the old K-Post about someone making mustard gas to test a gas mask? To never underestimate people's stupidity? True and real? True and real? <laughs> Dietrich, thank you for the 10-month resub. Kill yourself! Hey, me too. The job market is making me want to glow. 
Jesus Christ. I know. I know. We talked about the Oregon. The Oregano. I remember doing the whoop whoop noises as well. I remember that. I remember that. <gasps> I want to say this again. So the ninth circle. I don't know if I thanked you before, but thank you for the five dollars. Spending a stupendously silly sugary Sunday with a silly, slightly stinky, special, slightly spurgy foxy. I say the thingy. I says it. <laughs> Stroke the spicy cat. Stroke me. I got fluffy tail. I got the fluffy tail. Launch box. Lounge box. Thank you for the 30 gift subs on March 3rd. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. D DJ Panda Milk. Thank you for squirting out into the world in the nine month reason. Thank you. Let's see if I can say this one fast, right? Toast Engineer. Thank you for the $25 redoodles. Sainted, sassy, satiny, saucy, savvy, scented, scholastic, sciatic, scientific, skintolent, scopious, scrumptious, sculptural, securable, sedacious, selective, sensate, sensational, sequacious, seraphic, shapely, sharing, sharp witted, sheeny, shiny, slightly snow fox Sunday! Hot damn! Give her butt scratches like a real pet! Anonymous, thank you for the six month resub. A winter basket, thank you for the eight month resub. Wassa! Seven eight ninety nine, thank you for the three month resub. And Krauser ninety nine, thank you for the ten month resub. Talking about Fabulosa reminded you the stuff sent to my PO box failed to deliver and it's at the post office again. Why are they like this? Why are they like why is my PO box such a fucking struggle? I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm gonna get protein. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go get protein. I'll be right back. We got we got more thank yous. We got more tangenting. We got we got a peppermint patty man soon, TM. Skate geek, thank you for the 499 on the topic of female doctors. Your spine surgeon cut some part off that left you laying flat for four extra days. Also turned your three hour surgery into eight hours. I would be really fucking mad. I would be really fucking mad. <laughs> Was away for a moment. What nonsense is she lovingly spouting? I'm gonna get the protein! I'll be our beach chat if you are on Twitch and you are not subbed to me. Uh, thank you for sitting through some ads. <laughs> uh, playing ads while I'm AFK means you won't miss content. And uh, we get to disable the pre-roll ads for an hour. So all the non-subby bubby and new people coming in don't have to get hit with pre-rolls. So... Thank you! Thank you for putting up with a little bit of ads while I'm AFK. A BRB! BRB Protein! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! What time?
wow, 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 wow. Pistachios are old man nut. Pistachios are gross. I hate pistachio. Oh, nice cock. Nice cock. <laughs> oh wow wow hello hello i'm proteined out of my mind i'll take on pistachios get get put in a retirement home idiot <laughs> what is what we're seeing the consequence of having their dicks out what are you talking about what is, what, is, what were you guys doing while i was gone weird weird circle jerkin retire me yourself you coward i will stuff your foreskin with cashews Donkey Kong's mouth is just a pistachio? I've never looked at Donkey Kong's mouth, so I mean, maybe. <laughs> you think Harambe tried to warn us and then he was silenced? Have I considered living in Rhode Island? I have not. Should I? Are there are there cheap houses in Rhode Island? Oh, <laughs> uh, where's my browser? Where's my browser, baby? Here we go. Here we go. He's got that snout. I just got done throwing lead at the shooting range with the boys? Welcome home. Well, I hope you had fun. Stop, or she could suggest another pocket. Yeah, I can just make a foreskin. Probably really cheap houses in Haiti right now. Yeah, but then I'd have to live in Haiti. I'd rather live with Azehara and his mud hut island instead. <laughs> you were forsaken as a baby. I'm sorry. The fish tank house wasn't that expensive. How much was the fish tank house? Can you give me suggestions on what to search? I don't know what you mean by this. Moose Nugget! Thank you for the ketchup tithe. May the Korsha be adequately pampered. And the degens who would the Korsha have their benis deserved. Do you mean dissected? Exploded like a plant? Anyo? Being homeless would be a step up from Haiti. True. True and real. Kier X scuffed realtor stream would be something. I don't know what that would even be. What do you mean? What do you mean by this? Lyme disease started right next to a bioweapons lab with insects as a delivery method, but the government said they didn't use ticks. So Lyme disease embedded in the ticks was like the test run for COVID, is what you're telling me? Manya, manya, manya. Emperor Creatine, thank you for the five dollars. Please, Chef Kirsha, tell us about how awful the risotto is. Whoever cooked it must have been an idiot sandwich. You're a fucking donkey. I remember this. Wow. Wow, it's the 17th. It was it was the 8th. How has it already been so much time since I had that disgusting risotto? That's crazy. That's crazy. That risotto was disgusting. Haiti looks like the Congo in the 60s. I'll just have to believe you. Not an FBI. Thank you for the two. Ah, yeah, the normies big guy. Like, huh? Start a house fund meter. You might just summon the oil barons. You want me? You want me to put a house fund meter at, at like eight hundred thousand dollars? I just, I feel like that's a little bit fucking weird <laughs> to have. Massive dog, thank you for the six ninety. Thank you. Heidi leader responds. I really like legs with ketchup. It was rizless risotto. If people in the world were pretty and rich, all the wars would stop. Or is it just part of who we are? No. People would find ways to fight again. It worked for the cuck chair. The cuck chair was not like $800,000. <laughs> do it for the memes. Jesus Christ. What nuts do you like? Cashews are my favorite nut. I like cashew and pecan. And I guess, I guess like walnut is pretty okay as well. But like cashew and pecan are the best. Spaces are just too past moderation. I don't... I don't know if you should be trying to bypass the link by posting a link in chat. That kind of... That kind of makes you Johnson. really suspect. Because we don't know what's in that link. So, like, what if, what if there's, like, an IP grabber? Account created 19 hours ago? Posting links to get around it? Okay, we're just going to ban you. I'm going to ban this Gnarpy fan. I don't know who the fuck that is. Get out. <laughs> Do not Bonzi! Do not redeem! If everyone in chat only donated $900, we'd be done in no time. That's still a lot of money per person. Go Goofy's lawyer. Thank you for the thousand biddies. Gotta go? Trying to convince a woman to be a wife? Good luck! I hope you can convince her! 
<laughs> Dope just saw a dork get banned. <laughs> Be careful, there's a crazy amount of scams going on lately. Yeah, don't click weird links. Don't click them, dude. The spreadsheet is real. Oh, this is only one spreadsheet. Manya, manya. Man, FBI, thank you for the two. Ah! Normies are awakening. The revolution begins. God, I wish. Salka Alpaca, thank you for the 500 yen. The man made part of your childhood. I don't know which man, but maybe we're talking about Chef Gordon Ramsay since we were talking about shitty risotto. The Bonzi buddy is a cool little fella while well, he's taking your info. What the fuck? Posting links in chat should be completely disabled. It is. The bot slaps your penis if you try to post a link. But that guy separated every letter to try and get around the bot slapping him for posting a link. So he's, he's clearly not a bot, but potentially actual scammer. Where the hell are you? You're supposed to get $900. No, I'm supposed to get $900. <laughs> no, 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 that's me. DRT is king. Thank you for the five. Considering what your patrilineal grandparents had really bad cases of Alzheimer's, you hope you croak in your mid to late 60s with your faculties intact. I think it would be a terrifying prospect if I ended up getting actual dementia or Alzheimer's considering how bad my memory already is. The bot lets you post a link. Oh no. The feds are trying to find them extreme gamers. The Bonzi link has a 57% trust score. Really sus. I protect my honorable chatters. Get random DMs when you check. They recently joined a server you're in. Never posted a message there. Yeah, if uh, if you get a weird message from someone in my server, and that's the only like server you have in common, they're clearly a bot. Please report it in the mod ticket so we can flay them alive. Typic typically, they pretend to be women, so we used to just eradicate all women who joined the Discord. <laughs> The bot lets you post a link. Get wrecked, small tank. <laughs> Destroy all women! Mindbreak would say that in the mod chat every time he destroyed a bot. Because they, they all had women names. I don't know what it was. For every suspicious link you click, a security specialist gets a gray hair. <laughs> Alpha creatine, thank you for the $10 doodles. Evil cannot create anything new. They can only corrupt or ruin what good forces have intended or made. Good professor still throwing out bangers 50 years after he died. True. It's unfortunate that Amazon is molesting his works. <laughs> Never thought you'd benefit from being trans and not a cis woman. You did. You passed the anti-woman screening. <laughs> Star Phoenix, thank you for the $2. If Kirsha had dementia, how would we know? It's a good question. How would I know? I know, I know it gets really bad some days when I get in the shower. My shower routine is the same exact thing every time I get in, right? But I get in the shower and sometimes like I tested the water with my hand, but then the water is like, it's not comfortable enough on my whole, on my whole body. So I turn around and I look at my knobs. I've lived in this apartment since 2015. I get in the shower, I turn around, I look at my knobs and I can't remember which way to turn them to make the water either colder or hotter. Like I just, I, I lose all memory about which way to turn the knobs. So I just give up on the knobs and then I shampoo my hair. And that's the first step in the shower, you shampoo your hair. And then sometimes I decide, oh, you know what? I'll deviate from the program and I'll wash part of my body before I wash my shampoo out instead of washing the shampoo out and then putting conditioner in and then washing my body. And if I do that, sometimes I forget that I've already shampooed my hair, so I'll shampoo my hair twice. There's also been times where at the end of my shower, I've finished, long. I've finished conditioning my hair and I go to like rinse all of the water off of my body and like rub my face down because it's had, it's had like the rice, the rice scrub on it the whole time. And then I forget to rinse my hair of conditioner. So I get out of the shower and my hair still has conditioner in it. Like, this is how bad my memory is. And if I didn't oh, make jokes oh, about how bad my oh, memory I was, it. I would oh, be I an absolute it. fucking mess because it's depressing. You are the cutest coconut. It's amazing she hasn't drowned herself in the shower. I've fallen and hurt myself from getting panic attacks in the shower before. <laughs> you also forget which parts you've watched. Do I have ADHD? I don't I've never been diagnosed for it. Thought Kirsha was growing a pee pee. She was checking her knob. No, the shower knobs, you D Gen. It's weird that I call my boobs knobs. No, the shower knobs. What's wrong with you? 
Here's to actively sabotaging chat discord romance. Rip. What do you mean? What do you mean? You have ADHD that happens to you in the shower? Oh, I mean, I guess it could be a side effect of ADHD, but I've never been diagnosed, so I don't know. I think that pretty good long term. Yeah, my long term memory is like perfect. Right? I might not be able to remember exact timelines, but I can remember things very fucking vividly from the long term. Your brain damage comes from leaving the house and three houses down, forgetting if you close the garage door, <laughs> so having to turn around. You know, recently I've been forgetting to turn the stove top off after I'm done cooking. And Tim, Tim keeps saying I'm going to one day burn down the apartment. Emperor Creatine, they have the fun of dollars. Anyone else having to explode bots on Twitter? You're a little nobody and a bunch of bots pretending to be pre-hump trans girls are following you. What the heck? Are those all of the ones that say my pussy in bio? Bro, stop twisting your knobs in the shower. What is wrong with you? So I have terrible short-term memory and good long-term and I have a hard time with the smaller details. Kind of sounds like ADHD to you. Should I, should I get diagnosed? What if I get an autism and an ADHD diagnosis at the same time? Am I just, am I just screwed? <laughs> I can't believe Kirsha died in the fire! The double dingo! ADHD has a lot of shared symptoms with autism too. Oh no, dude. Claim disability, give me the autism bucks. I may I, I probably make too much money on stream to get autism bucks. You have to be like you have to be like basically destitute to get autism bucks. Like you you own a couple of rags and maybe like a broken dish, right? <laughs> If I had my place checked for mold, it can do that and not be visibly noticeable? No, I haven't had it checked. I haven't. That's a sad thought that one day the streamers are watching will go senile while still knowing how to start up a stream. Oh my god. Even if you have dementia, you're the best fox. Thank you. Thank you. God hates taxes. Thank you for the $10 doodles. GTA 4 has better representation than modern trash. And that's just because it's basically New York City, so it's full of immigrants, including the player character, so it felt natural. Yeah. I like I like the I like the the Grand Theft Auto cities. Same with like Rock A City. Rock A City is hella actually diverse and not the modern terminology of diverse. Someone told you you had ADHD. You were like what? What a joke! What a joker! Autism and ADHD diagnosis won't make you screwed since you're already more successful than 99% of VTubers. What kind words he says? People with dementia can do fine for themselves. They can even be president. True. True. <laughs> Need to prove you're severely disabled to get the tism bucks? Unless you're an alcoholic, then you can just get them for free. Qu quine bobs! I love the quine bobs! M for creatine, thank you for the five. The bots will be like, pre-op trans girl not active here, follow account here, and they'll all have been created around September to November 2023. It's weird. Well, it's just like the, the bot raids on Twitch that just like spam slurs at you. Jim was complaining about Payday 3 the other day. <gasps> Do you think I could get the weatherman to play Quine Bobs with me? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm blushing. Oh my god, I'm blushing. Say it's diverse, but you have yet to see an overweight woman that wasn't melanin gifted. <laughs> Maybe they're a little accidentally racist, but you know, that's the best kind. <laughs> that's the best kind. Quine Bobs with a hat man would be great. Oh my god. Volt, thank you for the 4 dollars Hey, Kirsha, thanks for streaming. Help us get our mind off things since the sad news broke last night. I will the small woodland creature. Please get your head checked. You're dangerous and you should, you should be locked up. Help. Hi, hat man. I'm Quine Bobs. Let's talk. <laughs> Vitex, thank you for the five euro. Take this 2750 Lego box and build a family of four with a healthy and loving relationship. I wish I could do that. I wish real life was just like Lego sometimes. She's dying. You can give me butt scratches like I'm a real pet. Munya. My father got SSA Tism bucks for me my whole life and all he did was get a neurologist appointment and say he doesn't like scratchy clothes. <laughs> yeah, big guy. <laughs> What the fuck? What are the chances you can invite one of the actor from Crime Boss for an interview as a sponsor? That would be pretty cool. I don't know who I'd be able to invite or what I would ask them if I'm being real with you, though. Not saying help after one of the mega hiccups. Who are you and what have you done with Kirsha? Wow. <laughs> Kirsha times vanilla ice. Let's go, dude. Jim would probably co-op with you. I don't know. It makes me scared. It makes me scared to... 
to ask those things, you know? Rub rubbish soldier! And then give it the $2. Call it Gamergate Overtime! No! It's a James Foss. Every time I read this man's name, I want to call him James Fonda. Thank you for the five dollars! Your coomflation shed has been delayed by the rain. Is this your doing? The shed will not be stopped. Wait a minute! Is this James man constantly super chatting me about a coomflation shed? Is he actually gonna post a picture of a finished shed one of these days? Do I need to be terrified? I do not want the she shed! No coom shed! No coom shed. Kyle Miller, thank you for the five dollars. You remember when Gamergate happened in 2014? Allo people became very influential from it. Now is your chance to ride the grift to the top. I mean, you know, the Gamergate thing is just kind of a similar side branch of all the bridge nonsense. Can't really do anything about quote unquote Gamergate 2 unless people are noticing what's happening with bridge. Because, like, even if you delay what's happening in games because of the fuss that's being made, it's still being pushed in corporations, it's still being pushed in schools, it's still being pushed in all other media. You're not going to be able to fix it just by focusing on one thing. Just like most sequels, Gamergate 2 is disappointing. Not an FBI, thank you for the five. Ah! Have you seen the Hot Dylan's music video? So good, makes you want to go blind. I'm sorry, what? What? The what? Music video? Is it you or is Bridge being missed out on by a lot of people? It's not just you. I've- I've tried getting other people to talk about it. Uh, I've tried- I've tried real hard, but it doesn't seem like people are interested. Uh, just like most sequels, unfortunately. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Do you- you guys got a link? What is- what is this thing you speak of? What is- what is this hot Dylan music video? <gasps> Matches burn! Then you have the two dollars. You best uh, believe in culture wars. You're in one. I like saying that funny. Tank rat, thank you for the 25 AEDs. Is that like a GED? I don't know what an AED is. This crap started in the progressive era, 1900s. It's only been accelerating the last two decades. Before, it was slow. And that's why I say we're in the we're in the period of normalization now. They're done asking. People have talked about the black lady a lot lately. The, uh, the one that, the, the, not the one, she's not related to Bridge, though. She's, she's in the, the gamer sphere where she was like, I don't want to hire white people because they do microaggressions. <laughs> Red Heracross, I give the five dollar doodles. Been wondering, am I a fox girl in the same way that a Miko is a cat girl? Or am I like a fox spirit in human form like Tenma? I am, I am a fox whammon like a Miko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dylan Mulvaney made a new music video. It is proof that God abandoned us. Oh, no. Oh no, KB. What is this? Oh god. Oh god, it's called Days of Girlhood. Oh god. Oh god. This is the most AGP outfit I've seen in a hot fucking minute, dude. point about in the in the comfort of your own home maybe maybe instead of right-wing death squads we just need sissy men death squads right we just we just remove all of the men who would be sissies Nim. and then we Nim. can once again Nim. have a golden age of humanity yeah. in minecraft <laughs> destroy the pipeline I genuinely have no idea how anyone can look at this and not just immediately think fetish. Mm, 
Well with how the world is going I'm glad that I just recently invested in more defensive ammo so I can hopefully protect myself from this terrifying doom spiral we are headed down. True and real? The song has the power to put a Victorian era child into a lifelong coma! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Playing catch up because we missed the pregame. I am I'm having like PTSD flashbacks of all the AGB posts on Reddit talking about how they need to have like girl slumber parties where they get to make out with the other girls and like fondle each other's breasts because that's what teenage girls do at slumber parties. No! That's what that's what the male porn addicted brain thinks that actual teenage girls do at slumber parties. Oh god! Where you at? Drop a pin. We're doing hot girl shit. Get in. Monday oh, can't god. get out of bed. Tuesday morning, pick up meds. Wednesday, retail therapy. <laughs> they actually have a line for taking their meds! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Accelerate cabinet. Cash or credit, I say yes. Thursday had a walk of shame. Didn't even know his name. Weekends are wow, promoting hookup culture too. Let's fucking go, dude. For kissing friends, Friday night all over spend. Saturday we flirt for drinks, playing wingman to our twinks. Sunday the twilight. Playing wingman to our twinks. If you buy a fox and you put the fox in your house, it's going to do fox things. I cast 500 kilogram bomb. We're going to need a bigger bomb. <laughs> Kirsha, please stop this mad. John Wayne didn't die for this. I don't. I don't know if even Twinks would want this as their wingman, dude. Like. <laughs> The pitch correction makes your ears bleed. It's kind of rough. It's kind of rough. Oh yeah, there's no way I'm not getting DMCA'd. I just have to wonder what the fuck historians in a hundred years are going to think of this. Assuming it doesn't Close just unhappen. Close the fucking tabs, you psycho. Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. Someone in chat asked what AGP is. AGP is autogynophilia. Autogynophilia is a fetish where men uh, get aroused by seeing themselves as women, thinking of themselves as women, and being treated as women. A lot of the uh, men that we see in social media today that claim to be trans are not trans. They are just autogynophiliacs forcing people to participate in a fetish. Or they're ideologues, or they're just being trendy, thinking that they can get oppression points and happy claps by claiming to be trans when they're not. So a cross-dresser? It's a step further than a cross-dresser. I would, I would equate AGP a bit further than that. More like the skin suiting people. Or brainwash. Yeah, they don't, they don't have dysphoria. They don't have dysphoria. You feel so uncomfortable seeing Dylan in a woman's bra. Excuse me, that's a bathing suit. <laughs> a step further than exhibitionism because it's also a power trip. True and real. Light soundtrack. Use my breakdown in the past. So hard my face can cringe. The AGP man on screen is relying so hard on pitch correction. <laughs> this is this is awful, man. AGPs are narcissists. It's extreme narcissism. Yeah, you'd fill out his top better because you have pecs. Can you do? Can you do the like peck jiggle? I've always been amused by that. I think that's I think that's funny and cute. It's cute and funny. You know the the big beefcake men are pretty cunny. <laughs> Tell me again how this isn't just a minstrel show only with women's clothes instead of blackface. Um, it can't be equated to a minstrel show because, like, can you even define what a woman is? A woman is, like, a state of mind, and so anyone who says that they're a woman can be a woman. Therefore, you can't equate it to blackface. 
So who else is down for definitely not disposing of bodies by dissolving them in a large drain able tub or pool so there is no evidence left behind and we say we had a party. I I like parties. These are the days. These are the days. These are the days of girlhood. Every day, every night. Oh god. Really long song too. There's something. Re oh God, this makes him really look like a lizard person. <laughs> Shut up, silly woman. Shut there's, up. there's something real silly fucking woman. weird about a man crawling around looking like a pornographic stereotype of a woman claiming that the patriarchy's days are over. There's just... There's just something real fucking weird about that! Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like a Blink-182 parody video. Don't you... Don't you put this evil on Tom DeLonge's doorstep. I learned my lesson. Please end my misery. It's it's halfway over chat. We're almost there. We can we can have a cuddle pile after to repair our mental. Back at home, we replay the breakup. Stay up all night for sleeping on makeup. That's a, that's actually really bad for your face. You should You should you shouldn't fall asleep with your makeup on. Don't do that. <laughs> Worse than Friday? You shut your mouth! Friday's a fucking bop! <laughs> I just- I just wanna let you know, if you're in my chat and you're someone who's ever made the argument that traps aren't gay and that you're just attracted to it because of the femininity, this is your fault. Dylan Mulvaney's existence is partially your fault. I just, I need you to understand that you've had a hand in this. <laughs> I'm in it, girl, today. These are the days, these are the days, these are the days of girlhood. These are the days, these are the days, these are the days of girlhood. Every day, every night, you raise a shine, they're all mine. I just, I just, I, I have to pause again, because it blows my mind that this is a man who decided to make a TikTok series about becoming a woman, and in every single one of those videos, he made horrid stereotypes the entire way, and now somehow he is inescapable. He's, he's in advertising, he's winning awards constantly. What the fuck is happening? Now he's making music videos. <laughs> Stop pausing, you're prolonging the suffering! Rock and roll Tyrannosaur, thank you for five dollars. The song makes you wanna vomit! Not sure if this is a white or black pill, but when things get this bad in history, they're usually followed by the and then for no reason at all section of history. I'm ready for the and then for no reason at all section of history. God damn. Even if I don't survive it, I'm ready for it. <laughs> suffering and also you are very correct the monster with 21 faces it is a it is a very common <laughs> agp thing to do the <laughs> i've i've got the dumb woman brain all i'm capable of is being a hole i can't wait to be a hole for a man <laughs> oh my god stop you don't need to radicalize me more you don't like Hugo Boss enough. You think you do, but you don't. <laughs> oh, nice. oh my god.
Love ya. How are you gonna sign off a music video the same way you sign off your TikTok videos? That's that'd be like if Markiplier made a music video and his intro was, "Hey guys, Markiplier here." Like what? And Kier's doing this because being gay doesn't cut it anymore. Yeah, being gay doesn't give you enough oppression points. You gotta, you gotta go farther. You gotta, you gotta go farther. Man, thank you to whoever linked this for putting this evil on our house. Of course the comments are turned off. Why wouldn't they be? Why wouldn't they be? Oh no. Oh no, chat. Hold on. Showing off my pretty pink bald spots. I'm just gonna mute that. Hold, hold on, hold on, we gotta... I'll open these in a new tab so I don't have to keep going back. <laughs> where's the, where's the volume? Didn't even know his name. Did you, Dylan? Because last time I heard, you've been having trouble getting dates from straight men, so... Oh, that's true! I forgot I about that article! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that article that we read! This guy's a shit poster and I'm here for his energy. That's like that's like a profile picture that I would have had in like fucking Blade and Soul. <laughs> Sorry to hear about your bussy. Monday can't get out of bed. Tuesday morning pick a mess. Seriously, Dylan, when they ask you cash or credit, you always say cash. Please do better. I don't get the joke, I'm too dumb. I'm too dumb. I don't get I don't get the I don't get the joke. <laughs> yeah, that'll stop him. Funimation Crunchy totally didn't DMCA here a few months back for commentary. They haven't replied to my email. I'm not really sure what to do. I call this a gender vibe. Oh, I made it in a new window. Oops, hold on. I meant I meant I meant new tab, not new window. This the, the song is by her awesomeness, Dylan Mulvaney. Seeking during a short, but that kind of reminded me of like that that one chick at that college Shut back up. back in the old Gamergate Silly days one. where everybody made memes of them like banging on drums and shit. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember that person? I don't I don't remember what they were called. Can't even remove shorts from the York. Yeah, Trigglypuff. Yeah, thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. This song slays as a 2000s movie intro. I have both songs. Oh my god! That schnoz could kill someone. I just, I just got jump scared. Okay, alright. I'm curious Yeesh. about you have fish man. the oral equivalent of sounding. This is ear sodomy. <laughs> this is not sodomy. It's a really pretty hotel. What? What? What even was that video? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I wish there were more of these. I, I wish there were more of these that I could cycle through. <laughs> How am I getting this shit on YouTube shorts? Oh, you get your gun videos. They're, they're linked. Shorts remixing this video. 
They're they're linked under under the video description. <laughs> that was Dylan behind the scenes. Oh my god. But that guy puts the same video to every song hoping for free views. Can we get Kirsha a Wrangler IRL on on location to stop her from doing this kind of shit? Oh, uh, that'll happen when I get a mang the mang and the merman ninja. Look at Brett Cooper. What? Oh my god, Dylan Mulvaney looks like the heir of Slytherin. The music can be described as an ear abortion. It reminds me, like the the beat almost reminds me of one song that I unironically really like. It's like it's one of my guilty pleasure songs. That is, it is awful. It is an awful song and it has awful messaging, but I love it. Hold on. Uh, no, not that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we're already on the DMCA train, so we might as well keep going. How does this have 40 million views? When I, when I found this song, it was like less than 100,000. Nobody knew what this song was. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Okay, well. Why, do, why are these both on the same channel, but one of them has Vivo and the other one doesn't have Vivo? I don't understand. Uh, oh, this is 10 years ago. Oh god, I'm gonna vomit. This is, this is a terrible, terrible song. It's a terrible song, chat. But it it is an earworm and it is a guilty pleasure song for me. <laughs> Reuploaded after Vivo died. Vivo died? <laughs> oh god, not this! I love this song, chat. I'm so sorry. This is my toxic trait. <laughs> Nim. 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 <laughs> <laughs> New Jersey bimbo core, true, true and real. <laughs> it's such a basic white girl song. <laughs> Please let it end. Blooded and I'm ready to go. Hot dub and take it over the world. Hot blooded all American girl. Uh oh. What <laughs> time? <laughs> Kisha canceled as my Oshi. I simp for AI now. <laughs> Can you play Friday next to further filter chat? <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> it's not bad, it's just plain pop slop. No, I know it's a bad song. <laughs> but you know, everyone has guilty pleasures. This is the source code. This is what Dylan copied. I found it! Have I been lied to? Am I a basic bitch white girl? So you don't steal the hot guy's convertible because then he probably he probably won't want to date you after, you know? <laughs> Nim. Nim. I Nim. should feel guilty. Shut up! <laughs> Silly woman. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Dumb Jersey bimbo core, but at least you respect the fact that it's not being used as a brainwashing anthem. <laughs> I'm an American girl, proceeds to list negative traits. Yeah, that's basically- it's a bad song, dude! Ah <laughs> uh, yes, American girls, committing Grand Theft Auto and shoplifting. The American dream. <laughs> VOD will absolutely not survive the 20 DMCAs you've summoned. That's basic woman driving right there. That one ride in the car and it catches on fire. This is a weird deadly premonition cutscene! Zach, I don't understand these women. <laughs> RIP YOUTUBE CHANNEL! <laughs> I know why young white
white boys convert to Islam now! This is, this is secretly just a Muslim recruiting video for white men. <laughs> oh god. That song is so bad. <laughs> that song is so bad and I love it so much. If you're in the car with me, I'll probably sing it at some point. That poor Mustang. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> you hate that the song is catchy? See, Please, thank you. For the love of God, let us listen to something with testosterone. Black gospel something. Well, a, you, we had we had this song, but you guys have. Let's see, is it? What's the name of this song? What's the name of this song? It's a European song. Yeah. Ziz, we're already in DMCA hell, so I'm just gonna keep going. You know, I'm just. We we had the American Girl song, but Europe, you guys, you guys had this shit. All right, this was, this was your terrible female song. <laughs> Ted was right! Ooh, girls, cheeky boys. Ooh, boys, cheeky girls. Ooh, boys, cheeky girls. <laughs> oh no! Why? Europe is always worse. <laughs> Let me guess it's the French? I have no idea where in Europe. You haven't heard this in decades. You're welcome. <laughs> look at it. Look at their like fucking skin tight spandex shiny silver asses. Cheeky girls, you are the cheeky girls. You are the cheeky boys. You are the cheeky boys. <laughs> 's my tralala I have both of those in my playlist I like the tralala song it was a different time <laughs> find some Latin women and see the curve your playlist is scary it is truly truly the scariest playlist <laughs> I don't understand! Hello, I'm new! What is this? I'm playing cringe, because we watch Dylan Mulvaney's music video. Can we get Shakira? I fucking love Shakira. No! No name! Thank you! Thank you for the five dollars! There's a non-zero chance Kirsha dance to this exact dance to this song? I can't dance. No, don't replay! Don't replay! Get out! A stroke? No! No stroke, only sadness! You're sad for the human species right now? <laughs> Play the Barbie girl song. Hey, yo! Aqua's a great band! Maybe the breeding farms are a good idea. Someone sacrificed the asses of these poor women for another decade of Shakira's strange English voice. Aqua was fun back in the early 90s. Yeah, I liked Aqua. Aqua was a good band. What's Kirsch's bimbo core playlist? 
I don't think I have a bimbo core playlist, but I could make one, probably. Play the Spice Girls song. You'll be on the Venga- I love the Venga boys! Who actually likes that shit, you know? Sometimes cringe can be fun. Venga boys are hype? Hell yeah, who could hate the Venga boys, dude? Your drill sergeant used to play Barbie Girl on Max, and if anyone laughed, you'd have to start pushing! Hell yeah! We like to party. We like, we like to party. We like, we like to party. <laughs> oh my god. At least it's not sounding for now. At least it's not sounding for now. Not an FBI. Thank you for the five. Ah! I know you're not a fan of the cape heroes, but have you heard of Echo, a female heroine that's deaf and also was one-legged amputee? <laughs> no. The only amputee woman I know was in Grindhouse. You suddenly feel very tired, same. <laughs> Fuck, if I get same. <laughs> Shock of all! Thank you for the two dollars to be a fly on the wall when she's chewed out by a CEO. Homestead. <laughs> you don't know about Echo? No, I don't know about Echo. I'm no idea who that S Club Seven. That's a name I haven't heard in ages. Marvel's Echo. I'm not a big fan of cape shit. So I don't really know much else besides the, like, Giga Normie ones that are in, like, Avengers and whatnot. Speaking of audio and sounding, do you think if they made sounding rod that vibrated just right, you could put it and hear music like those old toothbrushes that would play music on your teeth? I don't think I want to find out, actually. I don't think I want to find out. Helldivers 2 is the superior cape shit. Butterfly by Crazy Town now, please. Was that- was that who sung Butterfly? I played DDR. Mechanist Golden Gear, thank you for the one month member! You forgot about this. Me too! <laughs> so that Dylan, you got no words, you're sorry that you brought it up, so cheer up, chat. Please watch Brazil Deaf Woman Sing. I'm sorry, what? Not an FBI, thank you for the five. Ah! Butterfly, it was smile.dk, thank you. Thank you, Kiernoff. You know how to fix the timeline? It's time for the Peppermint Patty Man! Soon, TM! Please take that shower thought sounding guy's computer rights away! You said your favorite Spider-Man suit, Miguel O'Hara's in Spider-Man 2, and Swear Babo touched that game? And now you're not gonna get it. Yeah! Yeah, gotta, gotta, gotta nut up and not buy the things that, you know, have been touched by any of these companies. It's a shame that much like having to investigate restaurants to see if they're a real restaurant, or if they're a ghost kitchen, we're now going to have to do, like, investigative journalism on every new game that comes out to make sure we're not buying a game that has, like, any of this forced DEI or consultation groups on it. Give us anything with the right version in it. Bring on the gachi, dude. Bring it. Ghost Kitchen? You guys don't know about Ghost Kitchens? They're fake restaurants that are on apps like DoorDash and Uber Eats, uh, where, like, Chili's or IHOP or Chuck E. Cheese will pretend to be a different restaurant and sell you food from their fake restaurant, but it's actually just coming from their kitchens. Yeah, it's like, it's like drop shipping, but for food. And I think, yeah, yeah, it's like drop shipping, but for food. That's a good way. Yeah, like Mr. Beast Burger. You just buy small indie games now, same. Both butterfly songs are great. Uh, doesn't help that Spider-Man 2 has been chopped to pieces. They cut out 90% of Venom's content, including the whole boss fight, to sell the spin-off game, probably at full price. Unfortunately. Drop fooding! You telling me a ghost made this burger? No, dude. Play Vatislav, Don't Hurt Me? Is that the What Is Love song? <clears throat> Gerardo Santana! You sound like you could be a Latino pop singer. Thank you for the five dollars! When it suits them, they say lived experiences. When they don't, it's anecdotal. True. True, they like to twisty-twist the words. What is love is Hadaway? Oh. See, I can't names, chat. <laughs> I can't names, dude. Glurbs! Thank you for the five pounds! You must unlearn common sense and decency, and instead... Learn how what we say is right. Fuck them! I don't want to learn what they're teaching. DRT is king. Thank you for the five dollar doodles. Unlearning is a process of removing behavioral habits developed to help people get over maladaptive coping mechanics. Now it was used in propaganda. I don't like that. 
Malcolm Liang, thank you for the five R. Uh, real estate agent here. Ghost Kitchen is in high demand. It's second to petrol station and child care centers. Basically, back-end kitchen not open to the public. That's terrible. That's terrible. I don't like that. Hey, yo, Myth Macroximore. Saw some funny clips. Didn't realize I was live. Have an interweb high five. Hello, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Sunday, Sundays I've been doing extra long streams to try and get through uh, some JRPGs I'm in the middle of. <clears throat> Carlos Santana is one of the best guitarists to ever live, if not the best. Well, hopefully Gerardo is uh, taking some pointers from him. Unlearn these nuts. What's wrong with you? Sunday is such a boring day. Kirsha removes the boring part. Ah, oh, I'm glad I can help. Glad I could help. Emperor Creatine, thank you for the ten dollar doodles. All of this comes from Antonio Gramsci. The revolution will never happen if the proletariat is not coaxed or forced into doing it. Therefore, we must infiltrate everything that distracts them. Get away from my fucking bread and circus. JRPGs, I mean, you're not wrong in the most incorrect way. Isn't, isn't, isn't Modify, isn't Modify a, a deadly premonition made by a J Japanese studio? Am I high? It's where this comes from. SRV is pretty good as well. I don't know what SRV. DRT is king. Thank you for the five dollar doodles. Ask to meet the homeowner at their preferred restaurant, and then after you show that you're an IRL person, I would hope that you could deal with them. Well, I made I made the emotion emotional emotional appeal. So maybe the old man will call me back, or maybe he'll be like this dumb bitch should have called sooner. Piece of shit. Young people don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Smooth is straight up one of the single easiest to recognize guitar solos, and it's so fucking fun to play. It's a, it's a good song. That's Gramsci, no escape from the agitation. Pizza shit. I swear he's Japanese, but he's a Westaboo. Makes sense. Emperor Creatine, thank you for the five dollars. Ever heard of Race to Dinner? Pay me four to five figures for you to host dinner with me at your house and call you racist. No. That... That's a weird joke. <laughs> because multiple restaurants don't need to pay the realty tax? I'm not sure, but I hate ghost kitchens. I hate them. The Matchbox 20 singer is annoying. I liked him back when he was in Matchbox 20 before he became just Rob. No, it's not. Rob Thomas wasn't Matchbox 20, right? Rob Thomas was another band, right? Am I high? Am I thinking of the right person? I'm bad at names, chat. Please help me. <laughs> I'm bad at name. Rob is Matchbox. Oh, okay, so I was right. I was right. I liked him when he was in Matchbox, but when he became a solo artist, he was uh, like one of my one of my first ringtones was definitely "Lonely No More." But I don't know if I could listen to that full song as an adult. <laughs> I'm very sorry to tell you this, Kirsha. It's not a joke. Race to dinner is a real thing. There's no way, a poor creatine. Like you for the five dollars. Race to dinner. No. 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 I like I like how the the auto populated tabs are our programs, us race to dinner, connect race to community, and white women. Why is this real? Why is this real? A world free of white supremacy, caste, patriarchy, misogyny, all the isms, all the phobias, and a hate. A world where all of us human beings have value, dignity, respect, and all we need to live how we choose. You are a piece of dumb if you think you can rid the world of all hate. Like, yeah, it sounds nice, but it ain't ever gonna happen. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The Echo Marvel character having a prosthetic leg is because the actress playing her also had a prosthetic leg. Oh, okay. CG Man 19, thank you for the $10 doodles. Can't believe it took you this long to hear about me. Thanks for being based. Here's to getting zooted on cheap 15% gas station margaritas before going back to work. Hey, I hope you enjoy getting zooted. I hope you got a zoot suit, dude. Let's go. All we gotta, all we gotta do if we want a perfect world. We want a perfect world with no racism, no homophobia, no transphobia, no hate in general. A world without hate is a world 
without white people. <laughs> That's crazy that they actually believe that. <laughs> That's next level coping. Let's celebrate and suck some dick. Our mission. Initiating radically honest conversations that enable each of us to acknowledge, understand, and take personal responsibility for stopping the harm done to ourselves and to each other. Conversations that acknowledge how we are complicit in creating, enabling, and engaging in oppression. Conversations that can lead to liberation for all of us. In a white supremacy culture, those conversations necessarily center on the dismantling of whiteness and white supremacy. Hey, yo, uh, how about we go to China and dismantle some of that Chinese supremacy? How about we uh, remove their very oppressive government? You know, maybe. What about what about that? What about over there? What about what about what they, what about the camps for the Uyghur Muslims? What uh, what about that? We don't have camps here. <laughs> Peppermint wife who's dead again? Fucking probably she can't stop dying. <laughs> is this the racism cult? We're not a cult. We just want to dismantle white supremacy. Well, what is white supremacy, dear people? White supremacy is any white person that exists. You are you have inherent racial supremacy the moment you are born, and thus we must dismantle you. What they don't understand is that everyone has stereotypes and things they don't like about everyone else, no matter the race, right, dude? <laughs> Matthew Raves, thank you for the five dollars. Been a fan since I was on side scrollers. Good to know you. Hey, welcome! Thank you. Really does feel like a cult has taken over the West. That's because they basically are. This is the new religion. Our core values. Do I even want to read this whole thing? This sounds like brainwashing. Thunder Scourge, thank you for the five dollar doodles. According to Sheena, Fishman is actually married. If he can do it, so can you! Maybe! Wait, what? When did the Fishman get married? Our core values, radical honesty. We practice revolutionary, uncompromising truth-telling. Transparency. We are open about our successes and failures, our aha and our uh-oh moments, our I understand, and our I still don't get it. Relationship. We believe in the humanity of all people, and we endeavor to genuinely understand the underlying meaning of others' thoughts and actions. We engage fully and openly Building bonds and creating strong foundations. This, uh, this doesn't say anything. This, uh, what? Accountability. We make mistakes. We reject guilt and shame and endeavor to walk with people from mistake through reconciliation. Authenticity. They couldn't even keep it all on the left side. Like, what is this formatting? We value our differences and vow to always show up as our true selves. We are genuine, living in our truest form. That's true. And we communicate openly to strip down the layers and build strong, trusting relationships. Transformation. We reject the lies of white supremacy culture and we work towards being the fully liberated people that we are meant to be. What does that mean? Is white supremacy culture like what that museum put out basically showing that they think minority groups are not capable of having the same values like believing in family and taking care of old people or showing up to work on time or having work ethic? As a, it's very weird whenever you guys start talking about white supremacy culture and then it just makes you look like literal racists. Ownership. We take responsibility for our thoughts and actions, as well as our personal transformation. Humility. Silly woman. We know that we do not have all the answers. We remain open to learning from others and from our mistakes, being corrected and moving forward with grace. Trust. We build trust through being... We build trust through being trustworthy. 
okay? And by radically honest, candid discussions. Integrity. We strive to do the right thing always. We act truthfully and honorably. We are unafraid of being true to self. And we do it even when no one is watching. Well, it's kind of like you got to embody it, you know? Oh my god. One mission, eight women at a time, countless lives changed. Programs, white, a white woman book talk. Jesus Christ. We want white people to, number one, call a thing a thing. Quit pretending like you don't see shit and start using your voice and your power to make change. This is making me think of that, like, story that totally definitely happened of that white guy at some dinner who was like I know that this joke is going to be at the expense of black people and I will lose social capital by speaking out but I must speak out what's the worst that's gonna happen to you if you see a white person saying something derogatory or doing something derogatory and you interrupt it what's the worst thing that's going to happen to you I mean really think about it Thank you, Regina Jackson in New York Magazine. Yeah, yeah, chat. If you see something, say something. <laughs> we're, we're really turning back the clock. White people aren't dangerous, so it'll be easy for us to exterminate them. Yeah, white, white people take a little bit too long to get angry. <laughs> So if I call out these people for being racist, they won't get mad? No, you're the racist if you call them out for being racist. Because they're on the right side of history. What is what is white women the book? Deconstructing white women and white supremacy has never been more necessary than it is right now. And I am always looking for ways to learn, grow, shut the fuck up, and listen. This book gives you the tools to do just that. Why does Chelsea Handler's name sound really familiar? That's not, that sounds really familiar. Your need to be perfect is killing us and you. See, this is why white men really need to get a handle on their women, as it were. <laughs> what, the white guilt goes deep and women have the empathy to be exploited. She's a comedian. Oh, God. I rem Okay, I remember her now. Chelsea Handler is an unfunny talk show host. Dear white women... The latest white lady caught on camera berating a black or brown person. You love to point to these women and talk about how horribly, terribly racist they are. But the truth is that all white women are racist. Yes, even you. Sorry, did that hurt your feelings? Was that not nice? Did I do that? Let's take a step back. It's no secret that you are conditioned to be nice, but did you know that your desire to be perfect and to avoid conflict at all costs are characteristics of white supremacy culture? Chat. Are these absolute fucking idiots have just put in plain text that being nice is white supremacy culture. I'm I'm sorry if if you if you're black or Asian or Latino and you feel the desire to be nice to someone, that's actually just you capitulating to white supremacy. <laughs> Did Uki write this? God damn. What did they mean by this? Saying that white supremacists are inherently nice people. I'm, I'm a little... Is this a comedy book? <laughs> it's white supremacy to not discriminate based on race. This is like... This is like the counter to everyone saying that it seems like white supremacy is the most inclusive group. All right, like you, you look at you look at like the poll meetups and it's like almost no white people at all. <laughs> Gotta be mean to these idiots. As the founders of Race to Dinner, an organization that facilitates conversations between white women and white supremacy and racism, specifically your complicity in upholding white supremacy and your racism, we explore your obsession with niceness and perfection, even as it relates to your anti-racism work. In this book, we ask, how was being nice helped black women? 
indigenous women, and other women of color. How has being nice helped you in your quest to end sexism? Help. How has being nice earned you economic parity with white men? Help. Beginning with freeing white women from this oppressive need to be nice, we deconstruct and analyze nine aspects of traditional white woman behavior, from tone policing to weaponizing tears that uphold white supremacy society and hurt all of us who are trying to live a freer, more equitable life. And see, when white women are specifically targeted for this brainwashing, I think of all the men who buy into this by saying, white women are a lost cause, I'm going to become a passport bro and get an actual good wife. Why would you, why would you forsake an entire race of women because they're being brainwashed? Why would, why would you forsake them to the brainwashing? White Women Wednesdays. Rully Winkle saying nodders go yellow. Congratulations, you are helping the people we're reading about in this article. They want white women to be unreasonable and aggressive, to be a problem and uncomfortable to attack men. I feel like you ought to be taking notes for the next time you talk to a VTuber. What do you mean? <laughs> I collect sniper shine in the two dollars, so kindness is just racism. Apparently. Apparently. Counterpoint, why want someone who will read that and agree with it? Well, this is this is like you don't want someone to agree with this. And to the to the degree, how do you reverse brainwashing is something I don't understand, right? But it's like all all of us should be working together to sort of undo the damage that shit like this is doing. Nobody should believe in this, and I can't imagine the mindset you have to be in to read this and be like, yes. I am the problem. I should stop being nice to white men. Because even though I'm a problem, white men are really the problem. And I've been helping white men be a problem by being too nice. Ma'am. Ma'am. For fuck's sake. You motherfuckers are making me want to defend white women. From themselves and their self-hatred, but... How could you do that, you slurs? <laughs> <laughs> you terrify someone into thinking they're inherently racist, they'll believe anything? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's really sad. This shit feels like the DLC to the idea that every demographic phenotype should be mixed in the future. Anti is the new literally true. Can't explain why communism is a thing, but it is, and it must be resisted and destroyed. There, there are people who, like, get irrationally angry when I relate this to Marxism. But it's like, if you don't think that this has anything to do with the Marxists who uh, unabashedly call themselves Marxists and tell you what they're doing and show you what they're doing that's been tried in the past that hasn't worked, but it'll totally work this time, believe you me. Uh, you need to read up on history, dude. You really need to read up on history. Really, how do you get with women who hate you and not get screwed in a bad way? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just like, I'm not saying like date the white women who are this brainwashed, but it's like you can't, you can't just say forsake the entire group, right? Because I could do the same exact thing. I, I could be like, why would I even bother with a white man when all of them are like soy cucks, right? There's not, there's, the white men have forsaken their women in Europe. They left them to get raped by the migrants. The white men have forsaken their women in the United States. They don't- they don't stand up for their children who are getting turned into transgender think pieces. The white- the white- the white men are doing nothing. Why would I bother with them? Why wouldn't I look overseas? Right? So it's- it's like the same exact mentality that you propagate and you buy into this hatred and division. You know? Preferences or something. Marxists are collectivists, just like monarchists and theocrats, but with extra steps. True. I'm not talking about preferences. I'm not talking about preference. Preferences are different. But if you're if you're having the opinion of like all of this one race of people are just worthless and there's no point in engaging with them, that's that's an issue. Unbelievably based. Never go corpo. You're a man, you're supposed to be the shepherd for your women. Don't expect her to start off being based. Yes. Yes, very true. Can't forsake the entire group. For great part, I speak like we have a choice. You can't magically make them 
the people around you pull their heads out of their rears and stop voting for more invaders. You also have to take a more... Uh, how do I phrase this? You have to take a more, like, subtle approach. You can't, you can't just, like... You can't just, like, talk to a woman the way that you would explain something rationally to a man, typically, especially when it comes to undoing brainwashing. Again, I do not know the correct way to undo brainwashing, because it's like... How do, how do you even get through to someone who's become a brick wall, right? Some people are legitimately going to be lost causes on an individual basis. But you can't go up to someone, man or woman, and, you know, insult them, yell at them, tell them why, you know, they're fucking moronic, right? Even if you think they are moronic for the dumb shit they are saying, you still have to take the more... I am going to show you why what you are saying is incorrect. And again, some people are going to be lost causes. Even when you show them definitive proof, even when you show them the things that they believe in are not going to lead to what they think it will... Some won't believe you. Some are too far gone, and it's unfortunate. Regina and Syra made a documentary called Deconstructing Karen. It's your opinion, you have to meet them where they are mentally and try to walk them slowly back. Even then, some still won't change. Yeah, I pl I'm pretty sure I played it on stream before, but there was a really good... There was a really good video of a teacher talking to some students, and the students claimed that J.K. Rowling was transphobic. And so the teacher started at that premise, and they were like, okay, what did J.K. Rowling say that was transphobic? And then the, the kids had a couple of examples and he was like, okay, why do you think that's transphobic? And the students couldn't exactly answer him. They couldn't give him a, a good answer besides like a talking point. And he was like, do you think that this statement is offensive? Do you think that this statement denigrates people? And the students were like, no. And he was like, okay, if it's not an offensive statement, if it's not denigrating people, why is it transphobic? And he got he got the children to sort of understand that they've been fed talking points and they weren't actually thinking about what they're saying. Question them about it, have them think about it, yeah. Men need to be white knights because my male my defend women, that's not our women anymore. White knights always lose. I wouldn't say that either. There's it's not white knighting to want to save like your women or your country. That's wanting to build for the future. Just giving up on it makes you no better than the migrants who forsake their women in their home countries and just leave for a better life in the West. Rowling is a dumb feminist. Oh my god. This recent fight with her on Twitter, where like people... Some trans activists were trying to be like, well, trans people were actually the first targeted by the Nazis in the Holocaust. So talking about the Holocaust, you're actually a Holocaust denier if you don't talk about how it affected thousands of trans people. And it's like, hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> hold up, wait a minute. And then JK Rowling had to come in and give the bad opinion of, no, there wasn't any transgender ideology during the Third Reich. And it's like, well, hold on, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Joanne. <laughs> You're actually wrong here. <laughs> uh, so it's like, it's, it's funny seeing these two people trying to make transgender people more of a victim under Nazism than they actually were. And then also Rowling trying to deny the fact that the sexology institute even existed like it it's such a fucking weird thing to see play out <laughs> we should do it again don't burn the books that's how we're here does that mean the triple stripe flag worshippers admit to being unclean per their own argument <laughs> so they're saying the mentally ill people the nazis murdered as a test run for the holocaust is a trans genocide <laughs> yeah that's basically what's being claimed the stuff black pills you too hard? You're tapping out! There's no black pills, only white pills, chat! You like using logic, but be careful. Remember to study the arguing points and the loopholes and mental gymnastics they try and use. Otherwise, they'll walk away feeling justified and more emboldened. Yeah, it's, it's a difficult conversation to have. And again, some people you won't be able to talk to. But some, some are not deep in the Kool-Aid. Burning books is a terrible idea. I hate the idea of burning books. If you get rid of the things that are written in books, you are 
probably going to end up repeating the bad things that happened in them. The black pill is how many people think a man can become a woman. Do not take the black pills, chat. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little interested. Regina, oh my god. She looks like a lizard person. She looks like she could be related to fucking Zuckerberg, man. That's horrifying. That's horrifying. I'm kind of curious. If you're not a violent asshole, you can find her on Twitter. What? <laughs> what did they mean by this? Raced dinner facilitates radically honest conversation between white women and by walk. By walk? You know what's unacceptable? Guns are the number one killer of kids and teens in the United States. Wow. When was the last time we saw a gun get up on its own and, and shoot someone? Hi there. It's Julia. Hi, Julia. On June 5th in Denver, Here for the Kids is organizing a peaceful sit-in to demand that we stop the number one killer of kids in this country, guns. <laughs> Thousands have made their plans to be there. Please join the movement to save our kids from gun violence. Thanks. Okay. <sighs> Well-meaning yet ignorant white people can start by reading without defense, white fragility, black fatigue, and post-traumatic slave syndrome. There ain't no way that you've never been enslaved and never had any people in your family be enslaved. Then you can just be like, I got post-traumatic slave syndrome. That is... That is some ridiculous. Well, I'm gonna prescribe you cocaine and vibrators, just like women were for hysteria. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Wants to use the power of white women to repeal the Second Amendment. <sighs> Please. <laughs> Please don't let the white women repeal the Second Amendment. <laughs> How is anyone supposed to take this dipshittery seriously? I wish it wasn't something that was taken seriously. Coke and vibes worked. I don't know why they stopped handing it out. I I am flabbergasted that this is real. I'm flabbergasted and yet not at all surprised, unfortunately. We need to trick them into thinking the 19th is for guns. <laughs> It's okay, the global amount of white women goes down rapidly. Sins of the father will totally not end in bad things as people go, I will be the villain you think I am, right? Right, dude? My minor tangent, bronze lump! Thank you for the 10 pounds. What you don't understand is why these people or any people are so hooked on communism when it obviously does not work. What's the angle? What do they get out of it? <laughs> Because the people pushing it know that communism doesn't work as the way that it's broadcast to try and terraform. They want to be the elite ruling class. And all of the useful idiots who push this for them also believe that they will have a place at the ruling class table when they are done ushering in the utopia and ridding the earth of the undesirables. Communism is a scam, point blank. These people fall for it. They get to feel like good people. And not only do they get to feel like good people, but they get to feel powerful while doing it. So it's a it's a huge draw. Gorbs, thank you for the five pounds. White men are here, what do I do? If you truly value diversity, how about nothing? True and real. Black Hat 0061, thank you for the 499. Reminder chat, Toriyama based Frieza on a real estate speculator and agents, homie new. Wait, actually, is that a real thing? White man has arrived. Yes, what the fuck? <laughs> he did scatter. White men could be here. It's this is actually true. That's wild. That's wild that Frieza is based on real estate agents. Real estate agents truly are the most evil. A pickle the cute can, they're thinking the five dollars. You're listening to them. What are they saying? What's the purpose of all these words? I do not get whatever their point is. Uh, yeah, these people speaking goobledy gook is, uh, it's, cr it's weird to try and understand them. 
James Foss, thank you for the five dollars. If you remember the vid of the black chick who tried to hold on to that white dude for having dreads, you're 90% sure you went to school with her. I think I vaguely remember that video. I think I vaguely remember that. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to say, I feel like if you're a white person and you want to have dreads, that's like your prerogative. I don't think it looks attractive on you though. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a white person with dreads that looks attractive because it's like the hair texture just doesn't, it just doesn't work, you know? Like you can, you can go for it if you really want. I don't give a shit. It's just not gonna look good. No, no, a specific real estate agent. Oh wait, a specific one? Oh, I don't know the specific one. Looks like hairballs that the cat puked. Yeah, like dreads on, on black people, they can look really nice because they have the hair texture to have them. Dreads are gross. If I think about the process of how dreads are made, I get grossed out, but like, I think they can still look decent on on black people. <laughs> Only guy you knew with dreads was a metalhead. Evil Mandrake, thank you for the member. Thank you, thank you. I want to tell you that Keith Flint from Prodigy didn't look good with dreads. I don't remember what he looks like, but if he's white, I'm probably gonna say he didn't. Uh, what's what's his name? If I can, I lost your comment. Keith, Keith, <laughs> Keith something. <sighs> Vikings had dreads and they look dope. Uh, they're difficult to wash, so they stink. I've lost the comment. F uh, Keith Flint, Flint, prodigy, dreadlocks. I mean, this guy looks horrendous at- no! What? You think this looks good? You think- You think this looks good? Man, what? Man, what? <laughs> that looks horrifying! The worst she can say is no! I can't believe someone in chat said this looks good! <laughs> Celts and Nords would braid their hair. That's not the same as dreads. Yeah, braiding, braiding is very different. Why does this man have shoelaces on his head? I look, I, I, I guess it looks better than like a fucking Sonic evil villain. What is it, Dr. Eggman hairstyle? But like, fuck man. None of, none of this looks good. None of this, I, I listened to Prodigy. I just didn't know what any of them looked like. Hot damn. <laughs> The man has the look of a fire starter. <laughs> White women with dreads are hilarious. Oh man. Don't dis egg bro. He's got the hair of a deranged clown. Back here. We're going back here. <gasps> Jin Pachiro, thank you for the two dollary doodles. Mama Ocho. Uh, your fans told me that I was talking about Bridge. Can I give you a brief synopsis? Trying to learn more in the Gamergate 2 world. Thank you for the five dollary doodles. I have a VOD on my Bridge stuff. Uh, I don't know if any of the Bridge stuff is going to be in uh, the Sweet Baby VOD, but Ziz is slapping together a Sweet Baby VOD. Oh, thank God we have that Bridge command. Thank you, guys. Thank you, mods. You're the best. I, I love the Jannies. <laughs> What's after the bridge ramp? Incline, maybe? Hopefully fighting back! Did Kirsha say Vidya with the dreads guy stop by the black lady? That's what we were talking about, what do you mean? Not an FBI, thank you for the two- Ah! Women's rights were a mistake. I wish I could disagree with you, but I have nothing intelligent to say as a response. <laughs> Somerled, thank you for the five euro! This seems to be a way for them to exist in a world that didn't want them in the first place, like parasites. It's hard to blame them for surviving. Yeah, but what do we do with parasites? We eradicate them. Halo5678, thank you for the five dollary doodles. Notice how this went from let's have a conversation to shut the fuck up and listen. I'm gonna- I'm gonna do a U-turn for a second. I just- I just realized what I said, what it sounded like. I'm not advocating. I'm not advocating for violence. I was- <laughs> We do eradicate parasites, so I don't think we should be calling these people parasites, since that is what happens when you- when you find a pet too late. Oh, arresting pepperonis! It's already been taken out of context! You get to see a single person with dreads who isn't perpetually on weed or other drugs. I've never met a single white person with dreads who isn't, like, just always high. <laughs> I've already heard the call, Jesus Christ. Shut up, chat, you fucking freaks. 
Jordan Gant, thank you for the two dollars. Is this what childless women do? Scary stuff. You gotta put a baby in a woman to keep them sane. Uh, hopefully even then they don't go crazy like we see frequently nowadays. Call them parasites, given their way, they'll destroy the host. I mean, that's true. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yomo Tallman, thank you for the 499. I wonder if the minimum required awareness of what goes on around not being realized until we're adults raises depression amongst young adults. The minimum required awareness of what goes on around not being realized until we're adults raises depression. I'm not really sure what that's trying to say, but I think young adults don't notice things because they just don't need to care. I'm not realizing what the fuck that means! Danny D, they give you the 499. It's simple. They need more or they need to tax more of your money, you to fix inequalities of the world. Do not do not tax me anymore. Taxes hate. Tank rat, thank you for the 50 AED. I'm just gonna imagine IEDs whenever I read that. Yeah! Help! When they remodeled your workshop in the US Air Force, they had to build a handicapped bathroom by local law. If you were handicapped, you're not working on an aircraft. What if what if you were handicapped in a different way, right? Like like, what if you had a heart condition? That, that you can legally be handicapped if you have, like, a pacemaker. Would you be allowed to work on an aircraft if you had a pacemaker? As long as you're not flying? Would that, would that be... Would you be allowed? I don't know. Taxes hate. Please give me another bumper sticker. Tim Combs, thank you for the $5. Why do they keep saying the work? They keep tiptoeing around what they're actually talking about, and it only makes it sound more like ministry. Because they have to tiptoe around it. Because if they just boldface took the entire mask off, everybody would know exactly what they mean when they say these buzzwords. Instant denial at the MEPs. Oh, okay. Your ass is not in the military if you have heart problems. Who is complaining about the bigger handicapped stall? I always use the handicapped stall <laughs> if, I, if I have to pee pee in public. But I try my best to not because I don't like using public bathrooms. Caramel the rabbit person, thank you for the $2. You're late again, send help, don't worry. Today is a long ass stream, so you're not late. Spider dude, thank you for the $5. You're a lighter skinned Mexican compared to your brother. Does that mean your crutch is disabled while your bro is wheelchair disabled? Comparatively. I don't really know how the skin tone scale works anymore. It keeps changing, man. And you have the right to use the special stall. <laughs> Normal stall ends up with your elbows touching on the brown streaked walls. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Kaiser of a million, they give the $20 doodles. These witches are just uttering words to cast a spell that breaks focus. Also, these are the people who would unironically dismiss a person of color's live lived experience if it didn't fit their narrative. I ain't your token! True true and real if you if you disagree with this group think you're actually just the black face of right white supremacy right supremacy right away <laughs> as a light skin you'll never be black enough for anything i was like i i just genuinely don't understand i i, I don't think i could possibly right because like i could only get it explained to me the whole idea of like light skin privilege that seems to exist i do i do not get it man Light-skinned Latino need to find the nearest dark-skinned Latino. <laughs> or else! We all know that there is no higher authority than a person of color's lived experience, TM! Unless it disagrees with your thoughts, obviously. They banned your skin tone in Harvard? I'm sorry that you're Asian. <laughs> Can Kirsch's elbows even touch? Why wouldn't they be able to be touching? Question mark. If you disagree with them, you get your black card revoked. <laughs> you lost your black card because you didn't vote blue. Unlucky. Un unlucky. Your, me your melanin retreated immediately as you voted for the wrong person. <laughs> Jin Rollins, thank you for the five dollars. Must be a monster since you hold doors for everybody. How dare you. You sicken me with your niceties and your courtesy. <laughs> Andre, thank you for the 20. Knock? Press X to doubt. Can I knock instead? I don't know what's happening. 
I don't know, it's how they harvest the melanin for the sleeping pills. Real. That's why Gamer Subs doesn't have melanin in the sleeping supplements. They got magnesium for good sleep and big gums. Use code Kirsha for 10% off. <laughs> oh, God. Flat Kier. The elbow touching is a VTuber meme to trick Chubas into revealing if they have big booba. Oh, I never thought about it that way. Cause like, couldn't you just like raise your arms above your head and then touch your elbows that way? <laughs> Zinc is for big cums. Magnesium also helps the big cums. Heard that VOD earlier today. Why must you tempt me? <laughs> Try it, go ahead. No, I'm reading thank yous. Radstorm, thank you for the $2. Starting to miss the battery sounding tangents. Occasionally that'll happen. Jen Rollins, thank you for the $5. We talk about how we can reenact the Battle of Athens in our table. We need to we need to have talks about the dinner table. Marcus Aurelius, thank you for the two dollars. How dare you show up on time for work? How how dare you want to reenact the Roman Empire? Why can't I touch my elbows over my head? <laughs> for Chanimal, thank you thank you for the five dollars. Don't know if you've heard, Jimbo's gonna strap on his oxygen tank and take a stroll down memory lane this evening. I did! I was watching, probably. Sergeant Bick, thank you for the five dollars. The flaw with intersectionality that Jordan Peterson pointed out is that by the time you hit the sixth or seventh identity, you become an oppressor. True. True and real. The Battle of Athens happened in the United States, actually. Spurn down Atlanta again, it's okay. Can you touch your elbows behind your back? Probably not. Pro probably not. <laughs> I've never tried, but that seems like it wouldn't make sense in my mind. When people showed up on time to man the factories for war production in America in World War II, that was white supremacy? Yes. It was It was actually just a white supremacist versus white supremacist war. It hurts. You don't know if it's possible. <laughs> Battle of Athens was an interesting event. It should be taught in U.S. history class. You like watching Oshi on the weekends. Oh, Oshi on the weekends. Sounds like it'd be a funny show name. IRL, you do the behind the back trick to make the girl press their booba forward and prominently. Oh, oh, I guess that's a way to trick uh, the, uh, women with brain cells uh, as low as mine. <laughs> Rob Sham, thank you for the member. And Robert Saunders, thank you for the member. James Foss, thank you for the two dollar doodles. Dear God, thank you for showing us mercy. I don't know what I did. Synapse, thank you for the five. Arr. Demore was right all along. I don't know who Demore is. DRT is king. Thank you for five dollars. Google runs YouTube at a significant loss to control the narrative as it's its second largest search tool online. It runs like Adeptus Terra. Well, I don't know what Adeptus Terra is, but yeah, when you're a big monopoly boppoly like that, you can kind of just do whatever you want with the information. Does that mean we can trick you into trying to touch your elbows together? No, shh. Google guy said men and women bias different careers. Yeah. Yeah. Account inactive. Thank you for the five dollars. Open stream. Shark coochie. All right, then. It has the shark coochie board that you put the meats and the cheeses and the crankers on. And sometimes vegetables. What the fuck? La la. Thank you for the five dollars. Once you find someone to turn you into PNG tuber, would I be game for a club about DEI in Vermont government and its local government? I know nothing about Vermont, so I would be learning... Quite a lot in that case. Hello, Steph. Adeptus Terra is the Earth branch of the Warhammer 40k secret police. Oh, okay. Immediately deleted his account. <laughs> the shark coochie was too much for him. He couldn't handle it. Spider Dude 93, thank you for the two dollars. Hogwarts list good. Sweet baby list bad. Disappointed face. Mm. My my time. Oh, thank you for the 333 in the morning, comrade. We we ride at dawn. Keystrix, thank you for the two dollars. Just saw SBI dissing Toriyama in his death. Fuck him. Yeah, that's a really weird thing to do. Imagine getting unbanned and the first thing you do is to shit on someone who is beloved all around the world immediately after they die. Like, what is wrong with the swear babu people? Please, dude. Rider 1964, thank you for the 199. They are straight up evil. True! Welcome back, Goofy Slayer. How do you know you failed already? It's a slow process to turn a whammon into a wife. So, you know, one day at a time, Goofy Man. 
came to give a compliment. If you had to give me something, it would be a mirror, because after this world, the most beautiful thing is my reflection. Oh, Mr. Muffins. It's very kind of you, but I am inflicted with the virtual Parkinson's. My skin is very old and chiseled. <laughs> I bet they're on a Mexican cartel death list now. Saka Alpaca, they give the 500 yen. Get her the hell away from Wolverine! It's too late. Wolverine has been paused. Chiseled. Sergeant Buck, they give the $5. A game for everyone is a game for no one. Arrowhead Game Studios, devs of Helldivers 2. You know, as much as that game doesn't interest me, every time you guys talk about the devs, they gotta sound based. Hope you're doing great today. You're all awesome and fantastic. Great to see all you guys. Thank you, Keg. Thank you, Keg Tamashi. You cute baby. Not a sweet baby, but a cute one. <laughs> the devs banned someone for asking for LGBT capes based. Ryder 1964, thank you for the 199. Will not be buying any of these games. I don't know what that little tiny thing is, but yeah, true. Blank face, one. Thank you for the five dollars. You don't adopt a dog to shit on a carpet, but if it does, you can't pretend it's not there. True. I hate it when my roommate's dog shits on the carpet. It makes me very upset. Ghost, 1995. Thank you for the ten dollar doodles. Hey, sweet baby, I'm black and I hate all your games. <laughs> Love your streams, care to keep up the great work and tell the truth. Thank you. Thank you. What's that? What's that song where there's like, I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm blickety blickety, I'm black, y'all. Am I doing it right? Is that the lyrics? Do I remember this song? <laughs> I thought I would share a bit of history. There were two battles of Thermopylae. That's the entire the song. First one That's is what it. The movie 300 quote unquote is about. The second battle was Greeks winning a battle against Germany in World War II before they lost Greece to them. <laughs> it's from the movie CB4. Oh, God. Showing your age with that, you shut up, vibes. <laughs> That's exactly what popped into your head, too. It's because he, he full capitalized the black and I'm black. I was like, oh, no, that song, it's happening. Number three, brown lady. <laughs> bully, bully cat. Thank you for the hundred biddies. Don't let chat gaslight you. The Helldiver devs ban anyone wanting something political or agenda driven. Left, right, or center doesn't matter. Straight to jail. Well, I mean, good. If they don't want any kind of politics happening in their game, like, they have every right to ban people trying to inject it, which, like, good. Who cares? <laughs> Kirsha's singing stream went, I can't sing. To be clear, the Helldiver 2 dev cited a rule of don't bring politics into the game, a very even-handed and rational method. Yeah, I agree. I agree, dude. It's a super Earth, not Earth. <laughs> a Wu-Tang song. I'm gay. I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. Ma na 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 ma ma ma. That's also that's also a banger. That song is 31 years old. Holy shit! That song is ancient. <laughs> that song is ancient. Anti-form taco. Well, they should make an example of Swear Babu, so respectable devs don't fall for that shit and fight back their management and/or investors. I agree, but also some of the devs are also the problem. Because they- some devs do not need to get bullied into hiring companies like Swear Babu. They willingly want to work with them for the better ESG scores. <laughs> Used to play Magicka, you had no idea. Kirsten Dunsvid, I can sing fine. No, I can't. <laughs> Indiana Bowling, they give the 1399 Canadians. <gasps> Been on a horrible spending spree lately, and it's only gonna get worse because you're going to Florida for the March break. I bought a pot recently, and by a pot, I mean a pitcher. And by a pitcher, I mean an early 19th century pitcher from England that is in almost mint condition. It is very beautiful, and I will never use it. I love it. You went AFK. You were like commenting on the white girl talking about white attitudes. There's a scripture that reads, If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing this, he will heap fiery coals on his head. In other words, kindness and dignity disarm and humiliate the aggressive and senseless and can bring them to their senses. So they try to make their enemies lash out, but there is no chance of their own members having an epiphany. Well, there's also the problem where if you, if you are too nice for too long, that will be exploited and they will see you as weak and thus easily, easily conquerable. She's buying illegal street drugs again. It's not an illegal street drug! It's it's a it's a it's an artifact! You're expecting it to be a lecture. No. No. I'd probably put that on throne again, to be fair. 
I got an Instant Pot for Christmas last year. You legitimately use it all the time. God damn. CG Man 19, thank you for the five dollars. If I don't mind discussing, what are my feelings on AI is le bad and evil discourse? You feel it's a bit cultish yourself. I talked about that at the beginning of stream because I think the people attacking Peba are fucking idiots. <laughs> Honestly, I think I think you should be able to use AI for personal pursuits, but don't sell something to make money off of AI. That's TLDR my opinion. Spider Dude 93, thank you for the five dollars. There's a Steam curator called Does It Have Denuvo, and that's also a way to avoid games that have it. It's not harassment to be informed. True and real. Writer 1964, thank you for the 199. You despise game journalists. You think you do, but you don't despise them enough. You can always hate them even more. Hey kid, you wanna buy some Greek antiques? <laughs> I know how to get in with the fox. We need to buy her old Victorian era stuff. Yes, please! It's so beautiful! I... I am obsessed with the fact that Fabergé eggs exist and that there's only like 46 Fabergé eggs to still exist in the world and that several of those Fabergé eggs have not yet been found. So somewhere in someone's attic or in someone's basement or buried in someone's coffin or at a flea market randomly in the world, there's an authentic Fabergé egg just waiting for someone who actually knows what they are to find them. And that, that thought is what keeps me going sometimes. How exciting is that, chat? How exciting is it that there are Fabergé eggs that haven't been found yet? Or it got dropped and thrown away. Fuck you! No, I will not eat the black pills! A what egg? Fabergé. The house of Fabergé was a renowned craftsman. I want to say it was in Russia. Are those the piss eggs? Fuck you, buddy. National treasure Fabergé heist. If I ever found a Fabergé egg, I I don't know what I would do. I would have like a little happiness dance. I would get all giddy. I would rub it against my booba. I would probably go home and furiously masturbate. Like, oh my God. I would I would be so fucking excited if I found one of those. The last the last Fabergé egg to have been sold sold for like millions of fucking dollars, and it was the Rothschilds Fabergé egg. Jesus, 33 mil. You know, someone who would decorate ostrich eggs to be very fancy. Not original, but pretty. I'm increasing the price point of this egg by the second. Most were destroyed by the commies. I know, that's why there's only 46 left. Gustave Fabergé. I love saying his name. Maybe I can find one of his ancestors and marry them just to have the last name. Maybe that's what I should do. Instead of searching for the eggs, I should search for the egg crafters. You would masturbate with the, No, not with the egg, just because I found it. <laughs> Insert the last egg. No, what is wrong with you? Your family has like three, what the fuck? They're probably not real Fabergé eggs. You wonder if they're all floating around out there and they just got sold because none of the people could identify an authentic egg would ever do anything. So plebeian as a tend to flea market. I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe have their baby, then you would be part of the bloodline. <gasps> if a Fabergé got me pregante, would I then be the holder of a special Fabergé egg? Cadbury eggs are pretty cool too! <laughs> In the 1830s, Gustave Fabergé moved to St. Petersburg to train as a goldsmith under Andreas Ferdinand Spiegel, who specialized in making gold boxes. Later, he continued his training with the celebrated firm of Keeble, goldsmiths and jewelers to the Tsars. In 1841, his apprenticeship over, Gustave Fabergé earned the title of Master Goldsmith. You know, that'd probably be one of the first things I would do if I had a time machine. I would time machine back to talk to Gustave Fabergé and be like, could you make me? A specialty Fabergé egg. I want, I want only the bloodiest of Tanzanites imported from Africa. <laughs> you looked up Fabergé eggs, you think you know a certain person who has one? It's either authentic or a very convincing fake? Probably a very convincing fake. 
Fab Fabergé eggs were so fucking popular, there's like hundreds of thousands of imitation work because people loved collecting them. You can you can find gajillions of like imitation Fabergé eggs. Can you offer me an egg in these trying times? <laughs> They're jade eggs, fancy but wrong egg. Yeah, this is humans throughout history have a fascination with eggu and eggu shaped object. <laughs> In 1885, Tsar Alexander III commissioned the House of Fabergé to make an Easter egg as a gift for his wife, the Empress Maria Feodorinova. Its shell is enameled on gold to represent a normal hen's egg. This pulls apart to reveal a golden yolk, which in turn opens to produce a gold chimkin, from which a miniature ruby egg was suspended. Although the crown and the miniature egg have been lost, the rest of the hen egg, as it is known, is now in... NOW IN... Chimkin. If we had two Fabergé eggs, we can replace the fox whose ovaries with that. If we had two Fabergé eggs, I could buy, like, everyone in chat a house. <laughs> like, that, that is a ridiculous amount of money. Is this what childless hags fascinate over? This is this is an IRL side quest chat. First man to find the missing Fabergé egg gets my hand in marriage. <laughs> oh yeah, look up the goop vaginal speaker. Nope, I don't want to look up goop again. I'm done. I'm done with that woman. <laughs> Rad storm. Thank you for the two dollars. Another day, another five hour swear babu stream. Rider 1964. Thank you for the 199. Time to go on the warpath. We're warring! You'll be a member of the branch Kirshidians. Oh my god. What about a sizable dowry? Kirsha has nice hands, so a Kirsha hand in marriage means you're only getting one of the best hands. Well, the, the whole body is also attached to the hand. I'm not, I'm not cutting my hand off. The egg is worth 315 million channel points. <laughs> Or Ismador, they give you the 100 biddies, the collection of Victor Vekelsberg and of Cold Acid. What? What did he mean by this? Everyone suddenly leaves stream. Cult of Personality, thank you for the 15 dollary doodles. Gamely Braved, what the F? It was a publicly open Discord. She didn't Agent 47 her way into some secret lair. This guy can go on the wall. I, I love the rhetoric that she infiltrated the public Discord server. And not even, not even getting into a locked channel, right? Like, if she had lurked around, not with her real name and not outing herself as a Kotaku journalist, and she got into, like, secret channel tunnels and was able to observe them in their natural habitat, I, I'd be like, okay, you can use the word infiltrated there. Like, I'll, I'll give you that one. But it wasn't even that! <laughs> Reminder that the difference between conspiracy theories and reality nowadays is about six months. Genuine question, who are these articles written for? Probably the sake of fans, because like, who else is going to fucking believe it? First, it was kill a moose with your bare hands. Now it's find the extremely rare multi-million dollar egg. I'm just the final boss of an MMO, except instead of beating me up with swords and spears, you fuck me. <laughs> ASMR point of view, you found the Fabergé egg. Fox, who's your waifu and your Oshi. Triplets on the way. Yet she's still telling you that the Chimkin Nugget Rendezvous was never real. You have to give up trying to earn it. You have a real family. Stop asking for more cubes. She's begging you. <laughs> a pickled cucumber! Thank you for the five dollars. You want these people to join you in the weld shop for just one day. You'd love to see their reactions to the convos that go down, let alone the work. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna make a glass jar. I would love to go to a, a glass making facility where they put the, the goopy gumby glass on the giant metal rod and then they shwoo, shwing, shwash, shwoo, it all around until it turns into like an actual object shape. Gonna put together a crew to find an egg like it's one piece. Luxon, thank you for the three month member. Projection so high that you had to wear your anti radiation suit. Also, stay angry! Do not let the anger leave you. If the anger leaves you, you lose the will to fight. You know some glass blowers? That's what they're called! Thank you, Murr! Thank you, Murr! I forgot what they were called. The one egg is real! 
A BB death. Thank you for the two month member. Hi, I'm new here. Trademark. Thank you. Agent Warlock. Thank you for the dollary doodle. Free dollar. No message. <laughs> A James Foss. Thank you for the two dollary doodles. Cult of personality. Thank you for two dollary doodles. Build the wall. Yes, for the Canadians. The Canadians are truly the ones we need to keep out. User unknown. What the heck? I don't know if that's like an actual anomaly or if that's their actual name. <laughs> Thank you for the $10. It gets worse. Infinite Emma was the indie game dev company ran by Alec, who created Night in the Woods. His sister inherited the company after his death. We know. We went over that. Thank you. And cult of personality. Thank you for the twenty dollar doodles. Way back machine entries for weird ghosts say the resources for this project are donated by Infinite Ammo Inc. Either they want to make people think Infinite Ammo isn't the big bad, or they've been hiding their main investor the whole time. Well, as we saw in my stream, they also changed their investment message uh, on on their website. They changed it from uh, our our sole investor is Infinite Ammo to our minority investor. And I went over what the, uh, what the economy man said about that change in wording as well. They're just trying to obfuscate things. Harness your anger like a great forge. The sword of your vengeance shall be shaped on the anvil of your will. That's a, that's a pretty, that's a pretty, it's like a video game quote. <laughs> I'm for creatine! Thank you for the five dollars. Bang! Hey, yo, Bang, Kirsha, like you're fighting God as the final boss of a JRPG. I guess I better find out which ominous Latin chant to Brigagante, the fox suit to. Ominous Latin chanting is a weird way to get knocked up, but you know what? Maybe your child will be a prodigy. Death Admirals, thank you for the six months of prune. Been six months, but you feel like this is the time you have to warn me that you were born early. Thank you for the tangents and the knowledge. It's okay, you'll be born right on time with me. Radstorm, thank you for two dollars. What do you mean you have more? It's been four hours! That's every stream. That's every stream! And speaking of every stream... I want to get to the peppermint patty man. I want to. I want to get to the peppermint patty man. We've got. We've gone through some thank yous, but we're getting. We're getting to the peppermint patty man now. It's peppermint patty man time. <laughs> My bitrate on Twitch says it's really fucking bad for some reason, and I don't know why. I know it's not really fucking bad because I don't have any dropped frames, but like, Twitch struggling right now. <laughs> Hello. If you don't love the Foxu, are you really alive? Good question. I think it's R P C S three. Don't you think it's time for some video games, Zach? Chat isn't donating enough bits. What do you mean, Skilky? What do you mean? Look at look at how high voltage my fairy wand is. Have you eaten anything yet? I eat it. Fourteen. My bit rate is low. Oh! oh! You were making a joke, but I was too dumb to get it. <laughs> oh, that sounding rod is energized. Oh my god. Please don't call my widget goal a sounding rod. I can't change its appearance. <laughs> Is there going to be an apple crushing competition? Yes. I would like you to grip strength train until my stream anniversary in November, where you will crush apples for my viewing pleasure. Came by here a few times last this year. Boy, fuck <laughs> along. One of those streams being the Donathon. Where I reviewed the hands, hell yeah. You have weird apple crushing fetishes, woman. I just want to know how strong you are. Instead of a star in the center, it should be a musical note to signify sounding. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Grip strength training means we got to be careful when we pick up a Fabergé egg. Yes, but that means that you'll know how to control your level of strength. You will be giant and muscular. And you could crush a small chicken with your hands, but you won't. Because you are also soft at heart. You know when to be delicate instead of releasing your energy. I'm like, I'm like writing for a women's erotic novel right now. <laughs> you thought a DSP comment would be funny? Oh my god. 
<laughs> I think I'm done with women. What do you mean? Crush the chicken for the sacrificial rites. Soft hand, hot hand. Isn't that more of a technique thing, like tearing phone books? Well, you, you still have to have good grip strength, you know? As someone who started sculpting with clay before doing digital 3D, bring it on! Oh, I was never good at sculpting with clay. I'm kind of brain damaged. You were strong? And then your arms decided to pain? What did he mean by this? Be like a crab. Hard on the outside, soft on the inside. Crab claw, all the assailants, man. Man, Deadly Premonition has so much fucking startup. Um, I don't remember if I do game capture or if I do love, love Joe Biden. Oh God, I love saying the name of that game. Are you a game capture or are you a window capture? I don't remember. I don't remember. Load the game. Well, I guess clearly. Previously, during the investigation. Previously, oh no, I gotta find it. Ah. Uh, to know about uh, Wait. She's still alive. Stop right there, Nick. Yeah. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Emily, hurry. You hurry. Saved my life. No need to thank me for that. You were pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. BGM still on. You're right. You're right and true. You're right and true. All right, I'm going to I'm going to remove the widget for now since we don't need to look at that. <gasps> remove a widget. -o. All right. I did something here. I did something here. Now we're looking at the map. Now we're looking at the map. That's a fishy with the crown. There's a boner. Um. I wish I could zoom out farther on the map. Um, if I go back to town, there's Emily and Nick. And Nick is a game boy and Emily has food. So let's try to go back there. Because I think it was the red people. The red people have quests, right? What the fuck is that icon? I think it's the red people who have quests. So... I'm here. I need to go back to the road. And I take a... Right. And then I take another right. And then I take... A left. So right, right, left. Okay, I got this. I got this. Where's my, where's my car? Oh no. What do you mean, oh no? Did I do it wrong? <laughs> She's gonna get lost! Wait, what do you mean? Are we midnight streaming again? Yes, I am determined to beat- Oh, that's forward! I almost- Oh god, there we go. There we go. Okay, I gotta go- Okay, well, this isn't the way I want it to go, but it, it'll work. Woman driver directions. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, Why is the race still there? I beat the race. I don't need to do it again. So why is it... Why is it there? Alright, so... I gotta take a right here. Because the left is the dead end. So... Where shall we go next? <laughs> I didn't hit the wall. I'm nuts. Improve your time. Why? Why is Kirsha ASMR down? What do you mean by this? What do you mean by this? Ooh, there's like a... There's like a ramp over there. What does that mean? Okay, and then we take this right? Please leave hazard lights on at all time to alert the other road users that a woman is driving. I don't... I don't have lights in this car. It's not a police car. Wait, is that a sat nav? How do I have- Oh god, hold on. How do I have computer navigation in a car in a game this old? Okay, and then... I think I gotta go- Oh, I think I gotta go this way? And then this will be into town? I forgot which way I was supposed to go, but I think it was this way. Wait, that looks like a dead end. Okay, hold on, I'm lost. I'm lo hold on, hold on, I'm lost. 
okay, no, I'm, go I'm going the right way. I just turned a little too soon. And then after I get back on the main road, I'm gonna one, two, and then the second way I turn... I, oh, that's just right. That's just- I turn right. I turned right twice and turned left both times? Does it matter if I got where I needed to go, though? Your cousin married a bogan Westy metalhead? Who turned out to be the love child of an Italian bloodline and they have a bunch of Fabergé eggs, apparently? What the fuck? If they actually have real Fabergé eggs, they are rich as fuck. The political seesaw of directions. It was made about 10 years ago. I don't remember seeing many, many computer TVs in the car for GPS navigations back then. Oh god, I fished hell! Oh god, that was scary. That was, that was actually scary. Is this the second one? I think this is the second one. I think. I think. No? No, because this is the police station, so did I- did I turn early? Did I- did I turn early? Hold on. Yeah, but you were poor as shit! Hey, yo, that's rude, but true! Okay, no, this is the right place. Okay, so... Em Emily and Nick. Why is Nick there? Oh, because he got arrested! That's right! Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I need to get gas soon. I don't- I don't know how to get gas. Emily time. Free food! They were in rich person cars. Did you want to go somewhere before we visit Harry? I, I remember someone having a BMW and he didn't even have it in his car. We're, we're fucking gaming, bro. We're gaming. Being a fed means you can drive like you're drunk and high. True! You have to sleep? Have a good night, red man. No, no one? Do I get free sandwiches? Is there ever gonna be anything inside here? GPS became fairly common in the late 2000s. Huh. I've... I've been in very, very, very few cars that had GPS in them. How am I supposed to know where the people I want to talk to are? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing the chef man who won't let me into his kitchen is downstairs in the cells. Woman? You're really going to see Harry? I have no idea what you're thinking at a time like this. But you know, Thomas is still missing. What should we do for lunch? That's... Shows how much she cares about Thomas, eh? Why don't you make it for us? M me? Well, okay, I'll try. Wait, why are there creepy noises? Why was there a creepy noise all of a sudden? Nice weather in the afternoon, but cloudy in the afternoon. At least it's not raining. Also, I said afternoon twice instead of nice in the morning. Help! Oh, it says don't open. <laughs> Scare cord of food poisoning. But, but it made my tummy hungry go up, which means down. Alright, so now I gotta go downstairs. Also, man, chat, I have had a headache since yesterday midstream, and my head does not feel so good. My head's got like this just slow, constant pounding. I hate it. Zach, stummy heart. Oh, this is the shooting range. This isn't where they keep the bad guys. Take some Excedrin? 
I don't think I've heard that word since I was a child. Like, literally under double-digit age. Alright, that's a pillowcase. There's no man there. There's no... no man here. Yeah, this... this... the cell is weird. I wanna inspect. I wanna investigate. Shit's weird. Oh, there's a secret door. There's a secret door in here. Okay, well, the secret door isn't real. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. I was- I was hoping I could remove bed and go through the secret door. You get migraines too, you just drink lots of water? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Get that mattress! Fuck you, buddy. Probably shouldn't try to get in here. Can I not talk to him? Ah, here we go. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Happy that you've got your man? No, no. I'm not, I'm not your man. I'm just a suspect. Nick. <laughs> I didn't do it. Okay. Actually, I believe you. What? But until we catch the real murderer... You're going to remain a prime suspect. What's going to happen to me then? Never mind. I'm more worried about Olivia. How's she doing? Well, she thinks she's married to a murderer, so probably not very good. Come on, say something. I'm giving up on you. I can't tell you anything. If that's the case... Could... Could you hand her a letter? Please? Only if I get to read Agent it first. You don't mind me inspecting it first. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Only this once, Nick. Thank you. Thanks. A letter laced with anthrax. Tell her I'm sorry, will you? For what? Nick, you need to do that. Oh, yeah, he was Not cheating him. on her. I forgot about that. Nick, in prison, has asked you to take a letter to Olivia for him. She's holed herself up at home, so take the letter from Nick to her. Okay, but like... How do I read it? How do I... How do I read it? Item. I... Oh, it would be a... A side item, right? A girl in the woods, there's a dumbbell, there's Nick. Letter from Nick. This game's gay, I can't actually inspect it. Woman can't read, what do you mean? Assume you read it when you get to the house, but what's the point in that? She's there! My sister in Christ, it isn't a goddamn private letter. Isn't that kind of not good? What? Well, I literally just told him I have to inspect it if he wants me to deliver it. What do you mean? Okay. I need to find gas for my car. Gas, gas, gas. How's Cheems Ball and Company doing? Che James Ball was sleeping in Ziggy's cat tower last night before I went to bed. And he rolled over and fell out of the tower. <laughs> He's so dumb! He's so dumb. I love him. Where's the gas station? Oh, there's so many red people now. Sally Graham? Olivia Kormick? Brian's house? Oh, big lady. Lily Ingram. Why is Lily so big? 
Where's the fucking gas? I imagine there would be like a gas icon, right? Where? Where is gas? Where? That's a lot of fish. What is this? Greenvale Forest Park? Yeah, but like, why is it red? Why is there a red icon here? Oh, no, no! Ah! Are we doing side quests Sunday? I'm trying to find gas! I need to get gas the fuck up! Does, does gas, like, not have an icon on the map? Am I crazy? Gas station is in town? Could've fucking fooled me. I can't find no fucking gas station. There's a race here that I could do. Can 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 go do, can do, can go do the race. You've been there? No, I haven't. I can't zoom out. This is as far out as I can zoom. Oh god. Oh god, that's not zoom, that's... that's big. What is this pizza box? Okay. Wait. Quint Dunn. Oh, he's just walking around too. It's on January way? Wait, is there only one gas station in the whole game? Inscribe? Larry 65? Those are telephones. Community Center, Deer Yard Hotel, Galaxy of Taror. It's- it's Sweary? I thought Sweary was the biker bar. Muse's Gallery, Becky's house? Becky, let me smash. It's me. Brian's house, Usha's house, Sigourney's house. All the briary. It's heaven and hell? Okay. January. Wait, so I'm. I'm this way. I think. Jan January. No, that's where I need to go. One gas station is both understandable and also annoying. That's. that's where. Okay, okay. So I need to... I need to... Drive out of the police station. And then check the map again, because I won't know where I am. <laughs> go backwards? Right way to go the wrong way? I went the wrong way anyways. Okay, and then I think if I go this way... <gasps> What happens if you run out? You have to pay a fee to get the car, uh, towed. Okay, and then I think, then I think it's this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then I go this way. Wait, where's the big woman? This big woman? Lily Ingram. Wait. Wait, where am I? I'm here. Lily Lily Ingram and then Oh, that's Hamilton way. Is it this way? I can't handle it when the map rotates, chat. I can't. Poland Ridge Jet. Okay, so I just go. How did I manage to get into a position where I just gotta go straight? Also, there's a card next to me. There's a, there's a card in here. Hold on, that's backwards. How do I get this car? How do 
do I get this car? I don't know. Maybe maybe it's from that race. So I'll have to come back and do that. You can't see anything in your head and you read maps. You can navigate better than me. I have a very vivid brain, but I can't read map. If you turn your camera north before you open your map, it'll be like it never rotates. But how do I know which way is north? This is your last resort. What do you mean? There's no letter N for north. Oh, wait, hold on. There's like... There's like a thing here. Okay. And then... Okay, I go across the bridge. I go across the bridge, and then it'll just be on the left. She parks in the middle of the road. I mean, no one's gonna hit me. I'm an FBI agent. If they hit me, I get to kill them. That's just how that works. See the compass in the top left? That's where north is? There's my heart in the top left. Of the map screen, top left is a compass with north. Top top left is the time, isn't it? Am I high? Top left of minimap. That's the time! What do you mean? Not, no, on the big map screen, not the mini map. Well, it doesn't help me if it's on the big map screen, because then I have to open it to find where north is. <laughs> I made it to the gas station. I'm gonna fuck this guy's wife. Fill her up. <laughs> Ew. Oh. oh! Okay, we're gonna refuel. Alright, I'm also gonna get a sexy car wash. Oh shit, it's not from his wife. Fuck! I got hairy armpit instead. Did he spit on my car? What the fuck? What is this? What is this hundred percent meter? What is that? I'm gonna give him a hundred dollars. Jack, here's the Ben Franklin you wanted. Give oh, it I'm to so me. fucking smooth. Be a little bit loop. Number 34, Benjamin Franklin. Hey there, Benjamin. I wanted to talk to you. Have you heard this yet? I'm not this compass. I'll tell you another what? one. I didn't, what? What? What did that say? Again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read. It was so fast. Zach, did you see that? No. It was as if we weren't here. I wonder what that was all about. What do you mean? Can you should know. You? you talk to Zach all the time. He talks to Ben Franklin. It's the same thing. Damn, old Ben is thirty-one spots down behind Brown Lady. Help. Bing. Okay. 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 No! No! No, I'm trying I'm trying to find the side quest! Uh. No. No. I guess. I guess I can't look at the side quest in here. I could have sworn there was a way that I could. I thought I could have sworn there was a way that I could. 
Because I want to... I, I don't know... I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Map? Oh, yeah, you're right. It is the map screen. You're so fucking smart. And a... There's this button. Yeah. How do I know which one I'm doing? A snack for Willy. Okay, that one's clear. That one's also clear. This one I'm in the middle of. Okay. Go to... Go to Olivia. So the red one... Jack at Heaven and Hell Gas wants a hundred dollar bills. Hey, don't we all? However, if you give him more than a thousand, he'll supposedly give you some really big info. Oh, so I just gotta keep paying him? I don't actually have to look for a dart gun? That's a little weird. Have you got a dart gun? Richard's ready to give the guy who beats his top score something real tasty, I hear. I don't have a dart gun, but maybe I should go play darts at the biker bar. But the biker bar is always closed, so how am I supposed to play darts? I think I might have to give him the 2001 go. It doesn't give me an option to. I can only pay him 100 at a time. Dart gun has nothing to do with that side mission. Can't get over the scary sting with the contrasting music. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, don't want to hit that man so cool he doesn't even look at me he doesn't need to look at me when he talks to me I'm getting back into town is down this road I'm fucking flying buddy that car is just parked on the grass that's weird that's weird okay um I think I- I think I go straight. When he comes out brave, when his wife comes out car wash. Will his wife eventually come on to me? Where? Oh, it's- it's here, okay. Okay, I found it. I'm proud of myself for getting gasoline for the first time in the game. After six car washes? Oh, so it's kind of like a punch card? Beep! 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 Okay. I'm assuming go this way? Hell yeah. Hell, now we got racing music, and I think it's gonna want me to turn. Oh god, why is it the opposite direction? Oh. Why is it the opposite direction? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Help, get me off the sidewalk. First deadly premonition was so good. The second was so bad. Boing! I wouldn't know. I haven't even beaten the first one yet. But we're trying. Boing! <laughs> this way. Hit it. Oh yeah, I was so right to slow down. I'm fucking nuts. I'm fucking nuts. Look at that air. Did you gonna miss your message? The way the side mission works, as well as some others, you can only pay him once per mission, so you can only swing by there after completing the current mission, or you can replay a previous mission and pay him during that. Okay, we're good. Don't worry about it. I didn't crash. <laughs> this is why you're not supposed to text and drive, chat! <laughs> You're glad this is the first game you get to see me play live. You like the goofy ass game, even though you've only watched it. It's a good game. It's a good fucking game. Bam! No! <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We gotta get into this parking lot. We gotta we gotta get in over there. Don't touch me! Yeah. There's some trees. All right, we're good. We're good. We're we're gaming. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beep beep. Which way? Which way? That way? Wait, no. This is, this is the shortcut that kills me. There's a fence there. <gasps> Chad, are you proud of me? My brain remembered something. Meow. 
Wait, no. That car threw me off. Lovely road trip with the Foxu! Ignore the sudden braking and almost crashes. Yeah, exactly. Beep, 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 beep! Uh, I'm probably gonna have to do this a second time, because I doubt I'm gonna be able to make it. Why are there so many fucking cars on the road?! Beep, beep! Beep, beep! To the right! Fuck! I can't get off the bush! I can't get off the bush! Okay, alright. What the fuck am I stuck on? What is this? There's nothing there! What is happening? <laughs> Forward. No. 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 <laughs> I think that was the last one too. I played sniper shot. Thank you for the two dollars. Have a good night. One blade of grass wasn't cut. That's garbage. I got robbed, chat. Unironically robbed out of my gourd. Fence too strong. I hate fences. All fence should be illegal in the in inner city limits. I like driving my boat. Boat best car. What's happening? Racing video game. Look it, I didn't go as far this time. I remembered that it wasn't straight. Yeah. We only hitting the gayest arrows out here. At least it wasn't my fault since the bush was invisible. It's stupid. It's stupid. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get some good time here. Oh shit. I thought I'd be able to just, like, go through that pole. The thing has the turning radius of a freight train! It do. It do for reals. Kirsha playing Gran Turismo would be fun. That was the first video game I ever played. Oh my god, look at that fishtail action! How terrifying! Get me, get me in here. Get me in here. We go straight. We're flying. A motherfucking flying. On stream first game? No, first game of my life was Gran Trismo. Biggie, biggie, biggie! I waste so much time when I overshoot the um gem tim. Okay, and then we need to we need to turn cautiously this way. And we're gonna keep turning because I'm a professional. I'm a professional turner. This one's straight, right? Yeah. Don't get tricked, don't shortcut. There's a fence there. I'm nuts. Um, freaking nuts. What way? Straight? We're good. We're going. We're, make we're making good time this time. Hopefully I don't get caught on anything invisible. Beep, 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 beep. Whoa! How come I can't destroy that pole? Fuck you! Fine. That's fine. We're gonna we're gonna go the right way to go the wrong way. Urgh. Right way to go the wrong way. Get out of my raid, little red car, you piece of shit. You piece of shit. We only we only got a, a couple of more left. We only got a couple. Why 
where where do I go? Oh god! Oh god, I'm lost! Ah! <laughs> I got one card, I did! This is the this is the road with the invisible bush. It's okay, I swiped it. I'm What? There's another one! Why are there so many invisible bushes on this road? I'm gonna lose my fucking mind! I'm gonna lose my mind! I'm gonna lose my fucking mind! Get me out! Get me out! Okay, 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 okay. Yes, 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 yes! Woo! I'm fucking nuts! Oh my god. Oh my god, it's not even, not even close. Not even close, chat. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Most undeserved victory in existence. Hey, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> oh, according to Keikaku. All right, now there should be a way to get into the basketball court. How do I get into the basketball court? I don't know. I don't know. Dakota Cayman Rider victory. Nice drive, honk honk. Uh, RS God, thank you for the 300 videos. Thank you. Wire cutters? Man, I wish I had wire cutters. Those aren't real doors. None of these doors are real. I'm pretty sure this door is also not real. Help. Uh huh. Uh huh. Marvelous. Oh, yay. I'm an FBI agent. Isn't that right, Zach? Oh, I missed one. A top going off road in the 1950s T Bird would be your advice? I can't do that. I can't let you do that, Hal. What a smarmy face. Who left all these medals laying around here? Can I. Can I get out this way? Can I. Do I have to go all the way around? Or can. Can you let me out? No? No, I have to go all the way around? Why? Oh, wait, hold on. Hell yeah! Get fucked, idiot. You hope I continue to say, isn't that right, Zach? Long after beating this game online and offline? You want me- you want me to develop streamer-induced schizophrenia? I don't- I don't- I don't know if I should thank you or be worried. <laughs> Just a- just a little bit of criminal damage, don't worry about it. Casually whips out a shotgun? How else am I gonna break a lock? Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah, let's- No, 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 no! Oh. Uh, oh. I thought I could just back out of the parking lot. What is this? I don't want to do it. I don't want- Can I just ignore it? Can I just- Can I just ignore it? Is that okay? Can I do that? <laughs> Backed right into it. It's okay. It's okay. We don't need. We don't need to pay attention to that. We gotta go. We gotta go to this weird woman's house. It's weird woman house time. No, that's a tree. <gasps> Square to quit. Oh, you're so smart. You're so smart, chat. Sometimes I'm illiterate, even if the thing I'm trying to read is the size of a billboard. Now, where's where's the woman in her house? Where's the woman in her house? Oh, I'm right next to Big Woman. Lily Ingram, Book Mountain Bank. And then the other woman is right around the corner, so I'm actually just gonna, like... Get out of my car here? You like the part where she calls us smart because we can see the screen! Take the compliment. <laughs> Alright, so there's- there should be a Big Woman here. Where is Big Woman? I don't see her. Is she inside? No. 
milk mine. There's her car. She must have chosen one that would help her drive around the twins. Where's big woman? Big. 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 I did observe the bank doors. It didn't show me the big. W oh, I'm dying. I forgot. I have to. I have to heartbeat. It says she was at bank. Check the trash! What the fuck? An antiquaria bookshop sale. Oh, well, she's not selling illegal food behind the dumpster. This game's currently 95% off on Steam. Uh, play this through emulator. It is impossible to play on Steam. Unironically, quite literally. Right, this is Book Mountain Bank Lily Ingram, and she's big, big woman. Big, big woman, but I don't see her. I don't see her. Chat, where is my big, big woman? I guess I'll go to the house first and then come back. It should be... It should be this house? On Fairy Street? Oh, it's open. Oh, it's open. Gimme. Beep beep. Can I loot your room now? This door leads to Nick's study. We can't intrude without a search warrant. Or asking her? Looks like a bedroom. We can't go intruding in people's bedrooms without a search warrant, Zack. That door doesn't exist. Ooh, but I can steal her food. <gasps> onion! I love onion! Can someone explain to me why the bottles of wine and the grocery bag, and thus the baguettes inside, are super fucking large. Especially when in comparison to the teapot and the basket. How did- how did she fit the bottles of wine in the basket to bring them here? When they are that large, including this big bed bread- bread bag. There's wine inside there too. What the fuck? Looks like they cook at home, too. They have a high-capacity fridge in here. I want a high-capacity fridge. <laughs> they do run a diner, after all. Their kitchen is clean and organized. You don't think the onions are that good on their own? When you tell me you don't eat the onion like an apple? Oh, she's got, like, lace in front of the doors. That's fancy. Fancy Olivia. She's hard at work helping her husband. She's almost too good for him. No, she definitely is too good for him. He's a dumb bitch. Tools of the trade. A set of seven items for self-grooming. If Nick is using these, it's not showing. That's <laughs> fucking... That's rude. Also, it just looks like a stack of three body butters, not seven tools for self-grooming. The fuck are you talking about? More bedroom. Probably shouldn't try to get in the closet. Manya, manya, manya. Yes. Ooh, baby, can I have the cone cream? Letter from Nick. Take it. Bum fizzy. Nick Thank you for the four month resub. It's a letter from him to you. Nick, what's this? <laughs> For me? Olivia. I'm sorry for all the trouble. What happened I'm to inspecting it first? I'm writing this letter because I need to tell you some things. Ooh. 
first. I'm sorry about meeting with Diane without telling you. My actions were irresponsible and may have caused you to misunderstand. But I swear to God I was not cheating on you. I don't believe I you. didn't kill Diane. I double don't believe you. I wanted to tell you. As I sit here in this cell, all I can think about is you. Don't worry about keeping the diner open, okay? Try to eat well, too. I had thought that this happiness we had would just go on forever. I've always been grateful to you. But I've never told you, have I? I used to think that putting it into words made it sound cheap. Cheap. But at times like these, words are all we need. Thank you for everything. Once I get home, I'll make it up to you. Take care of yourself. Fuck you, Nick! I love you. Nick. I don't trust him. <laughs> um, Does this awkwardly Agent. watch her as she cries? Could you wait a moment, please? I want to write a reply. Sure. Sure. Go ahead. Thank you. I got a letter from Olivia. Oh, she put a little bow Zach, on I it. I hope Nick will feel better by this. I got a twelfy. Reply just reads, fuck you, buddy. Ow. <laughs> Hello, Gwavy. Uh, I'll think about it for a while. Okay, lady. I love just slamming through the doors. Like, if he just stands there staring at her, she has an emotional moment regarding her husband. I mean, he's autistic. You know? Like, what <laughs> What do you expect him to do? Hey, they moved my car over here. Hey, and that's pretty good. Did Kira ever find Becky's dress for her mom? Who Becky? We scraped it a little bit, don't worry about it. Big, big woman! Big, big woman! Okay, I don't see a big woman here, and her milk truck is gone. What am I using for emulation? RPCSX3! Oh no! Oh no, cat! Oh no, Cheems Ball! Okay. <laughs> big, big, big woman. Lily Ingram. We gotta, we gotta catch that big, big woman. Wait, why is Olivia still red? Olivia doesn't need anything else from me. Why is this racing flag still here? I completed that quest. I'm confused. Oh no! There we go. Oh, I guess it stopped showing me the images of people? Did I take her reply? I did. I did take her reply. Now I will- Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, would you, 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 Okay. Now we gotta go to the Pauline's station. Hey, yo, I feel like there are more and more red trees popping up everywhere. Oh, that's kind of weird. Maybe the race is just something you can keep doing? Oh, you can. But, like, you can't get any more rewards from it. Red is probably just for women, while blue is for guys. Is that is that what it is? And I thought it was like someone has a quest and someone doesn't have a quest? What the hell? Anya.
this way. Give me the man, and then we can find the big, big woman. Big, big, big lady. Nick. Huh? Did you give her the letter? Uh, Olivia. It's a letter from Olivia. From Olivia? She's a big, big woman who drives a milk truck for her twins. Holy shit, they knew what they were doing. What the? I wrote so much. More than I'd, I'd ever actually say. A lot more than this. What? And she writes me only three lines back. What the fuck? For you? Oh, no, no, it's, it's more than enough. She wrote as much as she could. That's the best she could do right now. Yeah. Three powerful lines. I believe in you. I'll wait for you. I'm sorry. Why the fuck is I she sorry? The last one, though. I'm the one who has to apologize. Also, what the fuck? How is he complaining about that? What a prick! A finished. I promise this will all come to an end. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully with his I, life I know, included I, I in that. You. She's believing in me, too. And waiting for me. Well, I have to be going. Now hold, hold on a minute. Key to the back door of the diner. Oh my god, he's giving me back door entrance What's privileges? This? The key to the back door of the diner. There's a big bag in the kitchen. I don't know if you could use it, but consider it yours. You'll have to help yourself to it, of course. I, I can't exactly go with you. Okay. I'll take this and I'll go check it out. Looks like a return to better things for those two, eh, Zach? Probably not. Big, big, big bag! Not the big, big woman! Oh, shit. I didn't mean to view the list. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Get me out. Get me out of the jail. Wow. Get me out. Big, big bag for big, big woman? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Ha Where was he keeping that? Wasn't his stuff taken when he was put in jail? Don't worry about it. Okay. Alright, is Beak Beak Woman still on the map? <gasps> she is, but she moved over here. Okay, so I can just run to her. I can just run. Because she's like... Right over here. And if I run to the Beak Beak Woman, she won't have the chance to escape. No S. Wait, I'm lost. Oh, oh, I... Oh, uh... Turn, turn... Turn, go straight... Turn... Go straight... Wait, is she back at the bank? She's a big, fast woman! Yeah, 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 yeah. Big, though the bushes are too powerful. How do I talk to her? Where is she? Where is she? I don't understand. Now that you're looking at it, it's definitely man-woman signals. I assumed it was... It was someone has a quest for me, someone doesn't have a quest for me, but yeah, I guess you're right. How to talk to women at Twitch Chatter's life. Well, I guess I go get the bag since the big, big woman is hiding. Manya, manya, manya. And I have a key. To the back door. Which back door do I have the key for? Probably shouldn't try to get in here. Oh yeah. Chad, I have to pee. Mwang! <laughs> 
the bathroom doors aren't real? This door leads to the bathroom. You don't need to go just yet, do you, Zack? No, I do! No, I do! That's not where the bag is. I know! I'm finally in the kitchen! Among the spices is a container labeled secret. I wonder what's in it. Item bag. Nick was like, if you could use it. But, Zack, this is great. We'll be able to carry more <gasps> items now, Zack. Bag expansion! Doop boop ba doo! Doop boop ba doo boop ba doo boop ba doo boop 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 ba doo! Oh, my brain hurts, chat. Some foodstuffs here. Everything looks fresh. Ooh! Ah! Help! Oh, how disappointing. There was nothing in that one. Can I open this door from the inside? Nope. Okay. Alright. Too much DMCA laden bad music videos? No, my head was hurting before that. My head was really unhappy. What does the sign say? Oh, someone said to look at the posters in here. I think I might have already done that. When I was when I was here before. Recipe for meatloaf. Yeah, yeah, I've looked at these ones. Are there are there ones inside here though, maybe? No. I uh, no. Okay. Fantastic. Now grab the secret spice. You can't grab the secret spice. That's illegal. Oh shit, that door's locked. I think I already tried that door and it was locked and then I forgot and then I went back to it. Chad has to tell the fox you to pee now. I go pee! I go pee! I just wanted to get back in the car. Get in that bathroom and fry some chicken, damn it! If you are on Twitch... If you're on Twitch! Thank you for sitting through some ads while I go pee. I'll be right back. You're not missing anything. Nothing's happening. I appreciate you guys sitting through some ads so I can disable some pre-rolls. If you're sub to me or if you're on YouTube, enjoy, enjoy slideshow. I'll BRB. BRB. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. BRB.
Ow, 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 ow. She fell in and drowned. No, I'm just the world's slowest pisser. I'm a slow pisser, you know. I take, I take my time. <laughs> it's a slaneshi demonet. What do you mean by this? I need to tell other streamers about pre-roll ads. What do you mean? What do you mean by this? She has to pee around the shot glass she put in her urethra. That's disgusting. Disgusting. That's like molasses. Did I wash my hands? Of course I did. I love the smell of my beef and body work so. I'm the opposite of the infamous speed pisser nanobites. That's where that's where all my piss speed went to. Uh, I buffed her piss speed instead. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna crash. Uh, uh. I'm scratching my ear. I, was, I only have one hand on the controller chat. I have an itch in my ear. A lot don't know about the three minutes to remove pre-rolls. Wait, really? I figure most people just turn on their auto ad scheduler so they don't need to worry about pre-rolls, but are there really people that don't know? Are there really people that don't know about removing the pre-rolls? Beauty and beauty works. Itchy fox in the ear. She learned how to retro the car. What does that mean? Oh, that van almost hit me. What an asshole. Real reason she took so long is she had to steam her second chat behind our backs. What does that mean? What do you mean by this? Always holding the controller at nine and three o'clock. Yeah. Wrong side of the road? No, nah, it's always the right side of the road, if you believe. A lot of people don't read the contract or are just lazy because they heard it from someone and- Oh. Chat, don't- Don't text and drive. <laughs> it's not in the contract. I actually- I don't even remember where I know the three minutes from. It's just been that way for so long that it's like innate knowledge at this point. You ask if there are people who don't know about removing pre-rolls in a world where people don't know how they feel if they didn't eat breakfast today? True. That means you're cheating with us on a different chat. Don't lie, we found your kick channel! I think I set up a kick, but then I didn't actually stream on it. <gasps> Lily! Lily! Zach, did you want to go somewhere before we ah! here? Help. That's fine by me. Wait, she was driving. Where is she now? Oh no, she's getting away. Fuck. Spicy cat oh. raid. What the hell is a spicy cat raid? Iori! Iori, hello! Thank you for the raid! Welcome! Welcome, nerd herd! Welcome, welcome, raiders! Thank you! I hope your stream was giga fun, Iori. Hope you had good stream. Yuri, <laughs> Enya, <laughs> have a good dinner, Hikaru. Hope you hope you had good stream, Iori. We are playing we're playing some deadly premonition. I'm streaming gig along, trying to get some progress down in this game. Is this place open today? Is it open today? Vil Vilcommon. No, oh, it's closed. Bleh. We are super nerd, super nerd. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! You wanna catch up and go somewhere? Yeah. I'll give you the catch up. Like the dirty dog you are! <laughs> Binary mind, thank you for the gift sub to Eoli. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Was I going for Lily? I was at one point, but then I gave up. Fuck, fuck that big, big woman. <gasps> Hopefully, GTA 6 is good and not tainted. Oh, you know it's gonna be tainted. You know, based on who's working on it, it's gonna be tainted. Woman driving car? I know, it's horrifying, isn't it? Look at me. What is that noise? What is that noise? I don't like that noise. <laughs> GTA 6 is pre-tainted. The pre-taint? I'm driving, I'm driving my boat car? And I'm going towards the actual objective. I'm not schizoing out. There was a weird noise. Oh, we gotta go back to the man's puzzle mansion. 
Rockstar promised they've matured as devs just like Volition did before they ruined Saints Row. Oh, God. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Pepper Finally, and you man. have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. Oh. Oh, no protection. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Looks like the next game is hide and seek. Huh? Uh-oh. Is he trying to gas me? Hello, rock boss. Observe. It's just a mundane piano. What do you think, Zack? Oh, that is a freaky picture. Okay, well, I guess I just uh, save and then touch the door. Now the room is upside down. No, it's not! You know why the servant talks like that? York's full name is a good fit for iambic pentameter. Huh. The audacity to call it mundane. I know, it looks like a really expensive piano. I almost called it a computer. <gasps> Ooh, the statues all have red vines on them now. Ooh. Ooh. Dancing ladies. Wait, these are all these the murdered ladies. women! Do you see the resemblance? Anna, Becky, she looks like Diane, and Carol. Zack, look. Am I? Uh oh. Dee Dee! <laughs> it's a tarp. These doors are covered in spooky goopy goops. Stuff to pick up over here. First aid kit. Don't mind if I do. York stupid face. Don't be mean to him. He's trying his best. <laughs> High quality beef. That's what I call a himbo. Now what do I do if I picked up the items? Those doors aren't real. I guess this way? Wait, no, this is the way I came. This way? Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. It's time for Disco Inferno. Is this the kind of house I want? Yes. You crank that soldier boy. Shoot her in the butt. Oh, only three? Well, well, that seems like it was a little too easy. Uh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, look at this fucking perspective. Oh, man. I guess I gotta get a little closer. Clank that soul boy. Shatter that woman's tailbone? She didn't even need the roller skates. Don't worry, she'll be fine. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm an intelligent lady. Wait, 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 wait. I know what to do. I know what to do. None of them have guns, right? Oh. Oh, that didn't do any damage to me. I thought it would have. Beep. 
Beep, beep, beep. Oh, he teleport. He teleport. Okay, I gotta get near another barrel. Yeah, come over here. Oh, oh no. Oh no. He said my name! No, 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 no! Alright, we're good. We're good, don't worry about it. Okay, I was aiming at the barrel, but I killed her, don't worry about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my FBI custom out here to just like BAM! <laughs> Did, didn't I just see myself like get flung as well, but like I didn't take any damage? What is happening? <laughs> what is what is happening? <laughs> Just having a psychotic episode? I fucking guess, dude. Seems to take very little damage. Man! My resistance to fire is very high. Is that a perk of autism? Turkey sandwich! I know I purple, but I'll take the turkey sandwich. Oh! He hello? Hello, I'll just casually walk past you. Don't mind me. What is this way? This door isn't real? Okay, it's not a real door. This is the slanty hallway. Okay, so that's that room over there. Oh, yeah. Hallway sandwich. Yeah. Tism trait plus two fire resistance. What the fuck was that noise?! Oh no, it's dogs. Hold on. Hold on, I hate video game dogs. Wait a minute! Vi video game, you can't! You can't have a bunch of glass shatter out of the windows, and then the windows still be there like that! Zach, what do you think that was? No good news, that's for sure. Homage. Homage to what? I'm gonna go in here. Even the PS1 could manage breaking glass. <laughs> Bait. Knife worm. Put it in the toolbox. It's a sounding item. Okay, I hear women masturbating from my hotel room. I don't appreciate how loud they're being. We're gonna save. Alright. I don't need to sleep. I don't think I need anything from the gun case. All right, now we can go murder the masturbating women. I should call and complain to the front desk. No, it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna do this a Coburger style. Yo, hello, lady. How did I how did I fucking miss? It was it was dingle dongled on her. Won't do die. Banya, Kirsha's live. Can't wait to see a live stream of hers for once. Welcome, welcome, new friend. This water's kind of going crazy. Oh, hello. Beep beep. Get wrecked. A two for one. Mom. She iframed framed you. They're not allowed to do that. Oh, oh, that's not, that's not how windows work. That's not how windows work. Wait, what's this? There's like a button. Oh, it's not a button, it's a lamp. Hello, I'd like to file a complaint. My neighbor cannot stop master, but how did she iframe me again? How did I hit her point blank with a shotgun and she lived? Why? 
Are women so tanky? She used infinity. What the hell? That's the what's not real? It probably wants me to go that way, so I'm gonna go this way first. Oh, I like this door. Oh, that's a nice door. I wish it didn't have a shade on the other side, though, because it kind of ruins the aesthetic a little bit, and I can't see through it. So I don't- I don't like those. Okay, those- Hello! Hello! That's like- that was like- that was like in that other game that we played! Where the little child just ran from the hallway and bonked its head on the cabinet! Except instead of a child running, it was a man slowly sauntering, but it was- it was a very similar vibe. Hello? Oh, hello. Beep. Why do they keep eye framing me? Okay, that door is not real. Shotgun. The doors look like they were ripped from The Sims One. Banana. Banana. Okay, that's a real door. So what's this way? Okay. I got I got I got spookled. I got a <laughs> I got spookled. Don't let them domain expansion the cat. A porter K. Soldier boy jump scares. Jump scared yourself? It happens. Oh, Bing a bing a bingo. Progress. Wait, did I just go in a circle? No, there's 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 metal here. Oh god, fuck you. I don't like these statues. These statues are spooking me. Blank. Okay. I don't need the bullet. I don't need to shave. Uh, I will save. I do not see any flies around me, so I don't think I need to change clothes either. <gasps> Spine leech, thank you for the 100 biddies. You heard about special lubricating properties of the not so virgin olive oil. No, you gotta get the extra virgin olive oil. And that's how you know it's gonna be a good night. You think the domain expansion memes are from Jujutsu Kaisen? Unlucky for chat, I don't know anything about Jujutsu Kaisen except for their gamer subs flavor. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Weird Man. Oh no, my inventory's full. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I want an item? Wait, why is my inventory full? Oh, I can only hold one of them? You piece of shit! You piece of shit! Oh. Why is it locked? Mother fudging son of a biscuit. This way? Oh. Oh. The hell? What the hell? Oh, I know. If I don't watch the anime, why'd I buy the gamer subs? Because it's the best flavor! I was- I was given it as a- as a sample, because I thought I would like the flavor. And, uh, the- the flavor was not only good, but the best. Don't touch me. I do not consent. Flies when he gets barreled. Beep. <laughs> Hello. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Ah! Ah! Wow! Why are they so tanky? Oh god. Oh god. Where's my? Where's my shotgun? Oh god. No! Don't say my name. Oh! 
I am a quick shot. Holy fuck. I, I probably would have died. That was impressive. That was that was unironically impressive. Okay. All right. Are we good? Are we good? Is uh, anybody anybody left? Anybody anybody left? Oh. You crank that. So oh, hello. Stop saying my name. I will shoot your dick off. Oh no. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> also, I like how I am master. <laughs> I like how I'm masterfully dodging their guns now. When the entirety of the time I've been playing this game, I thought I was unable to dodge their bullet attacks. I don't know why my brain decided to kick into working just now, but like, thank you, brain. <laughs> oh, God. They got them slow rounds. She's brain. This is unironically the first time I have dodged the gun zombies. <laughs> oh, hey, we're in this section of the game. I don't know what that means. Oh, I went the right way on accident. Hello, lady. Emily. Oh, give it. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Go away, Dad. Stop! Zack, did you see that? Unfortunately. I must be getting tired. Well, this is the right way. <coughs> that was the outside, right? Lady in red. Am I just crazy? Am I just am I just a loopy loopy man? No, okay, I'm not. This isn't somewhere I've been. Open. Uh oh. How dare you? How dare you just come in here without knocking? I don't accept house calls. Why is this going on for so long? Why? Why was that so uncomfortably long? Hello, lady. She came for a house visit, but I told that bitch I ain't into hookups. <laughs> Where's... There's no more clothing? Do I get more shit from here? Give me the first aid kit. Give it to me. That shotgun is so good. I love this shotgun, dude. That was very underwhelming for her intro. It was. How much more of game? I have no idea. Ew, girls. I only shotgun blast women who try to come on to me. Moanya? Oh. Oh, and it's on the chair. Oh! Oh, it's a circle! That was her closet and you shot her! Well, she deserved it. I was in there first. <laughs> oh, yeah! What the fuck? These were not here before! Why are they here now? Oh, that was a cool triple. That was a- that was- that was a cool death. Uh, 
I'm running, I'm running, I'm speeding, I'm speeding, I'm a speedy boy. That, see, that seems really dumb that those things just were randomly there for some reason. Oh, baby, triple. Why are they doing the reverse limbo? That's what happens when you die. Why is there a sewer cover here? Why is there a manhole here? Oh, it's not a manhole. It's just a carpet designed to look like a manhole? Why would you want a manhole patterned carpet? What is wrong with people? I like this section of the room a lot. I'm gonna push the button. I'm gonna push the button. There's a switch. Should we push it? It'd be fun if the mansion transforms into something unexpected. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there are two buttons. How do I know which button is the right button? Chat, this is gonna be really autistic, but hear me out. I don't like how both of these statues are holding the gun in their left hands with their right hand being empty. I feel like the man in front of the left button should have the gun in his left hand and the man in front of the right button should have the gun in his right hand. That way, both of the empty hands are towards the center of the room and it would look more symmetrical. Fox! <laughs> I'm gonna hit the right one. Jesus, that was auti- Oh. Oh. You gotta push both of the buttons in the time period? I'm fucking nuts? I am so speedy. Ooh, hidden hole. Not an FBI, thank you for the two- Ah! Kirsha, Chad is scared. Hold us. We need meat shield. I don't have one of those. James Ball! Gravy! You stop that! I see your tail flitting around like a little bard. You stop that! Okay. <laughs> I'm one of those. What do you mean, one of those? Cheem's attack. No, they were they were playing with each other, but I could hear Gravy doing that. <laughs> Not, not quite that strained, but like... I can't recreate it because I'm not a cat. I'm a spicy cat. But you guys know what I mean. When the cats make like the weird like... Noises. <laughs> the fuck was that noise? I'm watching you. I'm watching you, kittens. The secret underground Nazi library. These bookshelves <laughs> really ridiculously placed. Especially these ones. Yeah, the the <laughs> kind of yeah, that's that kind of stuff. Hello, Skeletor. Zack. Ah! Help. It's like we're out of the countryside and back in civilization. Do I have to fight the cripple? Welcome, York. I don't like this carnival attraction. I brought the documents. Just what is going on in here? I warned you about haste. Take it slow. Sight of what's important if you just rush past it. As an agent, why is Neil the Grass Tyson on the TV? Sure you know. So many people have got it all wrong. They think speed is the key, that being first is the best. They want speed and are satisfied with what the speed brings, even if it means that they miss so much on the way. What are the chances that this wheelchair man turns out to be my dad? I see it all. Then, when the time comes, I make use of what I've seen. I can get whatever I want in this way. Anything at all. Your 
certainly talkative today, Harry. But I didn't come here for a business lecture. Tell me everything you know. He just told you not Speed to be hasty. Is not important. Timing is what is important. Timing. York. Oh! You have a natural gift. Why did his voice just change? Correct timing. Just be careful that your haste does not ruin everything. That would be vital to solving the current case at hand. I don't mind that he's a bit hasty. York. I know more than you think, but less than what you hope. One, you have Nick in custody. Two, Thomas is missing. Three, Carol has a locket that belongs to the murderer. What? I also know that this case revolves around the Red Seeds. <laughs> Who's Psycho Mantis? So you've got an inside line on police information. That reminds me. The victim's tongues were cut out, weren't they? But that's only a minor point. Don't let the shocks blind you to what's more important. That's another business tip. Business Harry, I'm impressed. You gather information really well. You hacked into the FBI network, too. Amazing. But I didn't come here to hear this. Then let us close the business seminar. It's time for a history lesson instead. What? Psychomantis is a bad guy in a gas mask from Metal Gear. He sounds just like this guy. Oh. I remember it as though it were yesterday. I only played Metal Gear Rising. Give me that exhibition. Normally got along, fighting or something. My father was blaming my mother, it seemed. And so I left the house, headed for the clock tower. There was a party being held that day to celebrate the tower's completion. I wanted to see the town from above, and so I decided to climb the tower. That sounds like a really dumb idea, especially if it's raining. Instead of getting the train autism, he got the clock autism. Trying to control the weather. I moved closer and saw that they were fiddling with some kind They're not of very good soldiers if you can get that close and they don't hear the you. It's the fucking tree man! <laughs> That's the fucking fat tree man! Just then, for the first time, the bell rang throughout the town. I reacted with fear and left the tower as fast as I could. <laughs> Breathe in. I unconsciously counted the number The car of was knocked over at the fountain. For the sacred hour of the day. On fire. Oh, it's all the zombies! Those are all the zombie types! But when they were still people!
Oh, that was a really wimpy hit. What? Oh no, not the Tombi! Raincoat isn't red. It's only stained red with blood. The following morning, I awoke surrounded by dead bodies. It wasn't raining anymore, and the purple fog was gone. I couldn't believe what I saw and what I myself had done. But even worse things were waiting for me when I got home. No. My mother was dead. Oh, okay. Killed, presumably, also by my father. The next day, the town was overrun by military personnel. That's when the gag order was issued. Talking about the incident was unappreciated, a taboo. But even still, people stopped going. I'm only happy when it rains. We never tell our children about what happened. But these things find a way out of even the tightest of lips, in parts. People only speak of the killer in the red raincoat, which is where the legend of the raincoat killer comes from. Quite a story. <gasps> Are we ever going to find out how he became a robot? When it rains, a minute amount is released. That's why I never take my Why? What is this audio outside? balancing? This town is dirty, you're... If what you say is true, then the killer is someone who is badly affected when it rains. You need to draw the conclusions, not I. I have no conclusions. Is there a connection between the red seeds and the gas, then? This is just my own presumption. The seeds and the gas have a similar effect on our nervous systems. I believe someone figured that out and decided to use it. Or it could just be nature's way of getting back at us humans. Oh! We've located the gay! Soon they have found Thomas. I'll tell you one last and very important thing. Just as you suspected, everything I have told you is gibberish. What? I never hacked into the FBI server. What? And I certainly know nothing about the Red Seeds. What? Thank you for listening to an old man, Babylon. Why would- why does he even need to say that? Let me ask you one thing then, Harry. You're a businessman. You must be after something in return for giving me this information. York. At times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Daddy? Even if it means losing someone that you love. Daddy? But still does not justify murder. Remember this. Everything changes in form. There isn't a single thing that can maintain its shape for eternity. Overlook this fact. Also, why am I suddenly talking about Moida? He did the finger thing. He did. Oh no, my one weakness, a finger wag. I mean, yeah, if you're autistic, it might stop you. That's what his dad said when he killed his mom. Yeah, no, that was his dad. His dad's wording. Oh yeah, I guess it was when he killed his mom. So that would be why he has the that doesn't justify murder as a response. That makes sense. Please stop saying daddy. <laughs> uh, daddy. What's wrong with you? 
Your eggs will be purged. Not the Fabergé egg! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. York, we found Thomas. Oh. She looks really out of place in that He's large vehicle. House, right? How did you know that? Timing, Emily. Good timing. Uh, whatever. Just get in. George is heading over there Why already. Let's like get a move on. Zach, things are finally starting to come together. Also, why does she want me to drive? Now is for Thomas to fill in the blanks in our new legend. No. Oh, I'm really sad. I was hoping that song would continue. Oh, wait, it does. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I like, I like this song. So you don't crash. Excuse me. I am also a woman, therefore I will crash. Why does she have the slowest police vehicle? Ooh, er, 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 hold our shortcut. Beep. Beep. We found Thomas. He's at the one place we never thought to look. His own house. Here we go. We're shortcutting, guys. I'm I'm hoping that these were meant to be like driven shortcuts because like they're a little hard to drive through. A little bit. A little bit, a little bit hard to drive through. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh man, look at all these fences that I can drive through. Cone. I'm assuming I go that way. Diabolic card. All the wheel drive, baby. Okay, there we go. I'm back. I'm back. We're back. Hold on. I might have. I might have needed to go the other way. Hold on. That gets me there. That's just this way. Uh, may maybe? Hold on, what happens if I go this way? I get to the train tracks, and then I train track all the way this way, and then I follow the train tracks. And I follow the train tracks. Okay, no, I can keep going this way, we're fine. Am I supposed to avoid the cones? My driving test didn't have cones! Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know why all of you guys have cones doing your, doing your driving test, but I didn't have those. Eh. I remember getting a boner here. What fucking test did you take? They just had me drive. They had me drive. They had me parable out of the park. Uh, you know, the only thing I didn't do was go on the highway. Yeah, my driving tests were on live roads, no fucking cones. Need to do your test soon? Good luck. I wish you luck. She just drives, I guess. Yeah, right? Alright, now we're driving on the train tracks. Man, the thingy vibrates a lot while you're on the train tracks. Yours was real driving as a test? Yeah, I had real driving, not cone driving. There are usually like 30 cones on that test, but you guess if it's live roads, it makes sense? Yeah, we didn't have cones, we just had live roads. Parking test for you was with cones set up at the fairgrounds? No, we just, we just went on the live roads. Cars in pieces? Wait, how did that happen? You just drove around the block with the dot person in the car? I shouldn't have passed my driving test, probably. When I went to parallel park downhill, uh, I started having a panic attack and needed to park in the middle of the road. But uh, I still got my license somehow. Ah, help. Cones! Idiot. Get fucked, idiots. 
you only had to take a written test because they forgot! What the fuck? Gee, Sally, your driving instructor let you have two cones! What the hell? They make you parallel park downhill? Well, I didn't have much of an option! <laughs> Based on where my- where my city hall was. I'm getting close! You flunked your parallel parking portion, but passed because that was the only- That was the only thing- What?! Ooh, rusty truck. Hey, didn't they give you the ten dollar doodles Your driving test was with your instructor and two other students. Drove two hours to the nearest large city so your instructor could buy a new golf club. Second student drove in town. Third drove us home. What the hell? A guy was just having you do errands with him? Seems like driving licenses are given out too easily. I agree, but I mean, if they're going to give them out to illegal aliens, what does it matter if I, as a woman, can't actually pass the test either? Let's be real. <laughs> All right, now I got to get into the town. I wonder if I can, like, flip the vehicle. Like, is that a thing? Can I do that on accident? What do you do? We're going to the projects. Why does the gay man live in the projects? That's a question. That's a question that I have. Beep 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 I love Mauve. Who the fuck is Mauve? George, what's happening? We received an anonymous call informing us that Thomas returned home. I sent Emily to get you right away. No idea who made the call? No. That's why I came on ahead to see if the information was correct. I bet it was the Cabana a Boy Butler. Come on, but only for a second. I saw a tall male silhouette in the window. It was Thomas. Okay, I'm going in. What if we've been suspecting Thomas this whole time, but in actuality he was just out getting bungled for a weekend? Any moment, just call out. Zach, it's the same in the countryside after all. The climax of an investigation is always in an apartment. What? Ooh, I like his tie. Oh my god. He would have curtains like that. Oh, Thomas. Where are you? The song has already finished playing. What was this song? Return the Needle. Thomas dead in the bathtub, also killed by the raincoat killer? Because even though the raincoat killer only kills the whamans, Thomas was a virgin? Too much noise. They're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. It's a good thing this was already a DMCA stream, eh? Ooh, why is Thomas's biscuit so wide and goopy? Red wig. This confirms our suspicions, Zach. That he was cross dressing? <sighs> also, that doesn't look red, that looks brown. Hey, 
put on the wig? No. <gasps> Cherry pie! That's me! Why was I in the fridge? Hold on. Yeah. Save? You know what? That's probably a smart thing to do. Yep, you're correct. The song sucks. Every time she says, I'm dreaming, my brain auto corrects it to, of a white Christmas. But that's not this song. And so I get, I feel weird. <laughs> I don't know if I should go through that door yet. Thoroughly polished. Never a speck of dust in sight. Looks like the door wasn't locked. I don't want to shave in the dead man's apartment, but... Like, it did look like he get pushed into the tub, and the tub does look like it has a bunch of blood in it. Excuse me, why did the song stop? Also, how come I'm opening the door?! Why does the side with the hinges look like not hinges? What the fuck is this? What is this door? Turn on. I wanna- I keep- put the, put the, put the song back on. There we go. There we go. Why didn't I observe the sink? Because that's shaving. I don't need to shave. Because he's gay, he's automatically a clean freak. At least when it comes to the house and not in the bedroom. Wait! Why was there a kitchen out there, but there's another kitchen in here? What is happening? Uh, uh, uh? A series of boot prints. Culprit must have entered this room. What the boot print? I think this is a second apartment! Why are they connected with a door then? Units share a door? I've never been in an apartment where units share a door like that. Coffee! Black. Maybe he's renting two apartments? This could be the other lady's apartment that he murderated so that he could wear her clothes. He wanted to wear her skin, but her skin was too small for him. Even after flaying it off her bones and drying it in the sun, trying to stretch it out to fit over his tall, lithe profile, he could not make the woman's skin fit. So he had to make do with just her clothing. But every time he looked in the mirror, he was reminded he did not have the soft, supple skin of a woman. He could not make her skin fold over his. He was a twisted creature. Munya! <gasps> Another record player. Is it the same song? <laughs> what is happening? Heavy cigarettes, hell yeah. Lollipop! Oh, lolly, 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 lollipop! Boom, boom, boom! What a waste of time! How dare you! Okay, well, uh. Hey, <gasps> There's red shit! There's a trash bag! Moon Journey. Thomas's shoes. The shoes were found in the bathtub. They are wet, which means the person didn't have time to take them off. You're supposed to take them off before you stuff them inside someone. Oh, 
I got the shoes. It's time to smoke and put this puzzle together, chat. Dressing man. He's giving a sexy lap dance to the raincoat killer. <gasps> well, why is glass just randomly exploding? Just to look around for him a bit more. So there's more to it. I have like the bonus footage on a DVD. Please don't call a cross-dressing man bonus footage on a DVD. That? That's the kind of bonus hole I don't want to see. What was that noise? <gasps> Damn it! We need to seal off all rats out of town. No need for that, George. Huh? If he was going to leave town, he would have done so by now. Which means he's still got some unfinished business. Wait. Does that mean he's a ghost? He's already dead? Hold on, wait a minute. Makes that same noise so many times. I'm in the main acumen. Thank you for the 300 dead we plum with your shimpetis. Thank you. Meet gay ghosts. I mean, come on. Let's be real. Casper was also a gay ghost. <gasps> Do you think they heard what I said? What? They left without him. We don't have to make a fuss. Thomas isn't going to leave town. That gives us plenty of time to find a way to view the bonus footage. Stop calling it that! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's zombie time. Well, it just wants me to go over there, but I don't know where my car is. I guess I don't take my car. I guess I just take a police car. Yeah! Help! Go the wrong way to go the right way, chat. Where did I get a poncho? It's a magical tism poncho. To keep me from being wet. Because as an autism, I don't like getting wet. <gasps> The zombies are here, I was right. But as I'm in a car, I can just avoid them and they don't- Oh, hello! You can't even come out of the ground, I'll just run you over, you dumb idiot! This- this seems really goofy. Like, maybe I wasn't supposed to take a car? I don't know. Okay. Oh, Jimmy Jams, thank you for the parole! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Here's a used car, it's super effective. Hello! Goodbye! Yes. Oh my fucking- <laughs> Oh, that one! <laughs> But why does it giggle like a child? Like the dirty dog you are! Is that... <laughs> Anna? Yes, but Anna is actually a man! I knew it this whole time! Her face did look kind of funky. Okay, she's gone. We can't run over the glowy anymore. Spartan 300, thank you for the 10 month three sub. Thank you, thank you! Oh, do I just execute her now? Oh, she runs away. Ah, 
I'm coming for you, bonus health. La, 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 la. Da, 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 da. This is so sad. We need Maroon 5 playing. Look for the girl with the broken smile. I don't remember the rest of the words. Okay, okay, all right, what the fuck was that? You hate the J-Girl run animation? Well, I mean, now that we know it's a man in a dress, the running animation makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> I'm about to walk a thousand miles to the next objective. Oh, I'm vibrating. Oh, it's my heart. <laughs> to slow down. Hello. Hello. This is why I should have gone back for the car. No, it's fine. I don't need to go back for the car. This is, this is how this section is meant to be. I believe you're not meant to have a car here because you're chasing her in the rain. And you're like, wait, Thomas, I know what you are. And I don't care. I want to see the bonus footage. I don't have chase a gay cross-dressing man in the rain on my list of things to do. Video games were different back then. Is this dumb bitch really driving me in a circle? Oh, hello. This dumb bitch is driving me in a circle. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, there's the weird fucking no- I, I assume that's supposed to be crows? But they sound like a fucked up feral hamster? <gasps> I was right! They are crows! I'm nuts! Okay, now we're going straight. Alright, he just, he just wanted to do a little bit of a loop-de-loop -loop before we went to the correct place, I guess? Sounds like a toucan. I've never heard of toucan. I only know about toucan Sam from the Fruit Loops. Wait, why did he just like stick his butt out? I don't. I don't know which way it wants me to go, so I'm gonna go this way and hope he shows up again. No. No, this is the wrong way. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Oh, it's the widest streets I've ever seen in my life. Hello! Hello, Polt Man. Didn't I- didn't I make you a motherfucking mod? Oh yeah, you have a wrench, never mind. I'm not used to seeing mod icons in YouTube. <laughs> Hello, weird lady. Oh! 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 Oh, I'm fucking nuts. You're on YouTube. Ooh, ooh. Hello. Actually streaming at not 5 a.m. your time? Yeah, I'm trying to beat Deadly Premonition, so I'm streaming late on Sundays. Ooh. Please do not destroy the stained glass windows. Those are very difficult to replace. <sighs> Why is it always so loud when he blows the smoke rings in our face? I, I almost became a goddess of the forest myself. Nobody forced you to put on a dress! Oh, I think the look might suit me. No! <laughs> what do you think, Sam? No! 
Stop! Stop it! You are my himbo. No dresses. No pipeline for my artist. We must protect him. Why is this sofa so fucking big? I guess I should check how sleepy I am? Yeah, I guess I could sleep. That sofa looks hard as a rock. It's like a giant fainting couch. Let's get... Let's get a deep sleep. Bing! Mm. Ooh, now I'm hungry! Hungry! He bought the Pippa socks, bros! It's over! Don't say that. Beep, 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 beep. I'm gonna drink a root beer. Oh, that didn't do anything. I'm gonna eat onion. 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 Big uh, cherry pie. A cherry pie. And uh, another cherry pie. Yeah. Now we are satiated and happy. Onion maxing, so you know you're a real man. I'm gonna reload my weapon. Yeah. Alright, fucking come at me, creepy mansion people. Dreaming of a white Christmas. Wait, wait, why are you not- Oh, why, why are you so fast? Why are you so fast? Why are you so fast? It's okay, you burnt to death. Burnt to death so fast. That was... I was not ready for that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, they're on speed. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Cutscene jump scare. Okay. All right. What are we? What are we understanding here? We're stomping on some makeup. It's an arm. I can't tell what's happening there. A train car. Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. You know, this is gonna be really dumb and gay if Thomas was just killing women because he wanted to be them this whole time. I'd be like, what about all the zombies? I was into that! One of the suggestions was bake a pie. Like, do this. It's a high tier flirting. What the fuck? It's just Silence of the Lambs. Speaking of Silence of the Lambs, there's a country fucking ham! Look at it! I always think spiral hams look delicious, but then I eat one and they taste gross. Ruby! I'm glad I drank one. Oing. Okay, that door's not real. We get, we get out of here. Ooh, grody ass hallway. Ham is mid. Ham is gross. The only part of a pigu that I like is bacon. Ah, <gasps> Thomas's dresses have turned into vines. Well, that door is a little ominous. That's just a little- Oh man, is he a fucking theater kid? Oh, 
Oh, you're not gay. I see you. I can see you too. I have eyes. Oh no, it's the jiggle runs again. Oh god, I hate this. Why why did they design this section like this? It's so silly. Push! Run! Stop pushing! Why did they design this section like this? Why? Push! Me me. Me me. Me. Eh! Jiggle! Jiggle! Oh god, he catches up real fucking quick. He catches up fucking! Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh? Oh, he broke the box for me! What a nice guy! What a nice guy! Open? But we have shotgun. Daddy is too dangerous for shotgun. Oh, I gotta keep running. Oh, I gotta keep running. What? Oh my god, please. You guys- you guys can't see what the raincoat man is doing, because, like, my big dumb head's in the way. Where are you hiding? Oh god. It's gonna have me get in one of these fucking closets and I'm gonna get found again because I'm bad at hiding. Oh, well, I only have one option, so... Maybe I hit a little early. Maybe, uh, maybe I, maybe I uh, got in that closet a little early. Don't, don't notice me. Don't, don't notice my breathing getting louder inside the closet. Oh. oh, I thought if I went out while he wasn't looking, I could run out the way that I came. <laughs> because that's what I did last time! I had to wait for him to not be noticing so that I could run away! Okay. Where are you hiding? Under the bib. At least it's not gonna make me redo the whole chase scene. Who told you to think?! I wonder if this works. Oh, uh, do you think this works, chat? Do you think he won't see me? <laughs> There's no way. There's no way, dude. <laughs> He's gonna teabag you. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't get that prompt before. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he just pulls me through the bench! Beep beep beep! Oh. Oh, it didn't even give me a quick time event. It's just... <laughs> I just put a lamp- Why does it even give me that option? <laughs> How do you see you? I don't know! I was hidden so well! Where are you hiding? I did hold my breath, Bahamut! It was worth a try. <laughs> it, was, it was worth a try. Yeah, I guess, uh... I guess there was a red door there, too. Maybe the red door is where I need to go? I don't know, man. If I can't see him, he can't see me. Prime logic. Oh, 
Ooh, does he go into the next room while I'm hiding? That would be that would be pretty good. He's so slow. Hello, manic raccoon. I did it. <clears throat> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Did I press or hold? I I pressed it. Hold R2? Oh, I gotta keep holding it? Okay. Press and hold! This is the hardest part of the game, unironically, is the hide-and-seek mechanics. <laughs> hold it. I'm gonna try the red door since I'm here. You know, I might as well. Okay, the red- the red door isn't real. The red door- the red door isn't real. Eh. Schnapples. Get me inside. All right, I'm ready to hold my breath for as long as humanly possible. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean back and stretch, dude. Oh god! Oh fuck! Uh. Oh. 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 Also, yeah, wait, that's a good point. Maybe the desk would have worked if it was me fucking up the breathing the first time. Okay, well, if I die this time, I'm going back to the desk. <laughs> I'm holding! I'm holding! Oh, okay. So yeah, I was waiting for his out of breath prompt. <sighs> oh, we're getting we're getting up there, dude. We're getting up there in our little breath bar. Interesting game. It's the best game. It is so good, dude. Oh god. There's no way he wouldn't see me under that fucking bench. What? Why is that there? Thank you for the five dollars, Chaos. Ah! Oh, he made the fish lips, dude. Oh god, my butt. Sitting like a gremlin. Now I leave, right? Now now I go out, and now I run away. <sighs> Zach, this is a waste of time. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no, can I- can I follow behind him? Oh, there's medals! There's lots of medals! They should let you keep the axe. They should. They should. I want his axe. Don't like the look of this. There's no way to open this one. The minigame is literally copy-pasted from the last time. Yeah, seems like it. But you know, I got brain damage. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh... Whoop! You heard that, didn't you, chat? You can hear that, can't you? I don't like that. I don't like that.
Oh. <gasps> you clank that old job boy. How do I expect to get a boyfriend if I can't hold my breath? He's got to train me, obviously. Duh. Mm. Ah! Mm. Yeah, I, <laughs> I did it! <laughs> oh, the, f the finger wag! The finger wag that the cabana boy does! I don't know which way I came from. <laughs> Wasn't locked. Well, hopefully, this is not the way I came from. I would be meeting a cross dressing man who's murdered women in a bathroom that's run down like this, wouldn't I? What is this? Power to take him down. I don't know about that. This door doesn't have vines and it's locked. Okay, it's a real door. The blood stains on the floor lead into this door, but the door itself is locked. That's very weird, Zach. Why is everything here so rusty? There's a hole in the bathroom wall. We could peek through. If you want. This seems like a very poorly set up glory hole joke. And I feel like I'm going to regret this. Oh, the blood goes up. Huh? Huh? Uh... Oh, it's a badge. Wiggy! <laughs> okay. Oh. <gasps> They're gonna open the door for me! Ah, the zombies are so helpful! Were they trying to help me solve the mystery of the woman murderer this whole time? And I've just been mercilessly killing them? I didn't expect one to be that close. I still don't know how I line up a shot on one zombie and it ends up killing two that aren't even like near each other. I don't get it, man. Thomas's sheriff badge. Pierced with a knife. I feel some strong hatred here, Zack. Yeah. Ooh, the ceiling has a lot of vines. Shotgun is insane. It spicy is. Spicy cat raid. What the hell is a spicy cat raid? Um, silly. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. We're playing some deadly brimbimimshins. I hope you had a good stream, my dude. I hope you had a nice stream. Da 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 da. da. Let me in. Squeaky vine. Oh, no. No. No, I don't want to fight the ceiling women! Uh. I hate 
the ceiling women. Why does it say my name? Oh shit, that was, that was spooky. That was almost real bad. Ceiling woman, I can fix her! No, you can't. What the fuck? Oh god, oh god! about it <laughs> I hate ceiling women man they're my worst my worst women my least favorite kind of women Gamer instinct moment. Yeah, that was spooky. That was <laughs> spooky. You like my panic babbling screeching? Good, because it happens a lot. I panic a lot. Panic is like my default state. No ceiling women. No ceiling women. I don't. Oh, you dumb bitch. You piece of shit. Two in a row? You should have seen the other section of the game where we had like ten of these dumb bitches in a row. knows your name? I hate it! Make her stop saying my name! Oh, she did. she not drop loot for me this time? Oh, there's another one? What the fuck? Beep, 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 beep. Spider woman! I would the ceiling woman. What is wrong with you? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Close enough, you idiot. Not close enough, you idiot. Feeling women do not deserve love. Oh god! I thought I killed it. Come on. Come on. Alright. Okay. We're all good. We're all good. 
Gee, Francis, you look Morgan. Your Zach lets you have three ceiling women. These boxes are tough. That's what they mean when they say built forward tough. Can we see five more ceiling women? No, please. Good lord, they be tanky. They do. There's gonna be at least another one. Yep. Oh, wait, no, these aren't ceiling women. No, oh, I'm gonna just steel pipe you. I, can... I forgot how to fight! I forgot how to melee! <laughs> there we go. There we go, I'm so smart. I'm so fucking smart. How did I break my pipe already? Oh, you dumb whore. Very good dodge. Oh god, I can't see shit. Strong thighs, what the fuck? Ah! Help! What time is it? Uh. 10.51? Turn on off. Root beer! I can't hold any more root beer. There's changing suit? I don't have any flies, so I don't think I need to do that. I don't know what turning those on and off do. I'm gonna save. Spicy cat raid? What the hell is this spicy cat raid? Nya nya! Nya nya ba nya nya! Thank you for the raid! Welcome raiders. We are playing... Deadly Premonition. We're playing Autism the Video Game. I hope you had a good time on your stream. A double raid! Do YouTube and Twitch raid! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Hope you, hope you had a real fucking good time. Hope you had a real good time. I don't know what those light switches did. Okay, alright, okay, well I guess I gotta do something. Well that one's lit up. Well that one's lit up. Uh Ah. Uh, is this one real? <gasps> this one's real. Hello, hello raiders, hello raiders. Okay, so that one's already on. Is there a fourth one? I could use these switches to change the lighting. The current lighting is yellow. Oh. Oh. They were all supposed to be red. Now I have to sing karaoke? I can't sing. I can't sing, I'm not a singer. It's a giant light switch for you. No jump scare? Ooh, boxes though. 
boxes. Not with that attitude. Not with any attitude. I'm not a- I'm not a seeing air. Oh. <gasps> Stabilizer. That's the point! What the fuck? What the fuck? Someone's spamming that fucking heart button? You're so cute. You're so cute. All the mannequins turn into ceiling women? Don't say that. Everyone is a 36, 24, 36! <gasps> I, 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 a little bit of Monica. I got, I got Anaconda mixed up with Mambo number five, as you do. Even with the talent, I have to work to sing well. I did a concert choir for three and a half years. That was a long fucking time. What? Why did the first bullet hit and then the rest of them go through it? That's a brick house, not anaconda. What? I got all of them confused? I've summoned a fat man. Let's get out of here, Charles. Amazing. He is a tanky, beefy man. Crates be eye framing you. I don't think those are ones I can kill. I think I have to climb over those. Yeah, climb up. Boxes have eye frames. Thanks, I hate it. Well, this game will go as far as to add fluorescent light bulb buzz to some rooms, but then gunshots and general audio mixing is a fucking mess. The audio mixing in this game is absolutely terrible. Back to my favorite shoddy. Beep 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 buddy beep. Hello, medium first aid kit. That's why it's director's cut. What the hell? Behind me? There's nothing behind me, you goofy gooba. I can't tell if that's a dead end or not. Looks like this is a dead end though, so I'll go grab this shit first. Oh yeah, just clean dirt and dust out of your phone after cutting drywall. Thank you for the hundred bitties, Death Vaughn. What were you cutting drywall for? Adamar, Adamar, thank you for the five pounds! Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that way looks like a correct way. <gasps> Food? Saber? Hey, yo! I wish I could pick up the saber. I love saber. Good night, good night, Dag! Good night, Dag, you! The f yeah, the fencing saber. Because cutting wall- w cutting wet wall just seemed ridiculous, you bitch. You, dad, when's my James burger gonna be ready? Come on, you. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy. I'm sneaking up on him all stealthy-like and shooting him in the stomach. Like the bitch he is. Hello, lady. Oh. How the fuck did he live through that? You have to go now. Good night, good night, Rodrigo! Have good night. Have good sleep. Ah, no. Could use a good cheeseburger. Oh, this uh, this wall is uh, preventative uh, measuring. Nothing is this way. The store is not real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, lady. You can't get me. Probably too far late to get it, but one of the melee weapons we could get is Gris Grick Koch. Legendary bootleg guitar. Hmm. Get fucked, idiot. Oh, and the can of pickle! Close enough, they're both green. Quick, observe the box! What do you mean? You hope you can hand me your guardian angel? I'm gonna fucking need one. Honestly. Yeah, canned pickles, my favorite inside of the box snack. 
You want to do Bioshock Big Daddy Avatar? Do it. Why not? You might you might run into some issues if you like copy it one for one though, kind of like the the Hank Hill guy. Oh god, oh god, oh fuck. Beep, 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 beep. <gasps> Ademar, thank you for the ten pound. You need some advice? You feel down? How as a guy should you look decent? Get a haircut that fits your face shape. As that's like my best advice. Get a haircut that fits your face shape. Smell nice. Women love men that smell nice. Both are green. This woman isn't made 70% water. Do to do all over. What do you mean? What do you mean? Get rich, then it doesn't matter what you look like. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter what you look like, even if you're not rich, as long as you are charming. Have a have a nice a personality. Damn, your hair fell out. There are women who like bald men. However, I am not one of those women. <laughs> Have confidence and it doesn't matter. True and real. True and real. What do you remember, big man? I like Asmin. Asmin's not fully bald, Skewgy! What about the boy smell you've heard so much about, Bob Snob? Let me tell you the secret. If you learn how to grill, and you have a woman who's coming over to your house that you're trying to impress. The smell of you on a summer night sweating mixed with the smoky meat smell from the grill. Oh, it's so good. You could not bottle a better scent than that. Please, all men, learn how to grill. Smell like sweaty man musk and grilled meat. That's your fantasy, I guarantee. You will not find a single woman that doesn't like that. Is it just a dead end with no items? You just fucking giving me jack shit down here, you piece of fuck? Better than the spice bomb. The spice bomb is the one you can't grill. <laughs> you work out and make a killer barbecue. Hell yeah, this guy's on the road. Beep beep beep. Well, I guess I can't pick up the med kit. Remember, guys, don't date vegans. Don't date vegans and don't become vegan. Ah, oh, no. It's time for Jiggle Jiggle again. I hate the Jiggle Jiggle! I'm gonna just, like, lean this way. I'm gonna lean this way so you guys can see the raincoat man this time. Evie! That's the wrong button! I thought it was Circle! It was circle last time! You love the jiggle jiggle? I hate the jiggle jiggle. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. That song is so catchy. Rip bozo! Alright, let's try that. Let's try this again. I'm gonna I'm gonna even move my microphone out of the way. We got this. A jiggle. Beep beep beep! I'm jiggling. Oh, he's not even gonna- he can't even throw it at me this time? He's playing a slow ass bitch. Oh god! I hit it that time! I hit it that time! Use your head to wiggle the stick? I can't do that. It's square! I hit square! I hit it! I hit it! <laughs> Square! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! He look like a man! It. Ah! I hit X and circle at the same time. Okay, so the first one's square, the second one is X. Hello. Hello, Mr. Man. Nah. What? It changed! <laughs> We're gonna be here forever, chat. We're, <laughs> We're gonna be here for a very long time. I am not good. 
At quick time events. He changed you, bitch. Okay, okay, okay. I'm focused. I'm focused out of my mind. Evade! I'm nuts. I'm nuts. Oh god, the audio glitched out. Okay, I thought I fucked it up. I thought I fucked it, but it's okay. We in this? Oh no, don't throw it at me. Oh, oh god, open the door. Beep, beep, beep. Is this how guys feel when they masturbate? Like, my my arm is like, not not ready for this. So. Run! Man, if I was a lesbian, I'd be fucking nuts right now. <laughs> Iggy! Iggy! Okay. Okay, we're back. We're back to running. We're back. You get used to it. This time, this time for sure. break it why is he why is he going so slow what's happening did i break it did i break it my heart rate's not even going up what's happening what's chat <laughs> Oh, he is fighting for his life in there. Okay, all right. Now, now let's stop sitting like a like a fucking monkey. Journo mode activated. What? What did I just take damage from? What the fuck was that? What the fuck is this? What's happening? Motherfucking King Heavy Meta, they give you the five dollars. You grilled burger, steak, and corn on the cob earlier. I want to eat the fancy multicolored corn. The diversity corn. I don't know what it's called. Ad Admar07, thank you for the two pounds. Hello, world. Wait, why did you say hello, world? I'm not like a bot message? I know you're not a bot because you, you're super, but like, where do, I, where do I remember that from? Where do I remember that from? <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God, why was she so fast? Okay. 
Yeah, mace. Yeah, mace. <laughs> Good God, that was horrifying. Okay. Why was that one woman so speedy? What is happening? Okay, I can't go that way. Wait, do I have to run through fire? There's no way that they would make me run through fire. That wouldn't make any sense. That wouldn't make any sense. Why can't I push over mannequins? <laughs> that was a good question. <laughs> Next question. Shoot the mannequins? Oh, you know, I didn't think about that. <gasps> oh my god, you're so fucking smart. Oh my god, you're so fucking smart. Alright, we're just gonna let her burn to death. I love listening to women burn to death. And she's taking her sweet ass time. She's not burning fast enough. Okay, well, maybe. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, maybe maybe I'll help her. Let's not help her a little bit over there, no big deal, no more about it. Ooh, Laurel, there's like the default message most people make a program type out when you first start learning program or something like that. Hello, your face is really grody. I hear more spawning noise. Oh, 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 yeah. Give me meadow. Okay, now now it's time to pick up uh, a healthy. I need I need a I need I need a, my uh, uh yeah that's just you that dumb bitch. They sound so sad while falling. Well, they don't want to die. Crank that soldier boy. Here's your first place in what? Idiot competition. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, don't mind if I do. Got him. The root Oh! Ah! Ah! Women who run at me very fast. I can't use my brain cells to take out my gun. I just get scared. Okay, all right, we're good. I'm rule seven. Thank you for the five pounds. Please give me dating advice. Also, have you played Hell Divers? I don't know what kind of dating advice you want, and also, no, I haven't. I've not played Hell Diver. Ooh, there's a man over there. Oh, what the fuck? He wants me to play the piano? Oh, there's boxes. Hold up. Ah! Help! Fuck bang! Fuck bang! I can't say goodbye. <laughs> this isn't how they taught me to use ice picks. No sir, Zach. You're not supposed to use ice picks to play the piano. That don't make no goddamn sense. All right, stepping on, stepping on the ID, having a bit of a drinky drink. Pig, pigu? Oh dear! Oh dear! Uh, ballroom? Huh? 
all the white creme bars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save game again. It's time to find out the truth, chat. Hey, Yorko Vision coming in a lot clearer now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, thank God that one wasn't a quick time event. mash that button so furiously, I gotta wiggle it from side to side! Oh. We're back at the back. Why does the deer have a dot on its forehead? Oh. Don't mind if I do. Bizarre setup. Whoever made this must be crazy. Okay, you didn't need to do it with such force, though. You made it. You made it even weirder. <laughs> <gasps> it's a staircase. Moon. Why is there such a nice carpet at the end of the staircase in the in the stone cellar? Sex dungeon, please. I do not wish to see that. Chocolate chip cookie. It is a sex dungeon. God fucking damn it! Why does the cross-dressing man have a sex dungeon? Okay, so it's not bonus footage. It's still part of the main feature. What? The perpetrator is exactly who I thought it was. First things first. We better let poor Nick go. Why is the audio so low all of a sudden? What up? Oh my god, he really looked like a man here. You need help. What do you need help with, Adamon? Thank you for two pound. Mr. Francis York Morgan. I'm going to give you a white Christmas. <laughs> Are we supposed to hear music? It is really fucking low. Maybe, maybe it's just going to be really bad for the rest of the game. So hold on. Let me. Let me see if I can jack it. I assume at some point it's gonna just blow out our eardrums, though. Holy shit, he looks so manly now! God damn! Oh no, he took his weave off.
Man, what a creep. Uh, I can't get me meta, thank you for the two dollars. <laughs> Good God. Oh, Thomas, you should be called homeless. Man, I only got paid $1,500 to see this fucking monster? Are you kidding me? Yeah, let's get the Zack view. Let's get the Zack view! Okay then, Zack. Let's pay Harry another visit and get to the bottom of all this. And that one. And that one too. All red seats. Welcome, York. The killings. Quite a story. York, I told you, it's nothing more than local folklore. <laughs> what does that all mean? It's called the legend of the new raincoat killer. York, we found Thomas. Zach, okay, so it's not bonus footage. It's still part of the main feature. <laughs> the perpetrator is exactly who I thought it was. God damn. I never would have guessed that the gay fruit was the murderer the whole time. <gasps> Dad? Aww. Or it'll be too late. Look, I run so slow because I'm a child. Man, my concrete slappers are loud as fuck on this dirt. Concrete slappers! What do you mean? I love calling them that! Dad? Dad? Dad, Daddy! Come on, boy! Or it'll be too late! Chat, don't equate the child's feet with plapping noises, you fucking weirdos! <laughs> what a fucking bologna feet! Could I stop being me for five minutes? What do you mean? Walking barefoot through the woods sounds hellish. That's how you build up Dad? big calluses. Dad! Come on, Dad. boy, or it'll be too late. Is this just gonna be a hallway of never catching up? Is this is this an allegory for life? How you keep chasing something that's already left you and you need to let it go instead of continuing to follow? You work at a deli and it literally just sounds like when you slap the hams! I want you slapped hams. <laughs> Help! Dad? Your father left on, us. Boy. It's all your fault. I don't even see him anymore. Oh, but I see something shiny way over there. I see something shiny. Hello, give me this card. Brian Zander Morgan. I don't trust people who have an X in their middle name. Why does the slapping sound sound like it's multi-directional audio now? Dad! It's like freaking me Come out. On, boy, or it'll be too late. Do you, do you hear that? I'm still at it. You went and made dinner, showered, napped, wrote a paper, and you're still going hey! Chill. Daddy! Oh no, not the AGP man. Are you okay? Oh, no. 
never mind, it's police lady. But she sound weird. <laughs> I don't like the way she's standing or she's staring. Something, something about to get fucked up. Hello, doggo. Uh, what the fuck is happening? Oh my god, he really is wearing all of their skin! How the fuck did I call that? Man. You are waiting here for someone, aren't you? The person you are waiting for will be here soon. Uh. 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 That's a lot of maple syrup. Grandpa, wake up! Grandpa, hey! Oh, Emily. Uh, sorry, my dear, I must have fallen asleep. That's enough napping for today. Tell me the rest of the story. Well, demanding, aren't yes, we, you little cunt? Course. That was our promise, wasn't it? Before I continue on, though, I've got a little gift I want to give you. Wow. It's pretty. Wow, a leaf! Consider it a protective charm. Like a signpost. It will help to lead you through your life. A signpost? One day, my dear, you will find out one of the truths of this world. Hey, yo, why this picture look like an Epstein photo, though? And someone, someone explain that. When that day comes, how you respond, what do you do? That will be the instant that determines the value of your life. This pendant will show you the way in that moment. Why does the voice actor sound so different for Francis York Morgan as an old man? He doesn't sound old, he just sounds like a different person. I have faith that you will grow up into a woman who can make the right choices. Do you understand, Emily? He named his daughter after the police lady. Voice acting? The the well, they're supposed to make him still sound like As the same person, said, just older, you know? I was soon fated to meet him. What do you think of those dreams, Zach? So I do care for Emily. What about you? We should take this opportunity and talk about this a bit. What if he sounds completely different because Zach takes over the host body after this case? If I hadn't seen your come into the bar, well, you wouldn't have found this place, would you? Now, how about that? I guess I've always been lucky when luck was needed. That's why I've been able to stay in business, too. It's him, John Premonition. Thank for finding this room, I suppose. He's got a great nose. Clever, too. He'd be a great businessman if he wanted to be. I owed you guys one anyway. And I owed York big time, too. You guys didn't tell anyone about that whole thing with Diane. Can we just gut this guy like a pig already? I'm sick of him. the offer. But this is a police matter. You can leave everything to us from here. Also, I oh, cranked the well, fuck out of this okay. volume and it's still low right George, now for some reason. Look. These cigarettes. They're the same brand that York smokes. He's definitely been here. 
Carol's been missing since That's the, the first piece of police here. work I've seen her do all game. This town will be deserted if this keeps up. What do you think is really happening here in Greenvale? Emily. Let's focus on looking for York. I just hope there are more leads than a cigarette butt around here. Maybe I left a trail of cigarette butts. <laughs> hey, Willie, of course. You can track his scent, can't you, boy? And just let the dog what smoke. What do you think, officers? Let him help you out, why don't you? Oh, he'd make a fine police dog. I told you, we don't need... This sounds good, Kaysen. We need all the help we can get. Come on, George. Let's let them help us. But they are civilians. Do you have a better plan? As we speak, York might be... Ugh. That's exactly what York might be. Have them help. Thank you, George. But one thing, with York missing in action, I'm back in charge. Okay, York all right, big cowboy. To you guys, so promise me you'll call for backup at the first sign of danger. Yes, of course. Why does he have a plant? Because the fat man is a plant asexual. So I'm going to look around a bit longer. You go with peace. <laughs> Tension shattering coco dio. Thank you, George. We're counting on you, boy. Welcome to the force, Deputy Willie. Deputy Dick. Can of tomato sauce. <laughs> Let's get rolling then. What is this audio okay. balancing? I'm counting on you, Willie. Bark. Oh god, why oh, does his tongue actually look slimy? Me, though, are you? Sheesh. What is this fucking song? Oh, what is this fucking song? Hold on a second. Jet set radio background music out of nowhere. He truly is our butter dog. I can't keep up with the dog. I am but a mere woman. Fairies in Chicago. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why can Emily sprint endlessly without getting tired? Uh, woman privilege? I think the real question is how can Kaysen keep up with me, but I am clearly more in shape than he is. We need a, we need a police issue skateboard. Female ability chasing dog. Yeah, I want that Dalmatian. Ba, 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 ba. 
no, 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 no. Why is this like... What? I, why does the guy sound like nervous while he's saying no in the song? White woman sees a dog. Infinite sprint unlocked. Uh, go, white girl, go! Oh. He can be a little selfish, but he's a good dog. What the fuck? He stayed with me all this time, through all the good and the bad. How long have you been together? Oh, we go back a long time. I can't even remember a time when he wasn't around. I had a dog when I was small, too. He was a beagle, so we named him Bee. Stupid name, I know. He hated being left alone and always followed me around. I could tell him anything, even things I couldn't tell my parents. He'd look into my eyes and listen intently to anything She was falling in love with that dog. It's like he sympathized, and he didn't make fun of me. He would just listen. When I was done talking, he'd put a paw on my thigh. My worries just faded away when he did that. It made me feel like I was just a fool for worrying so much. Dogs are great that way. Thanks, Beeg. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I think they got a lot more wisdom than us humans. Even if they are betrayed, well, they don't see it that way. Sure sounds foolish, but you know dogs, why they're always happy. I'm positive that even if man perishes off the face of the earth, dogs, why, they'll just carry on, regardless. They see everything, you know. From their dog houses, <laughs> That's why, when you beat your wife, she'll be just as devoted to you as when you beat a dog. They just don't remember that it happened. Oh, look, Deputy Will is calling for us. He's always like that. Let's get back what to the What is this convo? I don't know. <laughs> oh, back back to the fucking Jimmy Jams, dude. What the, what the fuck was that? Why did we just stop to talk about our love of dogs randomly? This convo is filled so with nonsense. No, 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 Oh god, here we go again. Oh. I'm- I'm looking? There's a bag on my head. Thomas, I know that you're there. Oh, Your disposition god. is not of my concern. But you do need to stop this. Untie me. Let me go. Right now. And you and Carol should take off. Go as far away as you can. Open a bar or a diner in a new town. With your cooking, I know you do well. Oh god. Don't get close to me, you freak. Why, thank you. You're I don't remember you're who so kind. Unlike him. If I had someone like you, things may not have come to this. York, have you ever been in love with someone? Thomas. A long time ago, I witnessed two people that I really cared about die. Both pretty much at the same time. And since then, I've tried not to care about anyone so deeply. But recently, that way of thinking has changed. Emily, right? She's a nice girl. But I must warn you, York. You'd be better off not falling in love with her. Because I'm gonna kill her and skin Thomas, her. Considering the circumstances, whatever I say might not be important to you. But I'll say it anyways. Don't you dare touch Emily. Aw, he's so autistic. I love him. York, I think I've said too much. It's natural to respond when someone talks to you, I guess. Everything will end tonight. You just stay there until then. Ew! Right back, snap back to reality. Whoa, there go gravity. Place your bets on where they are. Wait, Kason ran this way. 
It sounds like they're at the lumber mill. No, 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 This is the reality, yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm not allowed to save, okay? Duly noted. What's wrong? Something's bothering you. Oh no, it's just... I promised to have tea with, with Polly. I just remember. What's that got to do with anything? Yep, you're right. This just isn't the time, I know. But it's... Well, she reminds me of my mother who passed away. Kason. What I've the fuck is happening?! Long, long time. I never had time to talk with my mother. Who cares?! So, we have to find me, the no glowing happened, man! This was more important. So, even when she was sick, I put more energy into my work, which I regret now. And you know, when I heard she died, I was... <gasps> I was on my way home, all happy. I closed a big deal in Jersey. Just when you want to give something back, you got no one to give it back to. Since well, we know Kaysen is one of the cult ritual Polly. people who helps kill the, the ladies. Given me another chance. Do you think? Really do you did. think that? So I always stay in that hotel. Before I come up here. Before the AGP oh, sure, man skins great, them but, and wears them like a coat, honesty, he gets he gets to he gets to sexually to assault them. With Polly. Does Polly know all this? No, no way. I'd never say anything so embarrassing to her. She'd think I've got some crazy mother complex. That would explain why he was in the sex dungeon at the last murder place. Right. This let's dog get ain't going. got no dick. Deputy Willie disapproves of any chit chat. I'll make it up to Polly some other time, I guess. Why is this where your mind goes? Well, because Kaysen was found at the place having sex with the last lady who got murderated. So it stands to reason that before the ladies get skinned and filled with red seeds by the gay crossdresser, Kaysen gets to sexually assault them before they are murderated. Oh god, are we gonna have another gonna have another fucking heart to heart? Oh god. Zach, I'm hungry, buddy. I can't do much about that at the moment. Thomas is certainly a great cook. Why the fuck are you so it's complimenting him? Being hidden out here in the countryside, don't you think so, Zach? No. Which reminds me, there's another great cook in town. To fall in love with her would mean that I would need to love her cooking too. Why does God test us so? I wonder. So I deep in thought, he can't even hear the woman. Man, did that back a punch. I wish you could have tasted it, Zach. Wait, did she just walk past us? There ain't no way. There ain't no way. What the fuck? Was I hallucinating? What the fuck was that? He's so hungry, he's hallucinating. But I, I haven't even eaten that much while playing this game. She wasn't real. None of this was real. We're actually still in bed. You have to wake up. The accident wasn't your fault. This is what happens when you don't eat all of the toilet pineapple. What did he mean by this? Oh no, 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 no. It's only a hunch now, but I don't think Nick killed Diane. That's because you know who what did. What do you mean? Me and Diane, we were, you know, pretty close. I'm sure some people might have moral issues about it all, but I'd like to think that I knew her pretty well. Opinion on Slime Every Girl made of ketchup? We, we that would smell talking, terrible. She'd bring up art. I'd make a face, you know, boring. And she'd always say, you're so different from Nick. He's so much more intelligent. Sounds like something she'd say. 
Nick was one of the few people who she could talk to, you know. And vice versa for Nick, I suppose. Diane also told me that she was best friends with Nick. He'd have nothing at all to gain by killing her. I can't believe that one would try to kill You're the other. Lucky. I just can't. But even the best of friends can end up in the worst fights. Still, the voices and footsteps I heard that night, they were something else. Much more violent, more, oh. more horrifying. Oh. Diane's voice sounded different, too. Different? Hard to explain. That's because it was Thomas of wearing course, her skin. I couldn't make out what she was saying. You told York all this? Of course I did. No, you didn't. You fucking lied. What did he lied. say? I know. That's fine. Something like that. What? This fatty boom lady. How dare he? Let's go then and catch Diane's killer. Mini Man Media, thank you for the nine month Teresa. Thank you for being born on tonight, the night of your birthday. Got an ex from Thailand that would put ketchup on pizza. Apparently, they're weird with both of those things. The pizza's crazy as fuck. I would only dip my pizza crust in ketchup if the pizza crust was offensively bad. No, 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 no. I don't like how he looks at me when he runs. It's really off-putting. Further, the sack becomes more and more opaque. So it's like somewhat translucent. Oh god! It was exciting though. I wasn't expecting that. You know, it's an investigation. Right, Zach? Why is he like this? This game was actually ported to Switch, apparently. That's fucking weird. Oh my god, how much more do we have to run? <laughs> White woman jump scare. And then your granddaughter and your grandma Emily ran for another block while the creepy fat man leered at her. And then, I talked about dogs for a spell. And then ran another block. And then I hallucinated her scolding me. It's only 10:48 on the in-game clock. Take oh, oh! It probably has to go to the Phantom Hour. You're right. Hey, where are you going? Deputy Willie, he's over here! Come what? on, hurry! What? Did I lose the dog while I was zoning out? <laughs> Whoops! Whoops, a Willie! You have this game on Steam, you planned on playing it, but watching your Oshi play it is more entertaining! But you can still play it yourself! Uh, oh, wait, you can always have the experience yourself as well, although I will say it doesn't work on Steam. It is. I do not think it's possible to play this game on Steam. I was a stubborn bitch, and I tried, despite what everyone told me. It uh, it does not it does not work. Are you close to the Ingrams? No, no. I mean, well, I always say hi when I see them at their store. Don't you think they make a wonderful family? I guess. I guess so. Including Jim, I suppose they do. Indeed this they game do. is literally the made for me. Family, I'd say. You know that ah, I look after help. Isaac and Isaiah pretty often. Ah, right? Help! They talk a lot when I take them out. Yesterday, Mama and Papa, <laughs> and this morning, Grandpa. Always about their family. Just listening to them makes me feel so happy. I don't have any brothers, you know. Maybe I'm a little jealous of those two. 
That's why when I come here, I always pay them a visit. Greenvale is really like a second home to me. I can tell. Deputy Willie's calling again. Enough about me. Let's get going. I hate the way this dog's tongue is rendered. Why is the fat boy trauma dumping like crazy? Darkness. He has to trauma dump so he can disarm the woman so she's not expecting to be murderated. Bridge looked so dignified. White woman. And that glitter in her eyes when she argues every word I say. Her blonde hair lit by the dawn. He didn't stay in the diamond. Give me directions in the car. The horror on her face in the gallery. And that coffee she made. He is really fixated on that coffee. And She's a goddess in a tight dress. Oh my god. Exactly. Joy, you're making me blush. Let's pray that she doesn't become a real goddess. She can be my real goddess after we get out of this mess. Right, Zach? This man got it bad. I want a man to hallucinate about me like Francis York Morgan hallucinates about this cop lady. Say thank you for the seven line three sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hot <laughs> dog will satisfy. What the hell? In this episode, Kirsha falls in love with a video game character. Uh, there are multiple clips of me talking about how video game characters gave me like a false standard for men. Alright, I, 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 I look at the video game men and I'm like, wow, they're so wonderful. I want a man like that. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Deputy Willie, he's over here. Uh, I was too busy oh, fantasizing hurry. about Francis Francis York Morgan. I lost the dog again. Wait, wasn't I running this way? How did that happen? Gestapo! Oh, do I have to talk to him? What? Oh. What? What? What was that? Willie, York is nearby? Look at how happy she is! Good job, Willie. Can we stop running now, please? No. Oh, we don't have the cool music anymore, which means I'm gonna turn down the audio. I'm gonna turn down the audio chat. Just in case uh, the, the weird... the weirdness happens. I had it at like 70. We'll put it, we'll put it at like 75. Alright, we can, we can get some nice, some nice little whistling sound. Save. And then we leave, and then we save again, and then we back. Peter Griffin is eepy. That's a big tweet. The fuck building is this? Hey, so we took the long route here. You weren't playing with us, were you? George, we found out where you are. Well, this isn't the lumber yard, but I don't remember what building this is. George? George! Uh-oh. Oh, it's a clock tower. Kason, I'm going in alone. Hey, hey! You didn't forget what George said. No, I haven't. And that's why you get to stay out here and keep trying to contact him. I'm just going to check things out. I'll stay out of danger. Trust me. It's the okay, woman's chapter! So. I'll take care of this here. I hope she's OP as fuck. <laughs> Lovely boing boing! Uh, <laughs> Princess Gierja, have a good week! Corinne, who always cherishes and loves you, have a good week, everyone! Have a good week, boy! Have a good week! <gasps> oh, she's shaking. She got them women shakes. <gasps> she's entered the autism realm. 
ways. Stop right there. Stop. What? How come her gun can kill them in one shot, but mine takes like six, unless I'm using the shoddy? <gasps> oh, never mind. It's still alive. Okay. What the hell? Pizza shit. Your Emily is here. Time to say goodbye then. Thomas, let me tell you one more time. It's not too late. I can help you. Just untie me and let me go. If you don't, the situation will be irreversible. Unfixable. York, no situation is reversible. Didn't you know that? No, I mean everyone, that's not necessarily true. Every thing proceeds along a path. Preordained by fate. Thomas, you can't come back from cutting your dick off, please. I beg. Goodbye, then. I wonder who'll be the next person to open this door. Well, whoever that person is will be the one to decide your fate. I don't like him. Zack, what was I supposed to say? All I can do now is wait. Yesterday's Sunday, you're watching the Philly in stream? I had a fun time. I had a fun time. Give me the medal. Cabbage medal. <laughs> Welcome to ZomboCom. <gasps> the trash can. I can't reach the trash can. Yo! Oh, that one's got a fire stick. No! No! We 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 we. Oh! Oh! I can get out of a fucking chokehold real quick. They don't even try to fit. I saw inside my own mouth. I was I was expecting for them to try and fist me, especially as I'm a woman. But I guess they can only fist Francis York Morgan. Woo! You bitch. Oh, I like how I run. It's very dainty. <laughs> oh, no. Help! I have woman aim! Ow! Ow, my neck! Ow! 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 My neck in real life started hurting. Oh no, I gotta reload. Oh fuck. Oh god. <laughs> okay, we're good. I have to heal. Oh please, let me have healing items. Oh thank god. Oh thank god. I am so used to playing a man, I'm very bad at being a woman. Alright, let's go. Mmm, cheeseburger! <laughs> Maybe the red seeds represent what happens when you slam your penis in the car door. Please do not slam your boopis in the car door! <laughs> Lord Brown, baby, thank you! Thank you for five! We're bad at being women too, don't worry. Anyo? I really hope I don't have to do the final boss fight as, like, woman with single pistol versus fucking cross-dressing man. <laughs> oh, God. Woo! Thank you! Thank you! Uh. Why does he have a fucking fire poker? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh god! Oh god! What the fuck was that? Okay, alright. This is like the tallest clock tower ever. What the fuck? Hello. 
Policewoman versus cross-dressing man, the battle of the eight. I feel like that's what they're gonna have. Oh. I feel like that's what they're gonna- Oh! Good! <laughs> it's okay, women are fireproof. <laughs> I feel like that's what they're gonna have me do. They're gonna make me be woman versus cross-dresser, because that's just like... You know, he killed all those other women to wear their skin, and now I will get the revenge for all of them as the woman. All right, okay? Like, I just, I feel like that's what's gonna happen, but I don't want it to be. <laughs> I don't want to fight him with a pistol. <laughs> Are there more? Can I pick up more? Oh, yeah. You're correct, but there's a hell of a twist. Oh, no. Am I also a man? Is- is Francis York Morgan actually gay and that's why I'm attracted to him and- and this- Emily is also a man? Alright, we're saving- we're saving the game. We're saving the game. It's- it's midnight! Is this- is this the final battle of the game chat? If this is the final battle, I'll keep going. If it's not, we gotta wait. <laughs> it is not a fuck. Okay, well that means that means we got the the climax next week, I suppose. You know the final battle when you see it. Only six more hours to go. Don't say that. I mean, you get to sleep at a reasonable hour. Yeah. Yeah, we only, uh, we only Sunday game until either I beat it or midnight, whichever comes first. This is a little halfway point. Don't say that, Skewgy. At this rate, probably in two weeks. I'm doing my best, chat! I'm doing my best! Let's see. Homestead is online. Homestead have we got? The reality is Kirsha always comes first. I... I forgot to take another AFK to eat food, because I'm really weird about eating food on stream, so at least I have my protein, because I haven't haven't eaten anything else today, and that's that's not good. I'm a bad foxu. Hey! <laughs> I'm bad foxu. Let's uh let's see here. Let's see, we got we got Hina. We got Hina. It's not often I get to raid Hina, because she's not super super online when I finish stream usually. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go dump you guys on- on Hina and her badass self. Thank you- thank you guys again for helping me, uh, test. TEST MY NEW THINGY! I don't know where my new thingy source is. I- I put it in here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I was gonna bring it up again. I was gonna- I was gonna... <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for helping- oh, it's gone. There we go. Thank you for helping me test Widget! We tested Widget, we tested chat, I can go give feedback, and, uh, my overlays will be done soon. My overlays will be done soon, chat. <gasps> yeah! I will see you guys on a heckin' Tuesday! Shame the love sense function didn't work out. There's no love sense function! First of all, degenerate. Second of all, illegal on Twitch. We're gonna raid Ahina. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. I'll see you on Tuesday, and hopefully my throat will be up to, uh, doing some of the, uh, schizo post readings that I have to finish getting through. Have a great rest of your night. Dump some love on Hina. And I'll see you Tuesday, chat.